Happy Thursday. I almost said Friday, everybody. It has the feeling. It does. Over for, it has the feeling of a Friday? Yeah. yeah. It, well, I'm, I'm, go, I'm going to Disney tomorrow. So. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I, somebody's says, going I'm, to I'm, Disney I'm, tomorrow. I'm going, I'm going out. This is my Friday You're night. going to Oh, that sounds so... Lo- I would love to go to Disney tomorrow. Wow. Aren't you? I'm not. Oh. No. This I'm weekend? going on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow is a work day. Well... Some of us have jobs going on. <laughs> Some of us have to work. Well, uh, 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 the, jo- the joke here being Kyle and I have the, the same job. Um, I, I'm kind of decide. Well, there is kind of a file that I'm like sort of <laughs> plane emote flying off bombing on you, so I apologize for that. But wait, hey. Pl- plane em- wait, plane emote bombing? What? Yeah, they're like Thomas the Tank Engine face plane that flies off and like when I d- crop dust the my way to the bathroom at work kind of, you know. Crop dust your way. Are you not familiar with crop dusting? I'm aware of crop dusting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think about it too much. I'll send you one later. I'll send you one later. You'll think, get it. I think Kyle's threatening to fart on me, everybody. You'll, you'll get it. You'll get it later. I uh, think he's, I think he's threatening like you'll to... You'll understand it later, as in I will send you a meme of it later so you can yeah. understand. Yeah. I thought... I thought okay. All right. Anyway. Hello, um, everybody. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, I guess uh, the, the formality... Is uh, hey, welcome to MSQ night. Well, welcome to MSQ. We're yeah, we're not that anyone's complaining, but I feel like we could be better about introducing the evening's festivities. Probably. Like, welcome back to yet another Final Fantasy XIV MSQ stream. If you this is your first time joining us, which I'd be very surprised if that was the case. But just in case, hi, my name is Garrett. Over here. Oh, it is true. The music is wrong. Uh, hi. Over here is Kyle. For real. <laughs> and this is our first time ever playing through the Final Fantasy XIV MSQ. And if you have beaten the Final wow. Fantasy XIV MSQ, then you know... He's doing the full run now. We're pretty close to the end. We're pretty close to the end... Walker. Well, actually, we're in Endwalker. We're not pretty close to Endwalker, but we're pretty close to the end of Endwalker. So, that's what we're going to do. That's what this is a good looking I'm a chair. real person. Do you, like, do you like this chair? Oh yeah, look at that chair. Oh yeah, look at that chair. I don't know. I'm I don't know why I'm being so probably because I can be. Yeah, it's I good. Can, well, you know, feeling I can free. Be animated. Feeling free. You know, it's fr- free. Friday night for some, it's MSQ night for all. <laughs> or day, wherever Everyone, you may be. The entire world is required to it's, watch it's this. Enjoy why well, I know that the Final Fantasy VII is popping off, right? Yeah. Didn't the uh, re- Rebirth, relink, reinvigoration yes. happen, and that's happening tonight. Of the thing, yes. Lots of people are blowing yes. up. The reviews for Final Fantasy VII is, is fantastic. I know, I've heard. Um, I'm, I'm gonna test the thing. Is this working? No, that's not working. Hold on. Is that working? Hold on. I wanted to see. Oh, that's just oh, you. Hello. But I should be able to do this. Nope. Nope. Mm-hmm. Not that one. There we oh. go. So, Kyle, um, for the first time ever. Uh, we can do this. Hello. So this is a thing we can do. Hey, cheers. Oh, sorry. I left mine over there. <laughs> I, I'm excited tonight because it's the first time I got to make Kyle a little drink uh, before the stream. So cheers, everybody. Hi. Hi. That's right. The the setup you see for YouTube videos, it just it sits in between two computers in this room. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Mm. Yes. The space can be so um, interactive. I know. I know. We're going to have to teach you an instrument. Yes. Well, that's just to make sure the wall's not lying about me. <laughs> the wall? Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's making promises. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's making all you're kinds of promises. You're taller than me, so I feel like you're required to play bass. Yeah, well, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I want to learn violin someday, but, you know. That's like the opposite direction. direction. That's like the smallest instrument you could pick. Yeah, but then I can bend down to people and go, <laughs> you know. It's like a really <laughs> right long in bend ear. down. Right in there. Yeah. Buy him a recorder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, we should I, do that. Obviously, we're excited because we're here, and you may have watched the video this week. Oh, you can touch uh, me. It's okay. okay. Thank you. I give you permit. It, uh, uh, consent. We, uh, we know, we, 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 you teased. Actually, I didn't know you teased so hard. What you teased I, real what hard. What I teased? You had that cliffhanger in this week's video. Oh, That was yeah. beautiful. Uh, well, I, first of all, I think it's good to communicate yeah, the, the parts the, the parts are happening. But I figured we'd have full on like riots in the comments if people didn't just kind of end it. If they thought we yeah. were skipping. But normally a we would wait that. till we had all conversations. But 
Answers conversation is thoroughly recorded and in the bag and coming out next week. So we just yeah. wanted to yeah. tell Kryle what the hell happened in the past. Um, yeah. Blow some minds. Don't mind me. It's a episode. The first time I've ever heard this is uh, people are saying the music's too loud. Oh, I was getting a little quiet. We're 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 all over the place. I'm yeah, not there's, well, there's two as microphones. in front of the microphone as I should be. Um, don't worry, we'll dial it in. Yeah, we'll dial it in. As we'll we, lock in as we get a little closer. as we get in as we get into to the, the uh, end to the bit here. But I just thought this was you know fun. No, it, it is. Uh, multiple people asking, what I made you a margarita because mm-hmm. I found out at Fan Fest that Kyle enjoys margaritas. I do. So I made you one, and while I was there, I just poured a double everything. They're like fancy lemonades, and I like lemonades. So. Limeades. Well, yeah. There's no lemon in this. It's lime. Oh, I didn't know margaritas were made with limes yeah. or lemons. Or, yeah. Well, there a lot was of people, a particular a lot citrus. Of citrus? N- yes. Yes. Is citrus. it a citrus? It's a citrus. Okay. It's it a like a citrus. <laughs> yes, it's a citrus. A lot you of people like use, a citrus. You move like a citrus. Yeah. <laughs> that was a rather uh, remarked... Moment in this week's video, by the way. I'm surprised that my Fast and the Furious reference landed for so many people. I thought it was too weird. There, I almost cut it. There was, a, in the live crowd, there was quite a bit of, uh, I question your Venn diagram of <laughs> the audience that likes Fast and the Furious and Final Fantasy. But, you know, their cars blow up all the time, and people are sometimes cops or clones or... Uh, there's a lot of crossover between Fast and the Furious fandom and anime fandom, just like there is between sure. uh, Breaking Bad and anime. Huh. Uh, there's a lot of anime fans who are also Breaking Bad fans. Emotional uh, damage. I can I, see that. I have been using this as ammunition to campaign to get Kyle to watch Breaking Bad for years. Uh, I'm still unsuccessful. Oh, I'm just watching absolute trash right now, though. Hey, that's okay. I just fall asleep to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX every night. Oh, I'm making nice. no progress nice. on anything. On We're almost caught up on that, on that Tokyo Vice show I told you about. I've heard uh, the Blue-Eyed Samurai on Netflix is really good. I strongly disliked how it looked when I looked up the trailer. Oh no, I haven't looked it anything about cheap. it. I just, I, there was uh, suddenly a cacophony of... Yeah, a bunch of people whose opinions I usually respect like it, but they are also people who enjoy the Dragon Prince, which I think is hideous, so... Oh, oh, it, oh yeah. interesting. Yes. There's oh. a there's an issue where most people that I trust also like the Dragon Prince, which makes me question. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Also, did you see the reviews for live-action uh, Avatar The Last Airbender are out? I saw a clip, and it looked okay. It did look okay. The reviews are not great. Oh, well, that's yeah, un- not that's ex- unexpected. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. 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 Anyway, anyone watch it yet? Is it as bad as the reviews are saying? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the stream. This is what we do. We can go back to our place oh, yes. now. Well, like. I mean, we're, we're just, you know, I think it's safe to assume, don't correct us if we're wrong here, but... uh. I don't think our opinion on answers and Vanaz walk is going to change tonight. So that's already in the bag. That's coming out Wednesday. We want to get to telling Kyle what's up, and and I, Lord knows what's going to happen tonight. So hey, let's 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 rip it and see what happens. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna it'll, it'll be fun. Honestly, um, I hope you all like. I hope you all dig because if if you've been here for a while and you pay attention to us, you know that we usually don't do an MSQ stream until all of our videos about whatever we played are out. And this is the first time I think ever where we're breaking that. Maybe in Stormblood, because there were some slow points in Stormblood. Yeah, there's some we, were, we were just yeah. forging ahead. Keep through. going. But um, but th- yeah, this is the first time we've broken it with story that we think is uh, legitimately interesting. Oh, well, we just um, want to see. Yeah. Right. Want to see the stuff. And we didn't think Elpis was going to be a three-parter in terms of videos, but hey, here we, yeah. here we are. Here we are. So yeah, we're just we're just sending it. There'll be another Elpis video next week where we're talking about the Nas walk cutscene. That'll be the Wednesday drop. Yep. Unless, I don't know, both our computers simultaneously explode and someone hacks our Dropbox account. Wow. Yeah. That would be the only way we could lose the video. That is true. Yeah. That'd be horrifying. That would be a, a coordinated effort to sabotage. Big takedown energy. One video of Grinding Gear. We did three episodes for Amara. Yeah, but like Shadowbringers was over at that point. So we were, you know, yes. in patch con. We were doing raids. Yeah, we took a break. The weeks we- were full of just... Non MSQ reads. Yes, yeah, we, we took a long break because we need. It was just a. It was awesome, and we just needed to breathe. Many, many videos. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. I so, did find you here in your new drip. Congratulations. Oh, thank you for my new drip. Yeah. Or well, thank you for complimenting my new drip. You didn't You're get me my new drip, but no, no, but you know, it does look very nice. Well done. Yep. Yep. Uh, well done to. Uh, uh, we also 
need to go. thank you thank you i had such a moody setup and you have just you found the perfect way to compliment it excellent <laughs> um, well you know i oh. gotta protect my knees and elbows and otherwise i could be but definitely not your head's shoulders the heads and shoulders are missing out on your on your song. Well, yeah, I mean, if I get like stabbed in the gut, I'm a healer one, so I'm gonna heal myself first. Mm. But second of all, I think it's really the elbows, toes that I'm I'd be most concerned about protecting in an adventure situation because that's how you mess up. That's how you trip. I think I learned. I think I learned. Well, I Fly. feel I feel like I should join you. Oh yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah. Also, uh, I was going to be Sage tonight, and I'm not high enough level. I was gifted these giant freaking machine guns that look perfect with this outfit. But sadly, I need to be level 88. <laughs> so I wasn't ready to equip my giant machine guns that worked really well with this here ensemble. Mm. As, as one does. As one does. Let's see here. Uh, if there's slight reverb, it's just the fact that uh, we're both in the same room, and that's going to happen. And there's oh, nothing we oh can yes, do about yes. It. I, I do tend to get louder as things get exciting. It will happen. Sound dampening continues to be an issue for my massive voice. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can do with people in the same room. If yes. you're doing live production, um, we can make it worse and do lab mics, and then, um, and and then you just wouldn't be able to understand what we were saying because it'd yeah. be so much of the microphones picking each other up. But yes, indeed, yeah, we are. We are live. We are real people. <laughs> we are, in fact, real people. The shadows are being brought. Sh the, wait, no, we already brought the shadows. That was quite some time no, ago. No, it's, it's, it's a nice little kind of it's moody. In here. It's well, I stole your light uh, to be our light for YouTube videos. Yeah, so that's why it's. Ah, yeah, I like it. You know, you're a little moodier lit than me. I dramatic. Didn't, I didn't really think this through. I should probably buy another set of lights. I really like. Kind of lean into it. I can look Jeez. pissed as hell. Kyle is living in shadow. Yes, that's yeah. We're not AI. Well, I mean, I don't not count, yet. count our teeth and then and then make that claim. <laughs> nice adaptation. Well done. Yeah, the teeth are still broken. So <laughs> good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Modernize your critiques. Uh, John D'Arthur, thank you for the 13 months of kicking us off with a membership chat tonight. Much appreciated. You said that Katie and I should try Immortality. I've heard of it. I'm very unfamiliar with it, but I will, I'll add it to the list seeing as you're saying it's uh, Twin Peaksy. So that, um, that is exactly what I want to hear for a game recommendation. That is exactly what I want to hear. And the first super chat of the night, Kyle, mm. who do you think it was from? Uh, oh, I, I feel like I'll... I'll um, mm. So many choices. Pothy, like the stream, Play Monk. Nope, nope. Uh, nope, it was Biden. Oh! Biden was the first super of the night. Um, and uh, I should change my tone because Biden said, Today has been a rough day. Work has been absolutely exhausting, but these MSQ streams are a little candlelight in the dark. May everyone here be blessed with better times and may we have fun tonight. I would be surprised if we had a bad time. This is going to be it, Kyle. This that is going to be the plan. This is going to be the time. This, whatever happens tonight will set us over the edge and turn us against this game. Yes. We're going to hate every the part minute we of hate. it. And we're going to be like, that's it. We quit Final Fantasy XIV. Tonight, Xenos kidnaps Kryle and puts her in a machine again. And it's just oh my God. like seven hours. Gosh, we do have Xenos the on the sex. same. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't mean to... I, I'm of the exact same thing. Again, I ask. Xenos, how is he important now? He seems so... So unimportant. I mean, he wants to... So unimportant. He loves despair. He's, he's, it's going to be a, a never-ending Super Bowl of despair for him. Never he's going to love it. Well... <laughs> this year's Super Bowl actually went into overtime. Did you mean to make a timely... No, I just like saying something is a Super Bowl of X, and despair sounded pretty fun to say, so I went with it. <laughs> you made me laugh. I, I just went for it. That's all it was. <laughs> it wasn't even that funny, but wrong tube and all that. <laughs> wrong tube and all that. Uh, uh, well, hopefully we'll uh, we'll make you laugh, Biden. With any luck, you found uh, me uh, choking humorous. Uh, Mimi, thank you for the super. Said, like the stream, avert despair. Uh, everyone That's will the best do, way to do it. Everyone's doing their part. We are exactly at 420 likes, though. So, no. Oh, wow. 
if nobody could like the no, stream. Too late. too late. Oh, we got one it's more. Okay, done. well, yeah. someone else. Someone else liked the stream. You, you can press this heart in the so bottom corner. So now that we're want. past 420, just go ahead and hit. If you could locate the like button and press it, you would really appreciate it. I don't think it. I know any meme numbers past 420. Um, there one in fourth. Wait, how many digits? Uh, 42,069 would be the oh. next meme number. Uh, yeah, okay. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got a long way to go for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's options. There's yeah. options. Oh, Le yeah. We also Le have, we have 1337. Yeah. Um, we have 6969. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. And then after, of course, after 42,069, you have 69,420. Um, oh, and also you have 8,008. Oh, boob. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How yep. dare you forget? How Been a dare while since I've used a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Just Lily Grace, thank you for those 11 months. Ben Lynch supered another lovely MS Cures Day. Perfect for drinking Sawyers and converting Chaos Sisters. Remember to stay hydrated, do your squats, <laughs> and like the stream. I understood some of that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, and, of course, Das is in the house, supering like to stream and get the stoves and ovens ready for cooking. Cooking will be later. Das. Oh, I see. We'll probably be run over by revelations tonight and then think about it at a later date because that's how we do here at Grinding Gear. That is true. That's React first. Uh, absorb later. Yep. Yep. Uh, Sage wants to quote, uh, oh, boob, Kyle 2024. I'll take it. Vote for Kyle. Kyle Ferguson. If you can't decide who to vote for this year, just write in Kyle Ferguson. Just like that. Turn off those fryers then. I mean, I would take some, some fried food. Oh, oh, I don't I know. Fry cooking. No, this is, this is more. I like to think of our cooking more of like a, a small steak. Resting atop a pile of well manicured carrots, and then we bring in the parsley, and the parsley's wrong, but you know, we just kind of like, ah, there, and it's delicious. It doesn't make any sense, it's too small to maybe actually fill you up, but it's beautiful. You're beautiful, so are you. I like your look tonight. I don't know what it's a very like thin hoodie. Yeah, it is. It like is it. nice. I like it. It looks cozy. Yeah. Plus, I can shove these things in and out, so, you know, that's really a nice busy box. Oh, you know, oh cause, cause they're the, one of the... Yes. Yeah, Only the, one of my hoodies does that, yeah, and I love it for that yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. I like flying in it, because it... Yeah. You get busy with them, yeah. Yeah. You should grow your hair out. Well, you've had long hair. You know this. Yes. Hair is a great busy box once it gets yeah. longer. Yeah, well, I got the, you know, little this. Oh, yeah. All this. Oh, my God. I saw a photo of me from 2018 today. I had no gray in my beard. Mm, distinguished. I mean, that was, what, six years ago now? I don't like that. 2017? 2018. Oh, it's 2024. Yeah. So that'd be six years. Yeah, that was a long I don't time like ago. that. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like We've that. We've grown as people. Amgard, thank you for telling people to like the stream. Nicholas Carbonell, thank you for the 21 months and everything else. You're, you're always helping us out. Pythos uh, kicking us off with uh, a big, fat, pink super chat. Um, thank you. Said, this is in thanks for helping me get through one of the hardest periods of my life. My mother moved to hospice care today, and I honestly don't know where I'd be at mentally without you two over the last nine months. Pythos, uh, I mean, I never know what to say during uh, messages like that, but, like, it, it, I, I, I legitimately want to give you a hug. I know we're, we're chuckle effing around because uh, that's how we are at the start of the stream but um, I've, I've been through that with more than one family member myself it's it's never easy um, but I, you know I hope you're I hope you're uh, around family and loved ones uh, seriously like from from the the two dorks in this room uh, we feel for you Absolutely. Please, please be well by those that's hard stuff so Oh, you got a lighter note for us. Thank you. <laughs> Immediately followed that up. You timed that exceptionally well. Uh, on a lighter note, I found where I'd hidden my Glen Cairn glasses. Ooh, nice. So at least I get to bludgeon my senses with Lefroy tenure. Ooh. I have no idea what that is. Lefroy Lefroy tenure is my go-to scotch. It's oh. super, super smoky. Ten years old? Peaty. Um, I, I, the... The year quoted on basically any liquor can get weird depending on the liquor. Usually it means the oldest liquor, if it's blended, is that old. But I think 10 years hmm. might be single barrel. I don't know. 
But there's also kinds of distinctions. So, I don't know that much about scotch. I just know I like Lafroy. Okay. Yeah. So, um, cheers to you, Pythos. We can actually do that, Kyle. You can do, I can do a bit of Foley. You can't because you have uh, Foley. But I can do this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Knock it. Ah, oh, oh. Well made. I see Pothy is uh, is uh, pouring one and sending hugs to Pythos. There was a scotch conversation, I believe, between Pothy and someone else in our Discord right before the stream went live. That Discord's popping off. I saw it for a hot... Or maybe it was in the stream. I saw it for a hot second. I was like, what's that? And then you got here. And as you know, I have to wrangle the chihuahuas like uh, Chris Pratt in Jurassic World. I just want to thank you all. You all are joyous in that Discord. I love getting to go in there and just hang with y'all. It's a good scene. It is. It's a good place. Check out the Grinding Gear Discord. Uh, Vernacular Ham, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. If you uh, snagged one of those, make sure you send Ham a, a thank you. Uh, Sira super chatted, probably going to quit my job in the midterm future, but while I have stable income, here's more thanks for the many hours of commute you've made bearable. Good luck to you. Congratulations on coming to what sounds like a healthy realization, yes. Sira. Yes. Yeah, hope, hope you do well. And, and the uh, fact that you're thinking ahead and planning it is good. And I hope you come back uh, with no supers when, when you quit that job. Come hang with us. We'll be fine. We got you. <laughs> Next, however many streams on us. Uh, Starly Wanderer, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Much appreciated. Hope people are thanking you. Effie, thanks for the months. Did y'all are the highlight of my Thursdays? Chat, remember to like the stream. Thank you, Effie. Ichigo, so Garrett, it's almost free run Friday. Are you hyped? Ichigo, um, I don't, I don't, I will, I will read free run. But I mostly wait for the dub because we watched most of it dubbed. And so now that's just what that cast sounds like to Katie and me. So free run Friday. Um, honestly, it hurts because we had like 20 episodes to catch up on. And then we caught up. And now mm. the week to week is very hard. It's very, very hard. We're, we're kind of waiting until it's all out at this point. And doing the same thing with um, Spy X Family as well. Just... We yeah, had, we had a bunch to binge, and then we caught up, and we we're like, "Oh, watching anime week to week is awful." Because this is, we've never done that before. We've been over this. We technically started Chainsaw Man before all, all of it was out. But, Sometimes, you, yeah, you. But catch we watched wave. it slow enough that the final episode was out. Yeah, in time I get for that. Us to take it at our speed. I get that. Yeah, it was nice. But enjoy Free Run Friday. It should go. It's it's legitimately my my favorite anime right now. I love it. Uh, Crimson. Nightshade, even. Thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the Gearbox. Milani, thanks for the re-up. Dark Knight of Anime Super. Hey, Garrett, just so you know, you're copying me with that armor set you're rocking. <laughs> That's because it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, and then Starlight Wanderer Windmill Slammed 10 memberships. Damn, nice. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, look at all those new members. I, I can see that number. That's a good number. Thank you, everybody. The generosity is appreciated. Uh, Katie Supered, have a wonderful stream. The videos this week have made work slightly more bearable. Thank you. Man, that is... Whew, that is goal. That's all I want to hear. Yep. All I want to hear is that we helped you through the work week. That is the service we are looking to provide. I got I got people that do that for me. Absolutely. Good mythical morning every lunch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're on there. Well, we started watching them because people said we looked like them, and I was like, who the hell is that? And then I realized they're one of the most famous people on YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll happen. And then Katie went, I like these guys. And she kept watching them, mm. which got me into it. And mm. now it's like a lunchtime regular thing. Staple? Tradition. Lunchtime tradition. There you There's go. There's the word I was looking for. This tequila is going to my head. Hi, everyone. How are you? Well, the red cap super. Still miserably sick here to the point that Smallvis will not be following you around today. Still enjoying your content as I sit here coughing and the MSQ and have some money. Be well. Uh, again, uh, please feel better. Uh, we will miss small this tonight. Uh, especially if Zeno shows up. Although I'm... I just don't understand how Zeno spits in at this point. I don't... I think he's in space? <laughs> right now? <laughs> he had to go back. What would he still be doing on the moon? No, there was a transporter, though. Zodiac is Could gone. Could he go... Oh, maybe he's going to hijack that elegant ship that's crash-landed over there. And ride it to the harpy planet? Yeah. The edge of the universe? Well, it's going to be like Bubba Fett. Because we're going to go Bubba off Fett. in... Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett where? Yeah, we're going to go in the moon pizza. 
And then there'll be the scene where Xeno's ship detaches from the moon and then follows us. Oh, just, oh, oh. Yeah, that's and how the, he gets Like the there. trash coming out of the Star Destroyer. Yeah, exactly. And float away. Shit. Ooh, shit. That would be good. That would be good. Thank you. Thank you, Major. Thank you, John. Thank you to everybody who caught that reference that Kyle ignored. Oh no! Never mind. He Hits caught it. He just stick. didn't. He, yeah, he caught it. He that just, just wasn't didn't care. the scene I was thinking about. Wow. Yeah, it was a referenced reaction. Yeah, I get you. The bubble fat part. But I was talking about you know Empire Strikes Back at the time. I wanted to make sure we were focusing on the proper bubble fat moment. That is that is fair. That is fair. Uh, Lunatic Kitsune, thank you for the 13 months. Uh, said, enjoy the MSQ. By this point, I committed a whole day to finish. Hope you all have the self control to step. We're going to have to because Kyle has to go to Disney first thing in the morning. Well, it's an in the description, too. The MS Curator has plan two, and we will complete the quest Sage Council tonight. And then next Thursday, we will continue all the way Don't to. Put it, I mean, you can't put it all on the MS Curator. No, no. Well, they we also would like to have bite-sized chunks to make videos out of. Well, yes, but I also, you know, want to acknowledge like how much the MS curator struggled to decide on this point. Cause oh, yeah. This is the first time we called him. Yeah. We actually called him and had an audio chat and was like, what John do we do like, at this point? And then you'll see the stream already scheduled for next week that I think we go to like her children. So like it's going to be back to back. Back yes. to back Thursdays. Yeah. Yes, we are streaming in between. Of course, if you are a, a, a member of, of uh, the regular Grinding Gear, watching Gearbox family, we will still be live on Tuesday. We're just not doing MSQ. And we'll be live on Monday with a podcast. Yes. All that's happening. Unless Kyle gets stuck in the worst traffic jam ever coming back from Orlando. It would be. That'd be awful. That'd be a big one. If it was going to happen, it would happen on I-4. Yeah. That is the road Hopefully that would not. be like that. I don't want to be in traffic road. with children. Pothy, thank you for the 20 freaking months. Wow. Um, it has, in fact, been that long. It said, back then you were... Uh, wait, hold on. Pothy said, back then you were finishing Stormblood 4.0, but I've been watching since you were sure as shit not playing 14. <laughs> <laughs> you found us early, Pothy. You've been here a long time. You're an OG. Thanks for hanging. Uh, Dino, thanks for the super, said, Oi, boys! Have fun. Oi, Dino, oi. Uh, Vicky, thank you for the attention to money. We appreciate it. <laughs> Chris Majors, thanks for the super. We will enjoy the activities tonight. And thank you for, um, you know, lying and calling us gentlemen. And we appreciate the money and attention as well. I think we're classy. Are we? I made these classy drinks with large. I made a boob joke. No, but these are large. Like, we're just honest. <laughs> Everyone wants to make boob jokes. We're just honest about it. Oh my god. Jensen, that is super generous. Thank you for the super. Said this week has been really rough. Watching you both always makes things better. Looking forward to a great night. Aloha, guys. Man, I'm sorry to hear some folks are having a rough week in the gearbox. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll take your mind off it, of Jensen. We're going to try our best. Absolutely. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I, honestly, I'm. I'm on the other side. January was pretty rough. You know, we had a lot of change. It was a lot of work. Um, it was exciting for you to be here, but we didn't really get to enjoy it. We were oh, just building constantly. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm feeling great. So hopefully you can steal a little of my energy because I feel on the other side. Yeah, if you of... caught the video this Wednesday, I think you can start to feel that rhythm kind of setting in. It's kind of a yeah. nice resume. We have sorted this room out more or less, although yeah. apparently some people can still tell that we're in the same room, but there's only so much we can do. Um, there will be moments where we cross the aisle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Engage camera three. Engage camera. <laughs> Is it not? Oh, yeah, that, that's healthy for us. It's just it, more, it deserves its rest. It's just more heat that we don't need to extract. I saw one person, Kyle, on this week's video that said, I don't know what it is, but the camera looks more natural. Good job with whatever you did. Nice. And I want you to know, whoever you are, I'm so sorry I don't remember your name, that meant the world to me. It means a lot. To you. Because the cameras have been slowly killing me inside because I just can't quite get them the way I want them. But this la this video that posted on Wednesday is the first one that I'm personally visually happy with. So seeing that comment made my day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mick Jig. That, fun, that name is very fun. Thank you for the super. I'm moving 1,100 miles next week to the East Coast. Does Kyle have any tips for camping in the home until furniture arrives? 
Been watching you since you entered Stormblood. Keep it up. <laughs> well, well, home camper, mm. what say you? Well, we ordered children's furniture and <laughs> used it to sleep on. That was nice. Uh, I feel like you need to specify that they were large, modular cushions. Yes. For fort building. They were called nugs? Nuggets. Nuggets. I don't They're think they make children's furniture called nugs. <laughs> <laughs> But that was nice. Well, if if there was a nugget brand called Dank, I would we, I would buy that one. We took the opportunity to throw out all our old linens, and when we arrived, we got new linens. So at least we had blankets and pillows and such. And if that happens to be your situation, I highly recommend it because blankets, pillows, sleeping on the floor, it's just nice. <laughs> The the nugs the nugs are comfy. The nugs do all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard to lean back on them because the the triangle piece tends to just slide oh, away. They are for children. But um, but yeah, they're they're quite comfy. They're quite comfy. Uh, Liminal, thanks for the seven months. Glad you're celebrating. And said, I'm sure today will just be a fun beach episode with Xenos and nothing important or emotional happens. Uh, I'm, that's what I'm expecting. No, yeah. I'll just fill. We're so close to the end. I'm sure nothing will happen. No, there's nothing to do really. Yeah. Yeah. No checklist in my head of things that must be done. No, none at all. Asked, do you think of it super? Farting in front of each other just means you're really comfortable with each other. It's like farting in front of your significant other. Just the times. I remember the first time I farted in front of Katie. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> well, I, I only remember it because it was so loud that we both started dying of laughter. Oh, okay. Because I tried not to, but she was tickling me. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, that is memorable. Yes. Yes. She was tickling me, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help it anymore, and it just roared out of my body. I remember. I... And then there was that awkward silence where you both kind of look at each other like, did that just happen? Mm. And then we started dying of laughter. This is love. Yeah. <laughs> I believe we were like 16 at the time. I burped. A very like, mm -hmm, excuse me. And Kristen was very insistent that I lean into it and show her. You know, what I was capable of mm. in a future burp. How disappointed she was that I didn't give it my all. Oh, uh, Katie makes fun of me because my burps are they're quiet and pathetic, and hers are boisterous and and like clippable. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I don't know if she wants to be telling anybody, but hey, um, two thousand of our closest friends. You're all gonna exactly. keep that to yeah. yourself, yeah. right? Everyone, everyone's right? friends right? here. Right. Right. Thank Personal you. Personal stories. <laughs> Vigil said, holy shirekies, it's been almost two years of watching you guys. I have nothing insightful beyond that. Go, bro, bants, go. <laughs> go, Vigil, go. Thank you. Nice. Pothy peace, super. Does Kristen have a sticker yet? Also like the stream. It is underway. I heard the, I saw the conversation. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I believe skill issue has been the selection. Healer adjust should also be Kristen. Well, she wanted it to be across future games as well. So over lunch, we decided it was either going to be get good, work harder, or skill issue. And I think the community kind of jumped on skill three. issue. It could, but we have to enter the, you know, on YouTube, we got to choose what the phrase is that connects to the emote. Mm. So okay, that's been the selection. All right. Mark Viola, thank you for the super set. Hope you guys have a great night. Uh, glad to be spending my last night as a 42-year-old watching you guys experience it. Oh, well, happy enjoy. birthday. Incoming. Happy birthday. May you enjoy your last night of the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Still plenty of meme ages to go. Oh, my word. Mm. There's, uh, it did the jumpy thing, and now I'm painfully aware of how many um, uh, supers we've gotten. Oh, yes. Thank you for the generosity, everybody. Yes. Jonathan Harrison said, Blue Eye Samurai doesn't have the frame rate issue the Dragon Prince does, and they combine 2D and 3D techniques. The animation is buttery smooth. I will... There we go. I'll take it under advisement. I've heard the needle drop is what makes it worth it. I wasn't familiar with this phrase, but I became aware. Like a record, you know, you needle I drop. I understand the, yeah. the reference. So there's some song that's not necessarily a soundtrack that you would normally use, you know? Like movies do sometimes. It'll be a horror movie and it'll be like, so this is love. Maybe it don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no more. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've heard like the, the Kill Bill song. Which one? I don't. I don't know what it's called actually. But the boom, boom, boom. yeah, the, 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 wasn't boom. that unique for the movie? Or was that? Or was that not new? I don't know. Man. I'll always know it as the Kill Bill thing. I have no idea. It's it's Quentin Tarantino. I assume everything's a reference. Could be. 
Uh, Shady Attic wants to give a shout out to Love Town. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Granthony Giertano. I just recently started watching Anthony Fantano stuff because uh, I'm a big um, Finn McKinty fan, if anyone's familiar with the punk rock NBA. And so YouTube's been like, you like music tier lists. Watch the most popular one. Anthony Fantano is a music critic on YouTube. Uh, mm. Wildly successful. Um... Very well spoken. Dude, ha uh, dude goes deep into his thoughts, and he, he's good at explaining why he ranks things the way he ranks them. Without being a complete rage bait. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Nice. He does a tier list for, um, I think, the, the top 20 or top 10 for every decade. If you go back to when we were in high school, it's a good intro for his channel. Okay. So do like uh, 2000. Uh, hi, everybody. We're old. 2001 through 2005. I guess I would know those songs. Yeah. The grocery music. Oh, yeah. Gro gro well, now it's grocery music. Yeah, exactly. Back then, it was, uh, you know, top and TRL. Yes. Anyone here know what TRL is? So for the children, uh, they used to play music on this channel called MTV. You may know it as the channel Madness. that shows, I don't know, reruns of something now, probably. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Abelman, question. Do you feel qualified to pop into other streams that are just starting Realm Reborn now? You know, do what we've been doing for over 21 months. Yes. Yes, I do feel qualified. I've ju I've, uh, I've peeked in on Amanda Aachen's streams a mm, couple times. Sure. She's so, doing good work yeah. over there. Yeah. We already knew Amanda was doing great work, uh, but it's been entertaining to see her play through the game that she's been so involved with. My list is just so large right now. Like, inventory management alone takes up a huge amount of my time, and I love it. I'm particularly interested in going back and watching people we've made friends with through this experience. I want to go see... Did I hit a bumper? Anyway, I want to go see, like, OK Mage and Jesse Cox and Preach. And Some old playthroughs. And, and yeah, the, that like, I'm on a war our time. Yeah, yeah. Did, Mar did, did Marco stream? I don't think Marco streamed his playthrough. I have no idea. I'd love to see Marcos. Yeah, I have no idea. If he streamed it. That's, um... Yeah. If only everyone else we watched made more digestible videos out of their playthrough. Right? How could they not? Yeah. I really... I really... I really... Imagine... All right, scrub for a second, because the bit is not as funny if I said what I just said. Forget what I just said five seconds ago. Okay. Re-record it. Right. Yeah, delete Here's the Here's the bit that I should have done. Okay. Man. I just find it so difficult because, you know, a lot of people that play through Final Fantasy XIV, they don't make digestible videos after the fact of their playthrough. It, you know what I really wish, Kyle? Mm. I really wish there was, you know, these wonderful Final Fantasy XIV streamers would make highly edited quality recap videos. That would be cool. That would make them the greatest Final Fantasy XIV streamer of all time. Mm. It's a shame no one's doing that. Pretty weird, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. in full blown, like I like turn, turn down the radio so my eyes work better because I'm learning how to craft. <laughs> so I'm like watching nothing. I get in this game and I just read guides and talk to Faye for like two hours <laughs> and try to help That's figure out. That's me and Yeah. Try to figure out what the hell a custom delivery is. Poor Azumi. I, I, I legitimately consider Azumi a real friend. Um, but Azumi has just become my, uh, <laughs> what bullshit is Garrett interested in now? Uh, question, like my personal Google, but just for Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. 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 It's, it's great. Lord of Best, thank you for the super. Good afternoon to you as well. Uh, are you too excited for the run of FF15 event at the, uh, at the end of this month? Yes. I want the car. I'm, I'm all, what's your MGP? To shit, probably. Really? We've done some things. You can't be complete shit. I've got a uh, hundred seventy-eight thousand. So All right, let me close. activate my UI. Yeah, engage then, the UI. Uh, uh, shit, uh, go go currency. to currency, right? I mean, yeah, it might be there. You could go to the golden saucer in the bottom left, using your menu, your character. Is menu. it really not in currency? Golden. Oh wait, hold up. I just saw it. Gold saucer point sixty-three thousand. Yeah. Oh, you need to get going. Yes! Yeah, you gotta get I some... I haven't done any... Like, I've done Golden Saucer once. I guess that one day we did it. Yeah. Yeah, people are gonna tell you fashion report. That's a big... It takes a lot to learn how to fashion report. I don't want to learn new things. Yeah, it's the best way to do it, though, is... You know, I that's... just learned how to fish. I know, but... I don't want to learn new things. It's not super comp, but it is kind of like... 
it, you know, you got to break down that barrier. You got to remember, well, you got to remember your first time, everybody. You're saying it's easy, but you got to, you got to remember your first time looking at that image and translating it into digestible information. Um, please do not tag me in like 10 guides. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ask Azumi. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Azumi, if you're watching, um, <laughs> I'm sure Guy is on the way. <laughs> okay, and thank you for the 18 months. Happy MSQ Day back to you. Enjoy the vibe when you get to it. Thesper, thanks for becoming a member. Welcome to the Gearbox. Rasenche said, I finally got my new desk. Are you guys used to your new ones yet? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I made mine very similar to the one I had previous, and that's also what Kyle sent in front of. Although, Kyle, yours at your home mm. is a big change for you. How are you enjoying your sit stand? I am. I am really enjoying it. I have a, a chair, like a you know, a chair, uh, but, but like a drafting chair. You have, you have a chair. Oh my yes. God. Wow. That's really And the, the idea of it is very cool. It kind of spills you out of it over time. So you feel like standing in about an hour and a half. So I can sit, stand, I can stand, I can sit, I can stand. And I just go about it and like the hours pass. And I feel a lot more energetic, healthier. But whew, it's a it's a big change. My legs get tired. I'm very bad about actually using the stands to function of my sit stand. But um, you should you should do it. It's very good for you. Healthy for you, yes. Um, yeah. Well, that's rad. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm glad, yeah. you're, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, sorry, I am trying to get this earpiece in. My oh ear. yes, it's a nearly time to engage. It the is a, almost time to engage. Do you have a uh, stream labs up? I do. Yeah. Wonderful. I prepared that. I am ready. E. Make sure I'm not capturing Wonderful. cursor. Not capturing cursor? Is that what you said? Yeah, I don't want a cursor. Oh. Well. Because then I have to put it in the corner all the time. <laughs> Hide it. Like one does. Tebow So there's massive snow outside. Cozy and warm and alone at the office this morning. I'm ready for the stream today. Enjoy it, Tebow. It is very warm in here. Very warm. If one of us farted, we would die. That's what would True. happen here. Obscure reference. Thank you for the super. Uh, looking forward to watching us. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you for the support. Rotolia supered. Have fun with the MSQ tonight. You two, I'm in the middle of buying a house to Electric Boogaloo. Please let the HVAC be in good condition. The Reckoning. <laughs> new Moon. I can't think of other fairy titles. Wow. Good luck with that. I'm frantically searching every home insurance company in Florida, which I believe there's over 2,000 potential providers um, because our insurance agent was just like casually like, hey, just by the way, it's going up uh, four times. And we were like, I'm sorry, what? He's like, that's all I have for you. There's nothing I can do. Bye. Wow. We're like, Not a fun call to make. Okay, sure, I guess we got to find anyone else. <laughs> anyone else. Yeah, I'm not excited about that. It's like I... It's like I bought a um, a sixty thousand dollar car on a seven year loan. That's how much my insurance is going up. I'm not good at math while I'm on stream. But sixty thousand dollars is a very nice car. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very nice car. Yeah, that's how much our home insurance is going up. Uh, because I'm gonna blame the one dude whose two million dollar McLaren uh, flooded out of his garage during the last hurricane. I'm gonna blame that one dude. A McLaren? It's a very expensive car. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's blame him. I'm gonna blame. Okay. Him. I'll yeah. Blame, I'll blame all the yeah. people that can afford beach homes. I'm getting mad. I'm blaming the peop I'm people that can afford now. beach homes. That's who I'm blaming. I would imagine California is probably getting hit too. All the fires y'all have had. I'm, that that just sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, but. they gave us the old uh, extended territory when I was living in Portland. Uh, so we were technically downtown. Yeah, which was weird. Yeah, and, and, and California, um, you also have ridiculous just house prices in general. So on top yeah. of the fact that your uh, your mortgage or your rent is significantly higher than here, your, your insurance going up just sucks. I'm, I'm so sorry, everybody. It stinks. It just stinks. I just want to live somewhere with salt water, man. All the places with salt water are so expensive to live. California and Florida. Those are like the only two places I really would like to live. Yes, there are other places touching plenty of salt water. But. Yeah, but then you're in like the south. Or, you know, <laughs> the, the like the King real Land. south. You know, um, Maine. And uh, you can't swim Maryland. in I, I Okay, sorry. I want salt water that I can swim in. Yeah, oh, I, I get you. Without a dry suit. I understand. Yeah. I'm it sorry. rains plenty here. Like, 
there, there have been some people, I've gotten some messages like, Kyle, do you miss the Pacific Northwest rain? I'm like, the rain's plenty. It's beautiful rain here. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. Oh, it's nice rain here. I love the rain here. I just love the rain. What's wrong with being in the South? No, nothing. Nothing's wrong with being in the South. Uh, I love visiting. <laughs> I love visiting. <laughs> we have great barbecue. Uh, Black Mage Mog supered. Did your Z, uh, did you say, wait, did your say Xenos loves this pair? Wait, did your say? Yeah, that did, is what did it you says. say. No, no, no. Just, you know, proceed on. Continue. All I can think of when I think of this pair is my roommate in college who had a wallpaper of Sephiroth giving Cloud a pair. And it said, shall I give you yes. this pair? Snowman. You know, like there's, yeah. you know, it's the old misheard lyrics. Yes, exactly. Gabgano said, people were recommending Twin Peaks likes and nobody said Deadly Premonition, the best slash worst game of all time. Many would just say fair warning. Wait, what? Gabgano, thank you for that stream of consciousness and super chat form. Deadly Premonition. A uh, Rogue Mage. Um, yes, this is actually Eureka. We fooled all of you. We're going to Eureka. Yep. yep. Blasphemes are from Eureka. Confirmed. It's actually the most important part of Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. yeah, that's all of it. Uh, Gregor. Thank you for re upping your membership. Solaris, Super Garrett, is kind of aware of the box of treasures. Um, not yet, because I was going to wait until the... Well, I think I was... I think I told you that another Australian care package was coming in. Oh! It's here. Oh! But we also have other P.O. Box items. We do. They're right here next to me. We need to do another P.O. Box stream. We will. Probably not the same day as our Super Stream. Probably do that soon. Right after that? Yeah, because there's food. In oh, we got to Yeah, we this need. Australian care okay. package. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Make it happen. Okay. Yeah. Draco Chan, thank you for the ten gifted memberships. It's very, very generous and kind. Pothy. Oh, we read that one. The Thesper Super first live stream for me. Holy shit! Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to you. Uh, been vod gang for about six months. Keep up the great videos. Thank you, Thesper. Thank you for coming out. Enjoy the stream tonight. Appreciate you joining us. Daysmith Super Gray Beard. That reminded me that I turned 40 in a couple of months. And two days after I found my first gray hair, now I call myself in. You didn't start going gray until 39? Wow. I got my first white hairs when I was 18. I don't care about the white hairs. I'm just frightened by the hair in my ears. Oh, dude. Yeah. No, I, that started. How do you? Do you even bother? Oh, yeah. No, I shave that shit. Oh, I hate it. Are you shave it? Yes. You don't pluck it? That hurts. Well, you, you pluck it? You become immune over time. To the pain? Yeah. No, you, you don't. Do you not pluck your eyebrows? No. Oh, you don't have a unibrow problem. I do, I do not. No. Okay. No. I do. I want to keep up the high energy and be fun, but I don't want to make you feel bad if you... No, I don't feel bad at all. Oh, okay. I've been doing this since I was in okay. high school, because this would be a solid bar. You really like, get... You have a unibrow? 100%. You uh, clearly have a lifetime of plucking... Um, practice because i would never know yeah no i get in there and and then so i pluck my ears too i don't like plucking my nose that hurts too much with how much people ask us about our hair care routines maybe we should actually legitimately do some you know beauty tips i can't do the the rope thing though that's that hurts well you have someone else do that you don't do that yourself. yeah no but i just don't like like the, the, they're like doing the cat's cradle on your face yeah, they have one of those in the mall in our mall now yeah i get to say our mall yeah no How i'm cool oh, is that 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 hurts so okay. i'll just do it myself I'm, I'm threading okay thank you sir yeah, i was that, trying that, to come that's up with the name um there's a there's a local florida chain and they're in they're only in malls the one that's in that mall is in all of the malls here uh, but yeah uh, threading. That's what I. That's what I think. Of. That's what everyone came here for. Yep. They came here to hear about uh, uh, eyebrow plucking, and, and all. That. Yeah, I don't mind my grays. I actually quite like the salt yeah. and pepper, um, but I just thought eighteen was a little young <laughs> to start to start Fair. getting white hairs. Fair. So yeah, uh, the photo super. I'm pouring some Ardberg wee beastie in solidarity. What is this? I gotta Google this. Sorry, Kyle. It's okay. Oh, it's a single malt. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was like a reflection of Ardberg, so, you know. No, I'm just seeing if... Uh, oh, Total Wine has it, so I can get a price on this. Fifty or forty-eight ninety-nine at Total Wine. That would be a decent... That's that, a good price. That is a good price for... That, that makes me think that it's tasty, but it won't break the bank. Oh. Scotch can get very expensive very mm -hmm. fast. I'm gonna, like, we're talking four figures very quickly. I don't know the price of Warhammer minis. So, you know. Right? There's, there's Warhammer minis that are like over 100 bucks easy. Oh, absolutely. So, 50 bucks for a bottle of scotch. I mean, 
Can't argue with that. I can't drink a Warhammer Mini. No. Sillalos Super just turned 40. When do I start feeling like an adult again? <laughs> Playing Sons of the Forest 1.0 release and getting to watch stream. Summer sun's <laughs> flooding the room here to boot. Life is good. It sounds good, Sillalos. Mm. This birthday legit freaked me out. I, uh, I did not do well with yeah, that experience with this one. Yeah, yeah, this one freaked oh. me out. I don't know why. But what are you doing? It's time. It's time. Oh, it just cuts me off. It's time. No, no easy. No, but, but but honestly, do, do you know why? If you want, you want to share it in front of you know all our friends here. Why why, why thirty seven? I have that one for you. Oh, um, I I really can't tell you. I think just forties around the corner and sure. And there's something about twenty twenty that caused a time warp, and mm. I just I feel like I just turned thirty. It's the first time in my life I. I literally feel like I've noticed like that time slip. The the I just woke up one day and I'm this old. Mm. Like to me, Katie and I just moved in together, just got engaged, just got married, just bought a house. All of that feels super new and fresh. But it's not. And that's and that. that's wild to me. So yeah. Yeah, it's weird. You know? Also, like, you know, I keep having these friends that have kids. Right? And, See, all um, my pressure, like, all, all that, like, disappears completely because <laughs> you go, how are you five years old? How did you get to be two years old? Yeah, yeah, I don't and know. That takes it all away from you and puts it on them. I've been really chill about my 30s. Like, turning 30 didn't freak me out at all, and, and even 35, I was like, yeah, fine, let's go. But something about 37, I'm just like, ooh, ooh, I'm almost there. I'm almost... It was my 40s. Yeah. 40s is weird, man. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. And if, you, you know, if you're over 40, if you're in your 50s, if you have older older than us folks, then, you know, I, I feel you. you. I know you're going to come swinging in with your young whippersnappers. But, you know, age is a journey, is an intensely personal journey. So, wait till you're after 40. Yeah, I, I'm sure is, is, if I'm lucky, <laughs> this will be the one of many existential crises I have. Luckily, um... I have a lot to be thankful for. Hell yeah. Life has been popping the fuck off well after 35. Said. So uh, I really can't complain. Lift I'm... off. <laughs> 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 All right. You know how it goes on MSQ night, everybody. We'll do our best to uh, try and keep up with your messages. And we do very, 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 very much appreciate the support. We will not be running ads tonight as it is an MSQ stream. Yes, indeed. Um, so if you like what we're doing here, you want to support it. Um, we may not get to your message tonight, but we do do those super forum streams after uh, MSQ streams where we uh, catch up on every single super that came in while we revisit what we played and we get our cook on, which will be t a week from Tuesday. You'll be out of town for that. So it'll be the week after. Three that. weeks from Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> will be our next uh, super forum. So if we don't get to your message tonight, we will get to it. Uh, for our next Super Forum, uh, which will be scheduled soon. And we really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. And I'm sorry for the existential age dread I caused uh, to what looks <laughs> at least to be at least uh, uh, 46 how, of you. How could you? We were all just going to have fun, and now you're making us thinking about despair and dread. That wasn't possibly going to happen tonight. It, it, nothing in this game would ever make me think nope. of despair, dread. Nope. Um, no mistakes. Uh, Nothing but happiness. The meaning of life. Yep. Why, when you know everything is destined to end, why you would even bother continuing on in the first place. Exactly. All of those things are never brought up in Final Fantasy XIV. It's, um, that's why everybody loves it. Everybody loves Final Fantasy XIV because it is extremely shallow, uh, junk food mm. that does not have any deeper meaning or make you want to explore and maybe have some awakenings to some tough truths that you might grow from and become a better person as a result of. I agree. Because why would I want to do that in a game where I have to deal with other people? Why would I want to grow as a person <laughs> when I'm surrounded by other living human beings in the same game? That'd be awful. What kind of culture would that breed inside of a game? Um, uh, uh, are you making a World of Warcraft joke? No, not at all, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's... I'm like, man, you're, you're going a little harder than you need to. No, I'm just saying, like, oh. ever since I joined the game, people have been super chill and welcoming, so it's been nice. 
I mean, not everyone's been super chill. No, I mean, there's always like. But those are those are the ones you go. <laughs> there no. have been some people. But that's when you go. Did we play the same game? Where Where's the power of friendship, my good chum? <laughs> I, what about this MSQ taught you to be angry in your roulette? How dare you disrespect the Crystal Tower in this way? Oh, goodness gracious. Are you ready to blow? Oh, hold on. Hold on, sir. Mm -hmm. What? On your screen. Oh, good call. We're not in a party. Some massive bug just flew past my face. Maybe they'll visit me. I'm jealous. Kyle is spitting. Okay, all right. You're spitting, Kyle. Grow as a person. Grow as a... Oh. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah. The fanning of my robe matches up with the design in the carpet, like, perfectly. <laughs> I thought you were excited about the picture. No, man. The look at this. the picture is actually very exciting. Look at this. Sorry, I got I to... Gotta, look at that. You look do at, look nice. Mm, mm. You look very nice. Oh, yeah. In, in proper lighting, uh, everyone, welcome to Tuna's first new Dark Knight drip in the entire expansion. No. I have hated... Hate it. I'm gonna use strong words. I have hated every piece of armor I have seen in M Walker so far. But this shit, which I found at his house, so in Shadowbringers, so it's kind of cheating. But this shit's amazing. This shit's amazing. No this is my new I'm armor. Gonna, I'm gonna post what I look like in the Discord. No one's getting to enjoy my sweet look. Mm. Yeah. So everyone, everyone enjoy. There it is. That's my new. What's the sword? Oh, the sword's old. This is the sword I've been using since Stormblood, which is, uh, well, it's uh, it's glamoured, but it's a Dentakai. Uh, it's a massive, well, actually, there's a name. It's not a katana. There's a name for these massive uh, katana-like swords that I always forget. Um, but, yeah. Um, and you all know that I haven't played Final Fantasy VII, so you cannot accuse me of being a massive Sephiroth fanboy. So, I just, I just like it. I just think it's a, oh, Dachi. That's it. Thank you, Carl. Yes. Uh, it's it's uh, To my knowledge, this would be considered an Odachi, as I accidentally stabbed Tataro. I'm so sorry, Tataro. There we go. It's in the Glamour channel in the Discord. Let's see what Tataro has to say, because, uh, uh, you know, I got so much shit last time, Kyle. People gave me such a hard time. What? I heard, oh no, Garrett stream the last time I drove an MSQ stream because I didn't read enough optional dialogue. You what? You what? What? Wait, no, wait, which, no, that was, was Elpis. It was Elpis part one. You read, like, so much Thank for you. you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> for me. You Jesus. did. You were working very hard to click the Emmet as I, much as I, possible. I think I missed, like, the first two Emmets. And, uh. Oh, you, you had to warm up for and it. And that made, that made me the, the villain. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm okay. Sure. It's okay. I'm used to being the villain. So, I'll take this. I will, I will, I will, I will take the burden of being the villain. You do look good. Just in general, well, you know, like you like well, you do your recordings for the shots, and you often look, frankly, less silly than I do. I, I, my Ellison does tend to emote oh. strangely sometimes. <laughs> so, well, you don't really emote. They're uh, getting the serious version. Uh, Ellison just don't have emotions. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, Tataro says you've been act for turning up exactly when needed, and this is no exception. Um, yeah, look at that picture. Look at that picture. Yeah. Okay, the picture from yeah, Kryle is yeah. as the heavens burn. This, um, clearly things are going to go Alice very well. I stamp something. All right, are we accepting? I'm ready. Oh, you don't have your voice changer tonight. No, we're just going to have to you know, lean into it a little bit. Uh, so, you've learned aught more of the final days? Do you want me to Tataru for, yeah, for sanity? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Then the journey was well worth the risk. <laughs> no doubt your newfound knowledge will be a great boon to us all. Are you not curious? Unfortunately, during the time on the first, events have taken a turn for the worse. The Scions are running themselves ragged, trying to contain the spread of blasphemies, but it's a losing battle. To try and ascertain the where and why of it, Alizé and Alphano have been traveling all over. Of all the regions they visited, Locus and Monus is one of the worst affected. Thancred, Estinian, and Graha took a detachment of allied soldiers there to offer aid and succor to those in need. But the province is vast. They only managed to visit a handful of coastal villages. It was an accomplishment worth celebrating, still, but a drop in the bucket at best. In the meantime, Yishtola and Master Matoya have been making a concerted effort to establish contact with Hydaelyn in the Ethereal Sea, 
but to no avail. As for Chitaro and I, we've been keeping a close eye on the forum. From what we gathered, they've been constructing a vessel to ferry people to the moon. An ambitious project that has likely been years, if not decades, in the Mech game. However, since we've seen no sign of it thus far, I suspect it's still incomplete. You will also recall the proposal issued by Master Fortuno of the, to the people of Razat Han. Following their discussion, Vitra declared his support for the plan and urged those who wish to evacuate to accept the forum's invitation. So far, so good. But that's where things get a little strange. That's where they're going to get strange. Oh yeah, nothing's been strange up until now. Apparently, the forum caught wind of the lunar teleporter in the Tower of Babel and decided to use it to deliver people to the moon instead of their mysterious ship. Oh, I'm sorry, that's me. Therefore, th to secure safe passage for the Hanish refugees to the tower, Alphano, Elize, Estinian, and Graha traveled to Garlemald not long ago. Trouble is, the capital was hardly the safest place to begin with. And now... The final days have come to Garlemald. I... didn't think... I guess... If I was being smart about it, I would have assumed so, we were going to return because yeah. we hadn't gotten all of the ether currents, or at least they weren't all available to us. But I wasn't thinking about the f having a final day. I'm sure they're jolly, and no blasphemes are being spawned at all. Oh Everyone's yeah, everyone's having a great. You time. know, when I think of people who are immune to despair, I think of the Garleans. Shortly after our friends arrived, they were sent to rendezvous with Master Fortuno. Then panic broke out, and our communications were severed. From what fragments we were able to make out before the Link Show went completely silent, we can only assume the phenomenon has spread to the capital. Others need you, Valentuna. Please, you must help them. Having you there will make all the difference, I'm sure of it. Camp Broken Glass was their first port of call, so you'd best start there. Hopefully, Lucia will know where they are. There's no telling what you'll be walking into, so you had best take every possible precaution. Yeah, she didn't give a shit what we had to say. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't nope, even ask. Nothing. She's like, I hope you found out something important. Meanwhile. Just, oh, that's cool. I don't know who any of those people are because I didn't go to the first, so I don't know why you would think I would give a shit, but hey. Oh, yeah. She didn't participate in Shadowbringers either, so yeah, she'd have no Kryle idea. Kyle has been horribly sidelined this entire game. The only person who was sidelined more is dead, and her name is Moonbrita. What'd she do in Shadowbringers? Oh, wait, no, she was managing the entire nursery. Yeah, but she was just... Yeah, she was busy. But she wasn't in the story. No, but I think that's why the excitement of Dawn Trail is, you know, cryo, cryo, in the in the forefront. I'm heading to Ads the Heavens Burn there at Camp Broken Glass. Ooh, ooh yeah! Burn, 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 burn. KLG Chaos, I see you still pinned at the top of those 20 gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Thank you for the free port to Camp Broken Glass. You're welcome. I appreciate it. It's very expensive. Oh, fuck's sake, the pink rhino's back tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that sky. Oh, ooh, look at that. Look at that tower. Looking good. Oh, it is looking uh, good. Allow me to, as oh, cameraman for the incredible. night. Incredible. Allow me to get a nice shot of sky burning. Hold on, let me Babble. get next to you. So, Kyle, right now, if you hid your UI and hit, you know, record, mm -hmm. you'd have a nice little moody piece of clippage. I do, yeah. For a future video. Right there. I'm going to teach you how to see like me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> lava fell just Who jumped the hell out. was that? I'm, I don't want to give you shit. They ran for that's, it. That's they ran for They didn't even stick around. That's that's great. All right. It was a little JC, shield, wasn't but it? where'd you go? It was a little JC, wasn't it? I have no idea. I, I know no it was you, Jesse. No, he's too busy playing Final Fantasy VII. There's no way he's here tonight. No, he's playing. He's playing Crisis Court. He's oh. not even playing Final Fantasy Oh damn! VII. Have you been following his tweets? No. He's like playing Crisis Core and hating every minute of it, but he's too deep and feels like he needs to finish it. We've all been there. <laughs> That's me and my Hero Academia. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Just hate watch at this point, but damn it. 
That was me finishing Game of Thrones. Damn it, I'm gonna see it all. That was I'll me put and too much I, into this. That was me and, and 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 season six and seven of Game of Thrones. I was just like, this sucks. This is terrible. There's no way it's gonna get better. I know Crisis Core is Final Fantasy VII, but it's not the Final Fantasy VII that Kyle was thinking about. Oh, I see. It's a prequel game. Mm. I think it was the first Final Fantasy VII game that came out that had Advent Children styling. Because if you remember, Cloud used to dress in like a purple shirt. I'm more of a Spirits Within kind of guy. But then, oh, of course. Yes. Well, it's literally the... You know how everyone can't agree on the worst Final Fantasy? They actually can, and it's Spirits Within. I like it. Space <laughs> Marines versus uh, Ghost Looks like aliens. we're already starting with a uh, solo duty, Kyle. I like Ghost Aliens. Does anyone else Does anyone else hear like Ghost Aliens? I don't think anyone in the audience of Final Fantasy fourteen stream would like Ghost Aliens. No, I, I don't think don't it, I don't. That. I don't think it would. Yeah, we should probably drop party. She's glowing. Yeah, I already dropped party. Okay. Tuna, Val, and not a moment too soon. The skies of Gallimald are ablaze, but it's events on the ground that concern me. As you well have heard, your fellow Scions arrived ahead of you. We cut the customary greetings short after we received word from our troops on the Magna Glackies that the Forum's airship had landed. Correctly said. It was then that the heavens began to burn. Did you laugh at me pronouncing something You correctly? did right, yeah, but it's okay. still silly. Glackies, yeah. yeah. I dispatched your friends at once to ensure the refugees come to no harm. I would have you join them immediately. Additional support is en route, but we will discuss them later. I trust you are ready to depart. Upon departing from Mandaglaki, several cutscenes will play Ooh, in sequence. Nice. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. That's what we're here for. Okay. Okay. Starting right. fresh record. That's all good. Uh, are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one, go. Proceed. Perfect timing on the clicking there, by yeah. the way. Earlier on the Mandaglaki's. Oh boy, it's a crane. Oh my god, it's a beast from one of the first dungeons we ever ran. Some good camera shake. No. No, no. We were promised an escape. Not no, the same no, no, no. No. Oh, nice. I love that model. Yeah, it's a fun model. I shall not meet my final days here in this blasted waste. Calm yourselves. Your panic is our greatest enemy. Come, we must build a line of defense. This is the most alpha no Forshno has seemed. Yeah, but no one's listening. Well, no one really listens to alpha no either. How? Leave the fighting to us, father. You must lead the people to safety. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I can handle this pair. You shall tend to the refugees. Let us be about it. <laughs> As you wish, my little lord. Oh, Alpha no duty? What? That, was, what? that hasn't happened since. And Stormblood Patch Storm e When we met Gaius. Yeah. We didn't even know he was Gaius yet. Oh, yeah? All right. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to learn all your. Well, your it's all made up. It's, those aren't real buttons. See to the wound. Uh, Half of them are combined targets. abilities. I'll see be in to the, the same wounded. spot. Okay. Help is at hand. What's the difference between all of this? Uh, well, like I said, most of them are combined buttons. So don't worry about it too much. 
Just healing people? That'd be my guess. I don't know how to heal. You, you click people, and then you heal them. Every button heals. Well, most of them. Uh, looks like the the last few there, the purple ones are angry. Okay. Leave it to me. Wait, there's a there's a, a terrible gremlin blaspheme. This is a gremlin. Oh, you see the 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 red one. Yeah. So you know, like. Uh, Justinian's just doing his own thing. I think I'm just supposed to help other people. Oh, well, that was a nice... Oh, these people, these fancy people, like, falling over and stuff. That was nice. Terminus Howler. Those who can stand, come with me. I think we gotta we gotta help the ref. The distressed. Oh, go channel Easy them. now. Deep breath. Calm. Be calm. This is me and the Chihuahuas when Kyle comes over. Calm. And shoot You're lasers into now. the Chihuahuas. The stain's just off there rocking a whole pile of them. Worry not for the refugees, but for yourself. Garrett is quiet Boy. because healer anxiety. <laughs> Boy. Boy. Here we heal. Big one. And some kind of, oh, instant, but on a cooldown. Okay. You got it. Oh god. No, I don't. I'm not healing a Stidian. Oh, yeah, just hit him with the number four. Yeah, that's nice and easy. Give some of that Levier Diagnosis. And give him some pierogies. Just hit myself if I... Oh, boy. Now I'm going to learn what happens when I get tank busted. Oh, that I don't like the look of my new phone. Uh, oh. oh, butts. Oh, butts. Oh, I failed. Did you? Yeah, I did. I sure did. I was spamming the AOE heal. That's what I'm spamming right now. Should I not be no, doing do that? No, do the other one. Do, well, the, do the single target So heal. far, so good. Yeah, you're doing great. Kyle, you should have lied. Oh, look I mean, away. I could lie. Oh, look at this thing doing mechanics. Get caught up in the Focusing. Uh, <laughs> it's gameplay, and they threw you into it. Mistress did Okay, all right. I appear to heal. This is why we read our tooltips, boy. Well, I did it. I figured it out. Yeah, you did great. 
Garrett's been killing these M Walker dudes. Thank you for pointing that out, Sage. I appreciate you that. You sure have. I was Help! not having it. What? Wow, that was a hell of a line delivery. Good yell. Oh, don't make me watch a kid die. I need hell divers to land out of the sky right now. Forward! Let not a single fiend escape! Oh, it's our buddy! Oh, sorry, you have a no, ways you're, to go. Dude, react! React, streamer! <laughs> react harder, even. <laughs> There's, none of these are possible. Wait, that's Don't worry about it, man. Euless and the army. Yes! So, you've recovered, then? In time enough to be of aid, but once. Freaking Euless is back! We can speak of it more later. For now, we must fight! Hell yeah, brother. To repay your salvation in kind, or with better! For Garlemald has her pride! Of that, I've no doubt. Good God. Of all possible saviors, the Imperial Army. It's almost like you don't know what's going on, Portia, no, because you've been oh. sitting in your freaking tower. Figuratively speaking. I don't think there's a tower in <laughs> It's, yeah, no, there's an expression. I had hoped to take all of them down. Doing academia. Once. Think a withdrawal might be in order. Oh, sod that! You know who would never abandon these people to their fate? To be devoured by their former friends? That'd be beyond cruel. These beasts must fall here that and now. Sick. Well then, I'd say it's high time we threw caution to the winds. Ah, sounds a little different. So see. long as you spare me the heroic sacrifices. Now, let's go. There's gremlins. I saw the gremlins you mentioned, Kyle. <laughs> I'm glad. But there was Gareth's dog. My dogs are cuter than that. They're not that cute, but they're cuter than that. Oh God, they're changing shit on me. Oh, now it's red mage bullshit. Give me a job I play. <laughs> What's the difference? What's the difference between these? Why would I want to do this instead of that? Let's bring some damage to the phones all nearby. Okay, that's AOE. Uh, that's also AOE. There's more than one AOE. Okay, that's on a long cooldown. So it's like an HP. It increases own magic damage to by 5%. Okay, that's a cooldown. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, everybody, we're just gonna do this and then. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, yep. Yep, we're just gonna. Yeah, you're doing great. We're just gonna spam a little AOE. The thing that looked cool went out very quickly. You're spinning. I don't know what this is. Okay, we're just gonna. So far, so good. The cast time on the heel. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, hit our cat boy here with a little love, little love and care. There we go. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, no, this is only two targets, so we're gonna try one of these. Why is there a cast on my single target? What? Why indeed? Why do you people? How do you live like this? <laughs> In the dark night, all of my abilities hit instantly. What's what's going on here? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> you can't see watching me. <laughs> well, you, you, there's a if people don't know. There's a big screen right here that has our shared view of the chat on it, so I can just sit here and like. 
Yeah. Yeah, you do it, Garrett. Do that for business. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. You're doing great. I don't, I don't know when I should be doing one over two. Doing your best. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's why I'm always screaming. Because <laughs> I have cast what? bars and I have to run out of things. Today. Oh, I, bastard. Oh, that was the pot I wanted to press. Oh, well. Okay, so two's on a cooldown, so that much is doing more damage, so... I can use two until I can't use two anymore. We can just keep using two. Okay, all right. Finally, we we found the limits of two. Oh, we got pillars. Oh, you don't. Uh, your experience. Haha, kind of you. I know he took your pillar. He was a total Kyle. Just yeah. <laughs> you fuck. Look at that. He keeps taking your pillar. All right, we're going clockwise. Hi everybody. Welcome to the Grinding Gear stream from Carrot's point of view. I'm currently being forced to play a red mode. I have no idea what I'm doing. Please enjoy. I'm not done yet. You're doing great. I really appreciate the pep talk. Yeah, it's, man. It's wonderful. Oh, I wait, like no. how pressured you feel to do well. I do not feel that pressure. Anymore. I feel naked right now. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm having to give a talk only I'm naked. I'm not really afraid of public speaking anymore. For reasons I hope are obvious. Fair. But um, I would be afraid if I was nude. So I feel nude at the moment, Kyle. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna get. Wait, why are there some? Okay, this is probably as good as it's gonna get. That's down. Okay, and then we got things to hide behind. I bet yeah, we're gonna have to hide crackles with them. energy. Find cover. Well, what's crackling with energy? Oh, oh, thank you, Grandpa. Thank you. I'm gonna continue delivering DPS like it's my job. And I believe it is my job. Oh. Shit! Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, Alice I is figured good. it out a little too soon, or a little too late, but. Alice's abilities are prettier than mine. Do my As abilities say, eventually get this pretty, or is this play. just meant to make me suffer? Oh, 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 we got limit break. Let's go! Oh, yeah. Shink, 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 shink. That, that was it. That, that was all. That was all that happened. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Sweet. Whew. I wish I could pause. That would be a great time to pause. <sighs> the red duo took down the red boss. It's not the barest trace of ether. Oh. Maybe there really is no way to bring them back. I can pause. All right, everybody. I'm going to take this opportunity as I hiccup to wait for <laughs> Kyle. To wait for Kyle. Thank you. By the way, I did get um, the HDMI thing you said I needed, so um, you should guide me through setting that up. Oh, yeah, we should set that up. Such an, if we can get it for next Thursday, that'd be great. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do that. Because then I could swap to you. So, yeah, we're just going to we're gonna hang here for a moment while Kyle... Um, shows me how it's done on Red Mage. That's... I mean, I'm finally fighting the Terminus Lacerator at the moment. Oh, yeah, this is the final boss. So you're, yeah. you're almost caught up. Yeah. You're almost caught up. From hearing you yell, there's some mechanics coming up. I will have yeah, to deal Graha with Yeah, Graha more moment. or less kind of tease them off when you get to the uh, pillars. Uh, my tip would be go clockwise, Kyle. Go clockwise on the pillars. Graha steals all the goodies. Yes. Yes, cast commentate while well, Kyle is currently... Oh, pillars are up, yep. and he's in the right one. So go left, Kyle. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Kyle's like doing it right. Likewise. With way less sweat than I've managed. Yeah, he, decent he's nailing sweat. That was a bit of a walk. He's absolutely run, nailing it. Thank you for this handsome, beautiful face pause. Oh, I thought you were talking about me for a minute, and I realized you're just looking at Graha. <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to tilt my camera down. Here. There we go. Alrighty. I love that sword ability. Oh my god, El Bardo. El Bardo. Kyle, guess how many memberships El Bardo Driving just Driving 50, me. man. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you were correct. You were correct. Thank you. 
Thank you, Albardo. That's very generous. Uh, folks, if you were the recipient of one of those, make sure you give Albardo a thank you. And then when the stream is done, go and enjoy our bonus videos. There are quite a few now. You have access to a lot of bonus content as a member of uh, the Gearbox, as we like to call it. Oh, my God. So These, the, 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 murder, they, the, the meteors are a little unpleasant. Music's still a bit too loud. I can do something about that. I apologize. I'm currently meteoring. You can bring that down a bit. I just brought it down by another two and a half decibels. How's that sound? You found that okay? Okay, okay. All right. So we're in, we're in disagreement. We're, gonna, <laughs> we're bringing up just hair more. <laughs> Do you think Graha's eyes glow at night like an IRL cat? Yes. I mean, he has cat eyes. It, it, it must. If you shine some lights in it. You mu it must. It must happen. No music, no music at the moment so hard to judge. Nice. That, that's fair. All right. That's fair. I've done it. Wonderful. I'll see you at back. Back. Cat back. Cat back. Not an exhaust. A cat back is a type of exhaust for a car. Oh, wow. <sighs> All right. I am prepared. You there? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. Nani? Thank you for saving our lives once again. Thank you, man. <laughs> you have beautiful eyes. I remember you from Purusha. You helped us there too, didn't you? Ah, oh, you're from Palakar Stand. I'm glad you're still in one piece. That does sound a little like Ironville. Oh, you will be once I see to that injury of yours. Should have violently attack, uh, attacked a tree first, so it was instant. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Trailer shot? No! Look at Mr. All Around her. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Get he can do whatever here. he wants. <laughs> <laughs> like you, like you it's know, canon. it's canon. like you yeah. know, it's canon. He can just do it. He can just be a paladin. Lose them, not a one. This will Minster be Switch. a it was established. Future. It was. I yeah, because when you do the support duty. Oh, I don't do support duty. Yeah. We fought to achieve. You're embarrassing yourself, and in front of father, no less. You might never measure up to our champion. But we ask too much of him as it is. You mustn't let our sword in the darkness fight alone. Oh, I look so awesome. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> look how freaking cool I a look. Perfect shot on my tied waist sweater. <laughs> oh. oh my Hell god. yeah. Oh, I'm the coolest looking MF -er in the room. <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> what an option. Uh, you've done well in my absence. That's the most Darth Vader ass line I could ever hope to that deliver. That bottom, I am so the wrong job this to is enjoy it. Precisely why you should never skip your squat regime. Oh, that's the best one, but just some astrologian talking about squats, it ain't right. It doesn't make any sense. It's not fair. That I really good. want, and I do not mean this as a joke, I really wish I could say, Sup, fam? Mm, oh, yeah, that'd be good. I wish I could say something card adjacent like part of the cards 
Um, this wasn't in the comments. I feel like when you're dressed like Darth Vader, you respond like Darth Vader. So I'm going option two. Okay, I'm going on back. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I delivered it while smiling. I can look after myself here. <laughs> so tiny. Well, you're oh, also an tiny elephant. Too. You're also an <laughs> Everybody's elephant. Everybody's tiny. <laughs> I trust. I've had enough of this rabble. Come on. Hell yeah. That's how they make Let's you feel good. F and go. Make you suck for two fights, then give you yourself. That's awesome. Oh, a trio for the ages. I'm so emotional about myself. Got an, oh, oh, I was like, he's oh, dead. I get it. Like I get it. Oh, nice. Everyone's showing up to see how awesome I am. Oh, you get to fight with all your buddies. That's rad. Oh, Alphano's back there, too. Something. Huh? It's. Oh, that's, oh, okay. I, that's oh, interesting. That's cute. that's cute. Yeah. I don't recognize that one. No, oh, that appears to be new. Yeah. I thought that's a Thundercat for a second. Music slaps. Right? Get down. Freaking piano is going. I am in your deck. This big eyeball. Down it goes. <laughs> That's all you got for me? That's all you got? That was actually a really fun solo, Diddy. I'll say it takes a lot of hits. 
What was that? That's cute. They program Alize to take a lot of hits along the way. Why? She stands with a lot of stuff. You know, she's inexperienced, you know? She messes up. She's quite experienced at this point. She's been throwing down since Stormblood. Well, tell her not to stand in the crap she just stood in then. I think they did it on purpose. It was great. Shh, shh, shh. Julius is talking. You must board without delay. The ship will depart ere long. I'll see you at long. All right. I'll see you at long portion now. Long time. Long portion now. It's been a long day. I love that because that's how they feel. They're like, oh, what are my abilities? Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, God. And then you walk up and you're like, sup. I played this game a lot. I'm very used to this character. We literally role played them being panicked with their own abilities. And we show up and they give you that moment of like, this is you. You know how to do this shit. Freaking own it. That's badass. That's a clever read that I don't want to take away from you. But I'm actually I emotional about being myself. I, re- <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. All right, I'm ready. All right, you good? Yep. You hovering over yes? Yep. Hey, uh, chat, you got a you got a three two one go for me? You got a you got a three two one. If you got a three two one go emote, let it rip. By the power of the emojis. Three, two, one, go. You clicked early, very early. Well, I'm on an older computer you than clicked you. clicked on like I gotta one. Get, I got to get going in front of you because your computer loads everything appreciated. But will the final days not soon fall upon it as well? Oh, you're right. Actually, you should probably just speed up your... <laughs> your hesitation <laughs> is not unwarranted. The satrap entrusted me with your lives, yet I have failed your comrades. Nor are you wrong to fear that this corruption will continue to spread. I cannot promise you complete safety, even in my homeland. What I can promise is that I will do all in my power to protect you. That power is not inconsiderable. Even now, my countrymen are preparing the vessel that will deliver us to a sanctuary on the moon. Yeah, but everyone Join else here was cooler on than our you. journey there, and beyond, to new horizons. Come to old Charlian, please. We would be fools to refuse such a generous offer made in earnest. Join me on the moon. It seems they've a new destination. The people of Radzat Han have known too much suffering. The march to Garlemald will only bring them more, short though it may be. I quite agree. Fortunately, they have you to look after them. Yes. Well. Behind you! Just there! Do we get to be frenemies? I mean, yeah, it seemed, yeah, that's interesting. Xenos, here. Bring it, dude. You'll be all right. Hurry to the airship. Why have you come? A heretofore unseen beast. Twas ripe for the slaying. <laughs> Hunting logs. Oh my god, 
Poor sport, alas. Unfit to temper my blade. Oh, for the love of... You cannot still be on about a rematch. That is and has ever been my sole concern. I think we're getting frenemy Xenos, Kyle. I think it's happening. I'm getting that vibe. You, on the other hand, are fixated on a different quarry. Your passion pales before mine, yet neither hate nor despair seem sufficient to recapture your misdirected bloodlust. So I hone my blade and I wait. That's it. That's all you care about. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that is funny. <laughs> like all the forum posts Garland embodied in one is person. In ruins. Our homeland, the nation you rule, is as good as gone. Along with so many of its people. Not just soldiers like us. Not only those who fought and killed for power and duty. Innocent civilians. Murdered by their own flesh and blood. Lost and confused as they breathed their last. While we who survived with our lives and minds intact were left to freeze to death. The Eorzeans tell me all this was your doing! You slaughtered your countrymen! You did! For what? For nothing in the end. So much wasted effort. You... You bastard! For your own sake, Eulus, you must control your anger. It will serve no one should it consume you and see you transformed. <laughs> Would you be happier had I a good reason? What? If my motives met with your approval, would you no longer resent the outcome? If so, then perhaps a beast's skin would suit you better. Duty, honor, morality. All constructs of convenience when put to proof. Surely the war taught you how easily power becomes the tool of the self-righteous. How the people's justice was merely a means to their ends. Yet you would ask me why. Ask any creature of this star and those above for answers, and they will tell you what suits their fancy and they would be right to do so. What meaning there is to be found in the petty vicissitudes of your existence must be gleaned by you and you alone. Should you seek it in battle in the fruitless pursuit of my demise, then come, assume your rightful place as a notch on my blade. You are a blight on the Garlean race, and there would be no more satisfying way to expunge it than by beating you to death. I like this kid. 
but I will not be party to another tragedy. I refuse to lose anyone else because of you. So go. Go! And may we never suffer your madness again! You found meaning in living this way. I cannot deny you found strength. Yet if you only pursue your hedonistic pleasures and pay no heed to the plight of others, then no one will give you the time of day. You will never get what you want, not even the battle you pine for so dearly. You'll be alone for an eternity. And you'll deserve every agonizing second of it. Wonderful. I want a Xenos don't care shirt. Don't care, stay mad. 100%. Like, He's walking off. Just it's wanna, perfect. Just want a Xenos don't care. Really like the opposite of Hermes when you think about it. He's come to a similar conclusion, but a very different We're ready to depart. reaction. The refugee ships will be leaving shortly, but I've asked mine to remain for the time being. There's room enough for you to join me on it, if you wish. Do contain your surprise. I needn't agree with the Scion's methods or intentions to acknowledge that their deeds are deserving of gratitude. We appreciate the offer. But might I ask why you are delaying your departure? I presume it is not solely for our benefit. I must visit Garlemald ere we return to Charlion. Having caused such an uproar, it is only meet that I explain myself to the Ilzabard contingent. Allow us to accompany you, then. We should be glad to facilitate, given our familiarity with all concerned. If you would like to join as well, Eulus, we can speak of recent events on the way. He'll be after your seat on the forum next. Get him, Astinian. How do you all have such good memories of where you get teleported to in cutscenes? <laughs> practice. Years of practice. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. Ugh. You know how hard DMs work to get people that pissed off? That's awesome. Deliciously pissed off adventurers. What, Xenos? Wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea. The joy you feel as a DM when you get to just sit back and watch everybody just lose their shit on you and argue as your bad guy sits there and sneers or smirks. It is, it's an orgasmic experience. It is elation. I don't want to be in a room with you hearing about your, like it's your orgasmic It's a beautiful, experience. beautiful thing. 
And they're all making excellent points. They're all being heroic. And of course, you know, the adventurers are needed after they were dismissed in times of peace and all that sort of thing. But I, I, we need, I, you need to revel in the fact that it is very clear who is a DM and who isn't in chat right now yeah. by reacting to your orchestra. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> it's at the very most like one in eight. <laughs> if everybody played D&D in this room, it'd be one in eight at best. And still, that percent is even lower. Like, I know a lot of people probably see this as a man who is wrong and just needs to be defeated, but the fact that you feel that way means they did the right thing. And I love it. Oh, 100%. And it's reinforcing Zenus's motivations. Like, the whole time yeah. I'm thinking, I'm like, what, what, why, why bother? Like, Eulis yeah. chewing Zenos's out is going to accomplish nothing. You want to become a blaspheme? Alizé chewing Zenos out is going to accomplish nothing. But... It's a well-written scene. Yeah. It reestablishes Xenos's resolve. Yeah. And post Elpis, it hits different. True. He's got the, he he has the same conclusion that Hermes has that it's all pointless, but he's going he's taking very different action based on it's all pointless. And he's found power in it, so it's rewarding him. Yeah. In a, in a weird way, Zeno's has probably the healthiest reaction to existence of suffering. I mean, it's got one of the lines of best preservation. <laughs> well, well, yes. I, I think a, a more um, well-adjusted individual coming to conclusion of, of existence is pain, so you have to find your own purpose. That's really healthy. Yeah. But for Xenos, that's really dangerous. True. So, here we find ourselves. Also, I desperately need a water. Okay. I have yeah. tequila in my stomach, and I need Go for it. Hydration. Go, absolutely. So, absolutely. hold Go court. Um, I'll be chilling for a minute. I shall. It was a wonderful monologue. Hi, everybody. I'm going to... Oh, no, I can look here. That, that would make more sense, because then I can look more directly at you rather than looking at the, the screen that collectively has the business on it. Actual nihilism instead of Hollywood nihilism. I can't say I've looked it up a lot. I can't say I've spent it a, an immense amount of time. I have spent the majority of my time, however, effing with my players and seeing what makes them mad. And that I have experience in. Xenos is doing an excellent job in doing that, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And uh, as I said, you know, you, the gameplay jumping into confusion and then having you appear on the back end with the kit that you know how to play. You, you don't happen into that. Like, that's, that's a lot of the things people... People love to praise this game, but that's like, that's artful. That is some controlled chaos that they were able to wield the gameplay. And yeah, then the track, the track was, was quite hype. It was quite hype, but it was a very, very cool thing. Find your own purpose in the world bereft of meaning. Sounds a good reason to realize this is Xenos. He choose murder. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, and, and, and like, and, and then like Alize standing in some of the poop, you know, it's great. It, it, that like that adds to the environment. You know, would I like her to be a bit more less a hard on herself, a less comparison? Yeah, you know, sure. But I think we all know somebody in our lives that constantly compares themselves to you, even though to you it's like so unfathomable. I have a I have a little sister who's as tall as I am, to be perfectly honest. Like, and she rides horses. She's a complete badass, but it's so weird sometimes to, to see this woman and just how much she's accomplished and still have that moment of like, wait, you look up to me? Are you serious? I'm a mess. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pardon, the dog. Yeah. Sometimes it's a surprise I'm here. They 
forget I'm here sometimes. Say hi to stream, Zelda. Okay. All right. <laughs> Metallic asking a very particular DM question, and I'll take the bait. Uh... Uh, how do you run hallucinations without railroading? You pass them out one at a time. So in Strahd, when they're collective, take them down to single players. Uh, write notes to every player. Half of them are useless. Like, you notice a squirrel in the tree. Pass them all out at the same time, and someone's having the real hallucination over there. And let everybody have a note, but slowly discover who had the important one, and then spread it from person to person. Spread that hallucination around. Illusion. New word. But yeah. It's when uh, an illusion is hilarious. And someday, someday, I'm going to afford this table I once saw that had little, like, Pokeballs, and the DM seat had six holes, and you could put notes inside a class ball and drop it in the hole in, like, a bank. It would, like, it would flow to the individual player. I want that table so much. Someday. I will get that table. That and my shoes. But actually, Your shoes? Yeah, the shoes are the leather shoes I talked about. The Japanese leather shoes I'm going to get for myself someday when I've made it. Oh. You know, these things that my frugal self will never actually buy. Ah. But I love the idea of eventually owning. <laughs> that's, that's, that's me in the... Uh... Omega watch from uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Yeah, yeah, see? Yeah. I don't know Get why I'm obsessed goals. with that watch. It's just very pretty, and I was a kid, and I picked up a magazine, and I was into James Bond, and they had a write-up about the watch and that, and I loved the design on the face of it. Um, I've looked it up, and uh, they're not as expensive as, like, a Rolex, but they're still yeah, so no, it, much yeah, more money than it, I would ever spend. It is, it is a, a useless amount of money. Like it, it, the, yeah. people, the people who have those really like, care... <laughs> and that's what's really sad about yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, it's an Omega Seamaster Solaris. Yes, yes it is. Um the uh they're it's it's just it's absolutely gorgeous. I want one so freaking bad. Yeah, kinda like a pool table, yeah. <laughs> like a reverse pool table is actually I, I, it never accurate. you've described that table yeah. probably more than ten times to me and it's never struck me how much it's you're basically just describing a pool table. A reverse pool table. Yeah, well, it'd be a multi point pool table because you could send it to multiple well, the ball well, would stop. But the balls all gather in one hole, and that's the DM's hole, so lift that up to six holes that are actually dispensing back, and yeah, it's a reverse pool, pool table. It's a, it's a multi-stop pool table, then. Because a pool yeah, table, well, they yeah. all gather in one spot. If so. gravity was reversed, a pool table would work this way. Mm. 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 The important conversations. Yeah. Welcome back. I am surprised how many people in chat are uh, intimately aware with what an Omega Seamaster looks like. I don't even know that much about watches. Oh, well, I just know that one because I grew up as a Pierce Brosnan fanboy. I'll do the same. So I'll be your V and you can tell people. Delightful. The dogs are out. So, you know, uh, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're not getting used to Kyle. Uh, Wicket did give Kyle kisses the other day, though. We, um, what was it? I think after the podcast on Monday. Oh, we took a look at traffic, and it was just it was just hell on earth for poor Kyle to come to go home. So I was like, just stay for a little bit. We can actually socialize for a few minutes. We sat out back, and the, uh, I let the dogs come out back with us. And Wicket jumped up on, uh, and sat right next to him, wagged her little tail, and uh, started giving him little 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 doggy kisses. So so Wicket's starting to warm up. Zelda is Zelda takes forever to accept people. She is the guard dog of the house. Um, and, uh, yeah, she just doesn't like people coming in her home. You can probably hear how much she doesn't like people coming in her home. So, yeah. Wicket's not the... Sti <laughs> there we go. There it is. Yeah, I see what you're, I see what you're getting at there. Snossages? You know, you know, maybe I should just have Kyle come in with some snossages. Maybe that would... Maybe that would make it go faster. <laughs> oh man, Zelda was Zelda's not having it tonight. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, shall we? Let's do it. People say you should keep a thing of snossages in, the, in your glove box. Oh well, I haven't. Oh. Oh. 
You're muted. I'm sorry. Oh. The dogs were barking, and I was like, let's kill a bike. I was talking about it as good as it gets. Oh, good okay. movie. But watch it if you want. It's like a drama. You know, Jack that's, Nicholson. That, that's why I didn't watch it. It's got the guy from uh, Mystery Men. Oh, you're going to have to be more specific. Bacon in your, your pocket. Bacon There's your a pocket. lot of actors in Mystery Men. Yeah, yeah. Bacon in your pocket. It's all good. <laughs> Yo, Kyle, I think your uh, I think your your mic might have been muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens sometimes. Yeah, there's there's a lot of messages. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm sure that so many people wanted to hear what I had to say. <laughs> um, I liked oh. it, in Minute Men. I quite enjoyed uh, uh, Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Actually, like you interact in a optional dialogue. What? A unique interaction. Though there'll be time later to discuss your journey to the first there is one thing I must ask did you perchance speak with our friends in the Crystarian Lena and Becklog both warn me against overexerting myself strange that they would express such similar sentiments identical in fact but their advice is duly noted Stinian says couldn't save them all but if we'd arrived any later it would have been a massacre I thought I'd be done talking in this voice by now. Things were looking bleak until you and the Earth showed up. Okay. What's Val say? Oh, Val doesn't say anything. That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I don't care what Fortunato says. Damn. Alpha no. Final day should manifest here, too. After everything these people have suffered, is a fate cruel beyond words. Nevertheless, allies old and new at our side, there is yet reason to be hopeful. I'm reading Eulis. Oh, Excuse me. Pardon me. Tell me what happened that night and about the events that took place while I was receiving treatment. It was only then that I realized the lengths you and yours go to. I know I might never be able to repay you, but I'll be damned if I don't try. Most of all, I want to thank you, all of you, for everything you've done and continue to do for the sake of my people. Let's see. At the very least, I'm glad I remember your account for. Okay. Cool. All right. No one else important to talk to. No. You. He basically says, so this is your base. And then don't, 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 I don't want to know. Oh, spoiler. Sorry. I don't want to know. Sorry, Fortune of I don't want to. You know how much crap Sportino. I get every time I give Fortune crap? Yeah, that's all, yeah. I get a lot of crap. Yeah, no, it's intense. Yeah. People are very concerned about the state of Alphano should your fictional death arrive on y Fortuno. Yes, yes, I was so serious when yeah, I said I that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. And you know... Every time I get crap about how much I dislike Fortune, become more powerful. It makes me hate him you even want to more. Be, yeah, that's fair. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Now I hope we get a I scene get where he like loses fingers in like a mafia interrogation way. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You sick man. Yeah. Yeah. Every You're sick. Every time someone in the parasocial relationship that is streaming on the internet gets <laughs> overly familiar with me about how much they care about their husband o Fortuno, and how dare I this man. how dare oh I think god. he's a shit dad. Oh my god. Oh wow. I just hate him more. This is what's like being in the room of a serial yeah. killer. I just I, I hate I hate shit dads. True crime problem. ain't got nothing on this. I don't like bad dads. So Yeah. Yeah. I have a problem with bad dads. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what does Alizé say? Alizé says... What nice things does she have to say about her dad? <laughs> to see Zeno standing there so uncaring and unrepentant. Gods, I don't know what came over me. I just blurted out the first thing that came to mind. But looking back on it, I stand by those words. I would say I hope they won't incite him to further villainy, but to, to be honest, I doubt he even remembers what I said. Anyway, enough about that. It's good to see you again. Take a coffer. And some money. So where are we going next? Lucia. God, that, that mount, man. That mount is the Final Fantasy. When, you, when that mount is out and you're trying to MSQ, is the Final Fantasy fourteen equivalent of a pet watching you be intimate. Oh, just like sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it is unnerving. It yeah. is unnerving. Yeah. <sighs> to be fair, they're naked all the time. So. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a talkie. Wait, 
Lose the no audio. major Lose. injuries oh, then. Yes. Good. I didn't realize it was voice acting. Are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one, go. I briefed the recovered soldiers and sent them on their way as quickly as I could, but nevertheless feared they would not make it in time. <laughs> the additional support was in the best friend moment. <laughs> Your men saved more than a few lives. Though not all. I regret to say. I take it that I am addressing Lucia Junius. I am the Forum's envoy, Fortuno Leveilleur. And you are owed an explanation for these most dire developments. Another trial wrought by the final days. I was beginning to suspect as much. You doubtless feel some consternation having been forced to abandon your original plan. But trust me when I say you were right to send the refugees elsewhere. Beasts have been sighted within the capital. In the orbit. Perhaps it was a stroke of grim fortune that the population was decimated beforehand. As they've yet to appear in any great number, but in time. In any case, Maxima leads the remainder of the contingent in an effort to cull the creatures and evacuate the populace as we speak. For a hot second, I was like, why is he cheering? And then I remember. Once the yeah. airships have taken to the skies, I pray your men can be persuaded to join him. You'll permit us to retain our weapons? I wouldn't have sent you after the Scions where I expecting you to stab them in the back. And I, for one, would not consider past transgressions more relevant than future contributions. <laughs> Regardless of the dork. circumstances that saw us at odds before, we need men of courage now, more than ever. He didn't pass the Don't Become a Monster test. We swore to defend Garlemald, and so we shall. It seems you have everything under control. You will excuse me then, for mine own duties await. A moment, Master Fortuno. You did desire to express your appreciation for services rendered, did you not? Ooh. I did. Though if you intend to again ask that Charlian alter its course, you will find my gratitude insufficient. Your gratitude is always insufficient. There's nothing so onerous. I wish to hear the details of this grand endeavor of yours. Do you swear to listen and to learn, and not to embark upon some scheme to impede us? I swear. Hmm. Any other I would doubt, but you I trust to keep your word. For not once have you broken it. Very well. I will request that the Forum make you privy to our plans. You may await our summons at the Baldessian Annex, assuming the decision is in your favor. Does that suffice? It does. You have my thanks. Excellent. 
You can regale us with tales of your most recent sojourn to the first while we wait. Finally, someone cares. The things I've seen. <laughs> Did oh, you no. hear something just now? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want to hang out. See, I want another dinner scene where we tell everybody what happened. Oh, for Ooh. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what the shit? I did not have this on my bingo card. Whatever this is. What the hell? If anyone ever gets mad at me for making a joke during a dramatic point ever again, <laughs> just show them this clip. I will accuse them of being fake Final Fantasy fans. Dawn may banish even the darkest <laughs> night. This is the greatest story I've ever seen. He militarized comfort. them. <laughs> it sounds like he promised a pudding and didn't deliver. It is heartening to see such an assembly upon my return. I thought often of you whilst I looked down upon our star's brilliance from the moon above. Yes, but what are you doing here? I dressed like that. Aren't you cold? You've exposed Better thighs, Alize. Yeah. I fear for my health should I proceed to expound upon our purpose <laughs> ere I procure more suitable garments. He's shivering. Mrs. Doubtfire. Marvelously no. not an ounce of pudding to be found. I must suffer Orionje's inferior work That's so a more. surprising amount of effort. I was about to say, it's an impressive flan yeah. animation. Hey, You're even balancing. Maybe consider the plight of present company before you go blathering on about pudding and doom. Distant collaborators, indeed. Hey, old fellow, well met. You'd be a member of the forum, <laughs> would you? It's an honor and a pleasure to meet you at last. I'm Livingway, Hydlin's right paw. That last bit is very important. As am I, if I may humbly say so myself. <laughs> I uh, bid you welcome. To our star, Livingway. 
On behalf of the Forum, I thank you for traveling such a distance to meet us. As you have surmised, preparations for the Exodus have not proceeded as smoothly as we had hoped. I should be happy to personally escort you to our headquarters in Charlian, where you may advise us as you deem fit. Twas with reluctance that I set aside the great work of readying the moon for habitation. Be assured that I did so only after the Loperits made plain their earnest desire to come hither, and I myself felt a growing certainty that their contributions here would prove invaluable. Tis trite, perhaps, but I followed my heart. Good for you. <laughs> Oh, the second line's so cool, but uh, I just like Orianje so much. I'm going with yeah, the first one. I agree. Three, two, one, go. For a time, at least. Nevertheless, twas worth the journey to find present company well. Will thou attend us at the forum and lend thine own wisdom? Putting way in the back. If that's all quite settled, can we start moving before Urianger catches his death? Even I'm freezing out here. Oh, I dare say you'll warm up quickly once you're aboard the airship. Sat shoulder to shoulder with our fur covered friends. <laughs> the characters they made <laughs> <laughs> i like i legitimately am surprised that i like the loperets yeah i like them quite a bit um and i find their writing charming it wasn't a moment broken because we already had the serious moment of fortuno coming down from his castle uh, throwing yeah. him into the deep end of what adventurers do is funny. It was a nice, like, step down, step down from the Xeno scene. Exactly. You had the Xeno scene, which was kind of peak. You had the solo duty, which, um, if you're me, super high. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're just like, I don't know how to play these. And then you have the Xeno scene, step down. Then you have the Fortuno scene, step down. Yeah. And then... <laughs> if you're weirdos like us, you're like, I just want to tell somebody what happened in Elpis. But for the most part, that's a perfect place to yeah. insert that insert that moment. It's also a nice little moment to kind of like undercut Fortuno. This is just my important life's work. And what? Wait, what the hell? I've been talking to buddy people this entire time. Well, I think it, it's easy over the course of your adventure to elevate the importance of the scions, but really, we're nothing different than just some random adventuring party that really doesn't have any authority to do the crap we do. So it's nice to see us. The end to Fortuno is he has to acknowledge adventurers as even useful compared to what he's trying to execute on, which is freaking saving the world. Damn it. I mean, that's very reasonable of you, but we are also experiencing the story from the storyteller's perspective, and we yeah. know we're in the right, and we know that we're the ones actually saving the world. But it's a fine way to navigate. And it. the forum are the ones giving up on the world. So instead of being like, aren't you embarrassed, Fortuno? You, know, you suck. They found a way to kind of like <laughs> circumvent it by being like, listen, the adventures you thought were, you know, a bunch of random killers actually are doing some good stuff out there, including your son and daughter. Yes. And he'll still throw down the words, the big words. He'll use the big words. What big words? Well, you know, like speaking really slowly and playing word chess with his dad there. Uh, Even though his dad was giving him the uh, stern. So stern. Yeah. So stern. I just was uh, enjoying your outfit in uh, proper lighting because I haven't really gotten a chance to. Oh, yeah. To... No, look at my beautiful pecs. Uh, yeah. My gorgeous. I'm not really sure what the flaps are about, but, you no know. Flaps I... on your boots? Well, the large flaps up, up by my thighs are, you know, kind of 
large. I don't know what those are for. But, you know, I, with all the gizmos and gadgets and odds and ends and even some old string, I think I look pretty good. And, I mean, I, you are aware that I can do this, right? What, what did you just do? Oh, look at my face. Look at my face. Oh. Well, you are aware that I can do this, right? <laughs> of course. Of course. I was there. <laughs> I was there for the Tuesday streams. Uh, you looked like... This honestly is uh, probably a top three Val look for me. I quite like your glam tonight. Thank you. I quite like it. And everyone knows that I'm very subtle when I dislike something. So Yes. You can take that to the bank. I shall. Cash it in. Take it take it to the bank. Alright, what's Ori gotta say? I dare say Massa Fortuno was in as nonplussed as we to learn the identity of Heidelin's lunar custodians. As he will soon discover, they have much and more to offer the forum. Might I suggest we return to the annex forthwith? So forthwith. We may yet have time to discuss thy recent adventures ere we summon to the Rostra. Bold assumption. You're a bold assumption. Well, you know, he said if they approve after all. Sorry, Ironheart, some other day. Sorry, I like, I like your clam. Your clam slaps. Taking off Brennan. Look how tall I am in real life and in game. <laughs> We got to meet uh, we got to meet Crush this weekend. He's he's taller than you. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, you're, you're tall. Man. It's rare that I meet someone taller than I you. I know. Me, well, me too. It's rare I meet someone taller than me. I know. And I'm friends with you. I mean, you know, everything's very normal here. You know, it's probably my biggest complaint of you being here in person. Yeah. I'm frequently around someone taller than me. Mm. That's the worst thing about you living here. Sure. Yeah, that's the worst. That's not too bad. I'm I'm pleased with that outcome. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that, that that's what the worst thing. Kind of interesting to be here in fair skies. Oh. It's a bit of a juxtaposition. <laughs> Another first timer tonight. College of Vanity. Thank you for the super. Is that first time catching the stream? You guys are great. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for coming by. How tall is tall? You're six four, correct? Well, I say six three because it's like six three and a half. Six, and okay. I yeah. don't want to get in the the war with the six four people. Yeah, because I'm six one. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm used to feeling tall. Uh, Kyle is a giant. An actual giant. So, uh, you, are you in? Are you in the annex? Oh, no. I, I was actually, just cheering I, everybody I outside. I am entering the annex. I'm entering your annex. No. I mean, if anything, you're in my annex. We are. Oh, it seems it's getting right to Oh, oh no, shit. No, no, it's, it's reedy. It's a reedy. Oh, okay. Look at that camera. Oh, hey, Thancred. Look at those emotes the characters are doing. They are emoting. How do you fit on camera? <laughs> I make him sit. Nice lenses, too. Oh, shit. My turn. My turn. Not that I'm complaining, Orion J, but I wasn't expecting to see you quite so soon. I agree. Is the, the, the end of the expansion aired near, and with but two levels required, I thought I should appear forthwith. Why aren't you reading Orion J? Because I can't read <laughs> that well. <laughs> I guess an Orion J would, would be hard mode. Yes, very much yeah. so. Nor I thee. In extolling the virtues of Aetherius, I did inadvertently awaken in the Loperitz a desire to avert our beloved star's demise. Oh, I accidentally advanced. Uh, Kryle tells us you've <laughs> obtained new knowledge that may aid us in our ongoing efforts. I have news to share regarding our study of the Ethereal Sea, but your findings are certain to be great, of greater interest, and so I would rather hear them first. To what revelation did Heidelin's Elpis flower lead? <laughs> well, He's allow foam me. at the mouth. <laughs> allow Same. me to get out my red yarn and photographs. You wouldn't King, believe it. The day I've had. You know that, you remember Emmett? Well, we're, we're best friends now. Heidelin? Just a, just a lady named Vanah. Yep. Just some lady. Not important. 
then this dynamis is what drives the final days. If it and Akasha are one and the same, this all but proves Nidhana's theory. We're an entity that, through sheer force of emotion to channel this vast, dormant reserve into a raging river, its power might surpass even that of ether. But if our star is so replete with ether, that entity would need to be outside its influence to effectively manipulate the dynamis to the great expense. Meteor. Or rather, the sorrow and suffering of fallen civilizations that she has been hoarding for millennia. Untold anguish and fear and hatred drawn from every corner of the universe, all for a single purpose. The destruction of a theorist. That's metal as shit. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> then our foe is no longer some unknown noble calamity. Excuse me, I'm going a little vitra. It's okay. I need to get it back in my Batman. But have but one aim to defeat Medion. You make it sound so simple, but you're not wrong. Vanquishing Medion and we deliver our world from the final days. But to even attempt it, there are two conditions. First, we must determine her location. Before Medion escaped, an enchantment was placed upon her by Vina, the woman who would become Hydaelyn. The vocations of temporal magics are not entirely understood, and so we cannot assume that our Hydaelyn and the Vina you met in Elpis are one and the same. Yishtola, what are you doing? Nevertheless, due to her intrinsic qualities of an all-powerful being, I'd wager that Highland possesses the knowledge we seek. Whether she would share that knowledge with us, however, remains to be seen. After all, she intended for us to flee Atheus, not to stay. Do you suppose she had abandoned her pursuit of media? Top one. Yeah. Three, two, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're reading. Is there a good King Moogle poster? In the I'm sorry. Yeah, Continue. I think so. But he well, wasn't primal, so, well, you know, I'm just studying him. Yeah. I just hadn't noticed it before. Anyway, continue. I'll look at it later. That's my impression, too. Otherwise, she wouldn't have used me as a conduit for her will. Or provided clues such as the Elpis flower. I believe she has been waiting mankind to answer to the Hermes question. So what's the second condition? We must find a, a means to reach Medion. Naturally, our chosen method will depend entirely upon where, where, wheresoever she has made her nest. Then communing with Heidelin must be by necessity come first. Did you and Master Matoya have any luck with your investigation into the Ethereal Sea? Sadly not. Though we enlisted the help of Arnvald and other Echo-blessed allies, we could not detect so much as a whisper from Heidelin, even from within the Anti-Tower. Master Matoya is of the opinion that in the years since abandoning it, the form has found some other method of receiving instructions from Heidelin. If so, it would most likely be some form of apparatus for observing the ethereal sea, built closer to home. I don't remember. It's already in a rebel who just received word from the forum. Your presence is required in the Rostra, where they intend to discuss the Great Exodus. And father was able to persuade them. They're finally taking us seriously. Let's hear what they have to say. I am just going to cover my ears and la 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 every time Yeshtola tries to distract me with her ramblings. 
about how things might be other ways. Well, maybe it isn't this way. Yashola, could you please just simplify <laughs> things? Yashola, please, don't lead me astray right now. Don't There's a whole astray. audience here Yashola, who knows the answer. Yashola, you know what I want you to do? I want you to read our YouTube comments. <laughs> and all the people that want to be like, how Stop can, trying to how trick can me, you, Yashola. How can you consider other options? Well, you see, I've read a Yashola dialogue. Once. Just once. Just once. Pardon me, I'm reading uh, Oriange. He's talking about some important crap. <laughs> uh, Basically, we need to listen to the Laparits. In parallel, it's a very expensive change. Okay. Up, 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 up. Watch that. Sidian says, when we face the harsh realities of life, some seek the release of death, others grow defiant. Fight. Either way, it's our right to choose. He's talking about Xenos. Oh, he's talking about Hermes, actually. Yeah. 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 Parallels. Mirrors. Yeah. Parallels. Like poetry. It rhymes. I know we usually read out loud, but it's a lot of reading. I know, there, there's so many characters, and I really want to see the main meeting. So this is literally what I would do if there was an audience here. I apologize. <laughs> My attempts were in vain. I can only assume that she has spent a vast amount of power in confrontation with Van Daniel and is presently unable to communicate. That, okay, I almost didn't click on Cryo, but this is interesting. Indeed, as her presence left my body, you could feel how faint it had grown. Shola, hmm. don't lead me astray. Master Matoya has suspected for some time that the Forum has been constructing a new facility for the purpose of surveying the Ethereal Sea. Of course, as the custodian of the Anti Tower, which would presumably be rendered obsolete as a result, she has a few things to say about that. Nothing that should be repeated in polite company, you understand. Please repeat it. I love Matoya. Mm -hmm. We stayed in Locus and Monus for some time. Being an Imperial province, it was already in turmoil before the onset of the final days. I believe the difficulties we had overseeing the evacuations. That doesn't surprise me. Sorry, Thanker. Not that interesting. <laughs> One soul is a distant past. The events you witnessed and helped shape may yet hold the key to forestalling the final days. Reminded of a dear friend in a, f in a future I unmade, whose selfless efforts saw the eighth umbral calamity averted in this timeline at least. Too much has been sacrificed for us to have been in a theorist now. Okay. All Agreed. right. Agreed. Hold on, I gotta look at this Good King Mughal. Oh yeah, you guys see the poster. That is definitely Good King Mughal. The good King Mughal art. Oh, can we? I'd like to summon higher resolution wall texture. Uh, hopefully, right? With any luck. Looks like a original Counter Strike wall spray when you get up close to it. Who knows what sort of limitations? Let's see here. Why are you a ghost? Me? No. Oh. Well, they're Bar probably a rogue. Barista at the end of the universe. Is that a title? Is that you need this title, is that Kyle. I can earn. Kyle, come here. Yes. Come to me. To me, Kyle. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah. Oh, I need to get that. What is that freaking title? It's incredible. I'm just gonna uh, give a bow. I feel awkward now, just staring at oh, you. Oh, spoilers! Oh, I see. But uh, spoilers. Okay. Yeah. You get it from spoil. Is it, is it actually a spoiler? I saw a gathering. Oh wait, yeah, Kyle. Who do we know that fled to the edge of the universe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the bird girls are out there making coffee? I mean, we might have a hot cup of joe to restore our... We must silence their song of coffee. Be a strange title to give out. Bird bucks? Yep. Where am I going? I think I'm going the wrong way. You know I, I'm, I'm... Come to me, sir. Come okay. to me. We are come. Ah, uh, yes. The most important character in the game. Steward. No, just just steward. Nope, oh, I'm screaming ah in the chat. Pardon me. Eat the moon with coffee. Left. We shall. Budget tuna. Yeah, the, the, your haircut's a little busted there, buddy. I'm sorry. That looks good though. He's got it. He's got this. Is straight up. This is a hair, uh, Karen hair, haircut, man. I tried it on once. Yeah, that's like a, I really like it, but I tried it on particularly with my kind of. 
coloration I have in my hair, it really... You look like you want to talk to the manager? Yeah. I yeah. Think. If that was the day we fought uh, Ragthos. Is that the name Rath- of the dragon? Rathalos? Rathalos. I walked out and was like, oh, this is it. And then I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, this not, is not it. This is not it. Mistakes were made. Yeah. T- mistakes. Tuna with crust. Yeah, this is tuna with. Do we have the same face? Hold up. Hold up. Do we have the same- Are we using the same face? Aren't you? Oh, shit. He keeps... Uh, no, our face is... Hard to tell. He has a more angular face. He also have eyeshadow on. Well, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. I think I have quite a bit of... Yeah, no. More angular face. More angular face. Custom makeup on it's my It's my cousin. My, my cousin goes to not the best barber. So. The forum is in session, and as such, the roster is closed to visitors. But I'm no visitor. A scion of the seventh dawn? Very well. You may wait in the corridor. Of course, entry will only be permitted on the condition you leave your armaments at the door. Lest you forget, this sacred institution holds rational discourse in the highest. The implements of war are expressly forbidden. Okay, nerd. Yeah, you wouldn't deprive an old man of his deck, would you? <laughs> You're a quick waiter tonight. I cannot keep up. Yes, excellent, everyone. Everyone take your seats. Yes, take your seat. Where am I going? Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably running. some sort of something thing up here. Probably have to ministrate the tiles. Yes. But we must, I call it! We must properly ministrate. Oh, do you want to, you want to, let's yeah, time absolutely. this. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. Waiting has commenced. Commence the waiting. Look at Chewie. So cute. Looks just like Zelda. There is a matter I wish to raise with you before we enter. Ready? Again. Ready. Three, two, one, go. We are here to listen and to learn. But if the forum's plans are more or less what I expect, then I should like to make a proposal that will serve our ends. By your leave, of course. I don't see why not. Your words and wits have gotten us this far. Agreed. I will present our queries so that you may consider the most advantageous way to advance your proposal without distraction. Thank you, everyone. If I may have your attention, the ad hoc session will now commence. He's laughing at his mustache. The purpose of today's assembly is no, to brief the back. scions of the Seventh Dawn at their request on the Great Exodus. You may enter. On behalf of the Forum, I commend your heroic actions on the Magna Glacius. We shall not soon forget your service to us and the people of Radzadhan. The Sartrap, whom we have informed of the refugees' new arrangements, sings your praises as well. As an expression of our gratitude, we will endeavor to answer your questions as fully and openly as we are able. Then let us begin. First, it is the Forum's objective to ferry the life and knowledge of this star to the moon. Am I correct? 
<laughs> you are. Yes. It is for this purpose that Charlian has labored these many long years. We have collected biological samples and scientific records from across the star. When the time comes, they will be moved from their places in Labyrinthos and Numenon and conveyed to safety. Once that critical task has been accomplished, we will begin transporting the Charlian citizenry, which has been categorized into groups. The earliest arrivals are to ensure hospitable environs for those who come after. Following our people, we will send those of other nations in turn, beginning with our allies. Radzat Han was foremost among these, but since the final days have already come to Thavnir, we saw fit to include the refugees with earlier groupings. An ambitious plan. You have accounted for the safety of all nations and tribes, then? As many as we can. And how, pray tell, do you decide who to leave behind? Good question. To journey beyond the sky is an unprecedented and immeasurably difficult endeavor. Introducing sources of inevitable conflict would condemn all to certain death. Questions as to the validity of that approach aside, are your plans proceeding apace? We're under the impression that your primary means of celestial transportation is incomplete. If only in that it does not meet our optimal parameters, that is correct. This arc, as some have taken to calling it, is fully operational and could be launched even today. However, the final days have progressed more quickly than we anticipated. At present, the ship is incapable of attaining speeds sufficient to meet our evacuation targets. Should we put the vessel into service as it is now, we will be unable to travel to the moon and back quickly enough to complete the necessary number of trips. Precious lives and knowledge will be lost. Seven hells. Is there anything to be done? The ether burner, the primary means of propulsion once the craft is in the space between stars, is undergoing testing to determine whether it can be made more efficient. Though cargo is being loaded for the initial phase of the exodus, we are prepared to continue our experimentation up to the day before launch, should it prove necessary. What if the Scions were to solve your problem? We shall help devise a means to improve the ether burner's efficiency on two conditions. If we succeed, you must allow us to meet with Hydaelyn. It was simple enough to deduce. You have a Concord, and so you would never have abandoned the Anti-Tower had you no other means of communication. One far more convenient, I suspect. The second condition, also to be met upon our success, is that we be permitted to propose another use for your Ark. Flying it to the edge we of the universe, Kyle. Liberty to refuse this proposal. Of course, if we cannot prove its merit to the 99 here, who are we to stake on it the lives of all peoples of this star? Delightful as always, Master Alfino. <laughs> <laughs> no chill. <laughs> Hell yeah, what a shame. Oh, we couldn't have asked for a finer plan. 
allow us to solve this complex engineering problem of which we were entirely unaware until moments ago. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> the satire writes itself. Freaking love him. <laughs> Yet, what field has not benefited from a change in perspective? When we are at wit's end, what we need is not the same dry theories recited ad nauseam, but fresh inspiration. I, for one, have faith in my erstwhile students to provide it, and I find their terms to be perfectly acceptable. Order, order! We have no time to waste on debate. <laughs> Everyone's too rowdy in here. All in favor of agreeing to the Scion's terms? How long does it take to count all the dinguses sitting around the circle? Well, I think it's kind of like claps, you know? You just kind of look around and get a feeling. <laughs> then if it's close to 50-50. They got those little lanterns. They should light their lanterns. Seventy-one in favor, twenty-eight against. The eyes have it. A man can count fast. Fortuno, as the architect of this project, you are the best candidate to show them its current state. And bear in mind that regardless of your personal misgivings, this is the will of the Forum. Yeah, Fortuno. Show us the state of the project. Very well. I call this session to a close. Return to your tasks with urgency. The final days wait for none. Cuts over to Fortuna with his hand down. Such a disappointment. Well, maybe it's super embarrassing, you know? Who knows what kind of weird Where you shit. go in there and he's got a giant body pillow? Well, I mean, who knows? You know, there could be like a full-blown, you know, lady suspended in water uh, minority report kind of situation. That'd be pretty embarrassing. Who knows what they've made to communicate with Heidel. And if Kryl gets inhabited, they may have someone, you know, trapped in suspension. A bunch of heroes wouldn't be into that. Could be real embarrassing down there. <laughs> and what does Fortuno have to say? Oh, he's just gonna honor. He's just gonna honor it. Boo, Fortuno, boo. <laughs> I thought for a second we were gonna go, we know a ship, it's crash land on the moon, we'll go steal the drive from it. <laughs> That'd be a sick dungeon. Go run the moon. A oh, moon dungeon would be fantastic. Yeah. Going through moon caves. Get to ride the moon buggy. Wait, what was that about? Migrod Summer? Perhaps if Migrod Summer was still alive, in the traditional sense that is, he could have offered to help the vessel attain the necessary speeds. Ha! Huh. Yeah, he did fly through space after all. Propelled by farts, perhaps. Oh, interesting. Raha says while Vana knew the final days would reoccur at a defined point in the future, she presumably had no way of knowing exactly when. Right? Right? I have a rough gauge based on what we told her, though, because we would know what had happened. Well, that's why I... Got excited about uh, the Praetorium because she'd be like, oh shit, that's the guy! Oh my god, I'm gonna do everything I can. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go nuts! Hit all the buttons, Praetorium! And then she's like, I am winded as hell. I'm just gonna... Oh, I got so excited because I found the Warrior I, I of Light. I was just really excited, so I'm uh, just gonna take a big snooze through uh, all of Heaven's Ward. Can someone yeah. take over for a little bit? It, it's perfect. 
So, hey, Heidelin, yeah, it's in pretty close proximity to a calamity. So just keep an eye out for that calamity. Which one? And, uh, that'd have been... Seven? <laughs> seven, 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 Listen, seven, she seven, got seven. our version of the story. She's seven? working. She's doing her best. Seven. 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 Thank you, Chad. All right, I'm engaging Alpha now. Yep. Sorry about not letting the rest of you in on my plan. I was admittedly thinking on my feet for the most part. Good for you. But since we require both a means of communing with Hydalid and reaching Meteon, in the spur of the moment, I saw involving ourselves with the completion of the Ark as a way to work towards both objectives simultaneously. However... We must first keep our end of the bargain by solving the problem of the ether burner. I like to think it not a challenge beyond our combined expertise, or at least the expertise of our extended circle of associates. It might behoove us to learn how an ether burner actually works before we attempt to improve it, though. Oh, that's an interesting note, Swordbreaker. What's that? Oh, thanks for the super. Kyle, the white-haired guy who voted no in the back was from the Astral Legend quests. I believe he was brought up the last time we were in the forum. What a butt. What? What a butt. What a butt? What a butt. What a butt. What an ass. Y you're, you're down there. You're his buddy. Yeah? Maybe. Is he an asshole in the Astral uh, I mean, quests? people really don't like Astrologians in general, a lot of them. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, but there was like Ishgar and the healing arts, and they were all, they were weird about it. Well, Ishgar, yeah, yeah they were Listen, weird. Listen, a they lot, had no healers, a like, lot happens in the period, right? Yeah. Haircuts happen in the Astrologian quests. Haircuts? Yeah. Why haircuts? Very important haircut happens. What? Why? You just have to do it someday and find out. Uh, okay. Get some coffers. Or, all right. Are we talking to Fortune now? <laughs> Are we talking to Fortune? Yes. Okay. Going underground. Fortune's ability to maintain a stiffer, uh, stiff upper lip. Oh, boy. I want to play uh, ACDC now. Was I Fortune knowing? Were you Fortune knowing? I don't think we've had a Fortune know, so. We've totally had to read Fortune. Have we? I don't think we've hung out with him that much. All right, I'll Fortune know. As instructed, I shall take you to see the ether burner. Meet me outside the Archeon. I trust you can make your own way there. So the Ark is being built in Labyrinthos. Hardly surprising. Where else could they conceal such a massive undertaking? That would explain why we couldn't get all our ether currents in Labyrinthos. Oh my god. I, I really hope they're building up for a three, two, one, and the Labyrinthios. <laughs> Oh, the whole top Everyone's opens. Like, oh my! Ah! Oh. And then we get to have so like, wait. It, are we going the ship from the moon they brought to Labyrinthos? No, they're building a new ship to go. to Oh, the moon. that's yeah. just gonna be okay. It's, it's a whole new ship. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you think it's gonna be the Dorito? Yeah, yeah, that's probably. It's gonna be the friggin' Dorito. Yeah, but we don't. We're not taking it to the moon. We're gonna take it. To, you know, that's a Kyle. Hurry up! A misdirection. I want to see the. I want to see the pizza. I want to see the damn lo login screen. I've been staring at it. Make sure you don't for more than a year. When you should French fry. Let's go see the spicy nacho. I'm ready. What's your favorite Dorito flavor? Uh, cool Ranch. You're a Cool Ranch guy. Yeah, I'm okay. a Cool Ranch guy. Yeah. Okay, I know. I uh, many of my best friends are Cool Ranch lovers, and I'll add you to them. I like uh, eating I'm, confetti. I'm a, I'm a spicy nacho guy. For spice, unless it's a. Uh, like you can teleport, by the way. I don't want to teleport. I want the RP. Yeah, no, we're going you to teleport. Go by the way, got to talk to. Jeez. Nilzozo. Imagine, Would imagine you really teleporting. Deny the Nilzozo fans the opportunity to talk to her. Oh my God, you're going down to Labyrinthos to see the Dorito for the first time in the history of you seeing the Dorito that you've been staring at for years because that's how long it takes to beat Endwalker. No one has actually beaten Endwalker yet. We're making fantastic time. Yep. Now and here we should teleport. And you just yeah, teleport. I'm, I'm going to teleport. Oh, I was, no, I'm going to teleport I, was hoping I know it's I, all the way over there. I was hoping I would get down I here. I think there might be like a cave we got to go okay, through first and fine, stuff. Okay, fine, an Kyle, so I'm gonna, fine. I'm going to teleport. I'm Thank you for undercutting anything. all of my hopes and dreams. I thought we'd be down here and we would see it like sticking up out of the ground or some shit. Well, we got to go here. 
I mean, there's a whole there. Look how much it is down there. You're riding a freaking chair, oh so God, I mean, so many characters. All right, well, I'm gonna show my sword again now that we're not in the stifu and we're not allowed to bring your guns. Biological right. samples. What? Huh? Uh, you, you, if you want to go on first, you know, I'm gonna grab everybody real quick, just for posterity, oh, okay. and we can review the footage later. So much, although a lot of them are very brief. Listen, all the characters showed up for the session today, so. And you were there, and you were there, and you, and and you, and you, and and dear God, how many characters are there? All the scions. All right, captured. Hold on, I want to see what Boy Graha has to say. <laughs> it's been many moons since I last visited at Labyrinthos. That's impressive. Lyman tree? You never unlock what? And there's some. There's someone. You know. Respect. Thanks for the soup. Well, maybe they believe a kind of uh, prestige situation happens, and they were role-playing that they never died. Maybe a friend of theirs said that, um, you know, you no longer have wings to carry you to the heavens. From now on, you must walk. And they were just told that before they started playing, and they're yeah. like, shit. Okay. They're like, that's a cool quote. Great. I'm going to just walk everywhere. Yeah. And then they and then they got to that moment, and you were like, holy shit. To be fair, it'd be time for chat interaction. All right, I'm going to force you now. All right, go for it. Our destination lies in the lower levels. The forum, in its wisdom, has granted you access to the Archeon's lift. Step inside and have Ophelin take you to the medial circuit. Finally, we get to use the thing, Kyle. We get yes. to use the thing. Oh, there's a whole, like... Give us the thing. There's a whole foggy area we haven't been to yet. Oh, yeah, no, the map is massive. Your map is There's massive. plenty still to go. The nope. Hey, you! Hey. Lift operator! Hey. Lift! Lift this! <laughs> I haven't <laughs> thought about that in years. Lift this? Just this. Do you remember just like this? And you just like grab. No. No, you just no. Like, lift this. No. It was like. You... It was like that's what she said, but instead oh. you just like make everything rude. Oh, I'm, 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 I mean, I remember D's. You like CDs? You know. Yeah, I know, I know that one, but you yeah. just, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that was it. Okay. It's I'm, I'm not sure that was a thing, but you know. It's totally a thing for me. You, 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 <laughs> you do you. Yeah. You wish to use the lift, yes? Only since the first time I came here. Probably should have synced on that. They're probably going to have some grand reveal. No. Nope, never mind. Yeah, it's just no, the, they just poop the you out. Medial circuit. The lonely fortune. Now. I do love the labyrinthos music, particularly at night. I have sent your associates ahead to Logisticon, Logisticon Alpha, Logistican, Logistican. It's like logistics, Kyle. Makes sense. They're but nerds. They named a city after it. Nerds. On the other side of Miryal Arg. Agronomics? Ar Agronomics. Got those agronomics. Just making Study up words. Of pirates. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be pirate economy, Kyle. Come on. Yeah. That's one of the many, many uh, expertise you can go into in pirate college. Jesus Christ. Actually, there is something I have been meaning to. Ooh. No. Oh, come on. No, never mind. It can wait. Let us attend to the matter at hand. Come on. Boo. Boo this man. Oh, where are we going, actually? You shouldn't be surprised, Kira. All I've done is have hot takes on music and, and walkers. Just into darkness? That's all I, I've done. Do we just kind of turn? Where are we going? Yeah, it looks like we just kind of, like, just start walking into the woods. Until we eventually get to an... Oh, no, there's oh, kind of a path. That oh, that looks cool down there. Look at the view, man. Yeah, that does. That reminds me of... Uh, I would play this RTS. Yeah, look at that. It's very shieldy. Kind of reminds me of like a... In Orlando sort of vibe. Haunted castle city. But I'm sure it's just shields and stuff. Science. Ether. 
horribly thirsty tonight. And not just because I've been hanging out with Graha. He was bum. very, you know, his ears were twitching and he was blocking blows. Oh, you can't hear the, uh, the bumpers I'm playing. What? Oh, fates. The fate is joined. The There's a stray tomato, Kyle. There, there actually are a lot of things going on down there. I tried to go as a crow flies, and I'm regretting my decision. I stuck to the path. Seemed useful. Plus, there's a big wall. Oh, I know y'all heard the bumpers, but Kyle can't hear it because he took his headphones off. That is a big wall. Big wall this. Yeah, big wall this. All right. Ooh, pretty room. I feel bad being on a mountain here. It's fine. They allow it. They're the ones who set the rules after all. I know. It just doesn't feel right, man. This is a cool area. It kind of looks like somewhere you might get your, like, tombstone on. Yeah, Some right? Some future place. I'm going to come back here. This looks fun. You're riding through on a chair. My immersion, Kyle. Even more in the characters. There's just so many characters. Are you charactering? I'm, I'm recording everything they have to say for future study. I was filled with inexplicable sense of elation to see the vegetables of other carrots being cultivated. Other than carrots. The Stinian's just sleeping anytime there's not combat in his. No, he's getting campaign. wistful, man. He's getting wistful. He's being reminded. All right. All right, Alpha. Engaging Alpha now. Nope. Oh, Cutscene. Nope. Oh, oh. We ought to wait here while our father arranges for us to use the next lift. Here being Logisticon Alpha, where the atmospheric conditions of Labyrinthos are regulated. Water is drawn from underground and dispersed as vapor, stimulating the formation of artificial clouds and rain. By manipulating the temperature and air circulation, they are able to create the ideal environment for the growth and preservation of the biological samples kept here. Hold on. How do you know so much about it? Why, father brought me here as a child. What? And left me behind? Actually... You're the one who left me behind. When you went off somewhere with Grandfather. The night before, I'd been asking Father how clouds are made. So he decided to show me. It was fascinating. I peppered him with questions the entire time. It is all too easy to take for granted the many interweaving aspects of the natural world. To grow inert to the wondrous. But having gained an understanding of the complex mechanisms employed by the Lopperit in recreating a similar environment, I have come to view such processes in a new light. The subterranean gardens of Labyrinthos, a lunar prison forged to contain, uh, contain the ancient zodiac, the habitations built for all mankind neath the moon's surface, each unique yet undeniably similar. It is no mere coincidence. A distance Heidelin unfolded to us the grim fate that awaits Atheris. Every essential resource we could spare has been delivered to Labyrinthos in preparation for the Great Exodus. But that is not all. It is also a testing ground for the technologies that will allow us to settle on distant stars. Though the Laparits have endeavored who would make the moon inhabitable, this is not our final destination. Mankind must learn to propagate life where there is none, to thrive where all is barren. Alas, time is not on our side. I have arranged for you all to enter the central circuit. 
It is there that most of our preparations for the Great Exodus are carried out. The construction of the Ark among them. Though our plans have been made public, access remains highly restricted. You, however, will not be subject to said restrictions, and will have free reign to come and go as you please. Such was the will of the Forum, after all. We will prove ourselves worthy of their trust. Your trust. <laughs> Shit. Then let us proceed. <laughs> I am nothing if not disappointing consistently. Alphano's going to punch him. He's no, Alphano's going to punch his dad. Into it. That's he's going to happen. He's, into it. he's going to be like, hey, dad. He's supplying the baseline. That this is normal for dad. Provide access to this. Yeah. <laughs> By the By decree, decree of the form. Of the form. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, please, you just did the whole show. Allow me. <laughs> the signs of the seven dawn are permitted to enter the central circuit. Why, thank you. Thank you, my good sir. You're welcome. All right, we're down. Oh, yeah, we got to have shields. You know, we're going into space. Gotta have shields. Excuse me, I'm uh, taking in the sights. Yeah. The blue uh, underglow makes me think of Final Fantasy VII, and I have not even played that game. I mean, it's very yeah, yeah. They're doing they're doing an interesting thing. I don't know if it'll even be used this expansion, right? They're like, hey. We're going to build biomes so we can go to other worlds. Yeah. Seven was green underglow? Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the whatever, the, the lady was in a machine or something. What's the main city? Midgar? <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, it's more green than this, but it's pretty similar. Although, funny enough, the first damn Google result makes it look brown as hell. But yeah, I see what you're saying. It's, I mean, it's, it's bluish green. I would, I would call that a turquoise. Or an aquamarine. All right. Response is recorded for posterity. Delightful. Uh, Fortuno says, The ether burner is being constructed not far from here. Overseeing the work is Kokol Dankal, after whom the forge is named. Once the necessary introductions have been made, I shall leave you with him to discuss the particulars. This way. As the music gets jaunty. Yep, this music is always psychotic. <laughs> I prefer the night theme. Alright, let's go. This is pretty. I like Labyrinthos a lot. Yeah. Thanks for reminding folks to like the stream, Moira. Thank you for the super. I missed a turn because I'm playing without UI because it's pretty. I can get out a uh, duo mount if you'd like to ride along. Uh, is it going to be a ridiculous kind of uh, uh, no, it'll be immersion a, it'll, breaking? It'll be a chocobo carriage. A chocobo carriage. Okay. All right. All right. Allow me. Chocobo carriage. I'll, I'll finish this game the way I started. There you go. Oh, man, I'm pondering. You look very contemplative. I like it. Contemplate those supers. I think we're almost there, man. Yeah, we're almost there. But hey, for next time. We're almost there. Do you think Alfred over told his parents he got another set of folks when he went to the first? <laughs> Uh, that's what he should throw on Fortuno's face. You know what? I like Dulia better than you. Damn. <laughs> He's just gonna be like, who's Dulia? Uh, oh, uh, do we have a Lalafell with a mullet? This is the most I've ever liked a Lalafell's drip. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got the, the lion cut. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's incredible. Your PC's getting loud over there, something like Well, there are, you know... Mounts and such. It's a big area. It's mad about uh, Labyrinthos. It's trying to. Oh, well, Labyrinthos is quite large. It's trying to ponder this massive orb. Oh, 
How can you ride grandpa right in front of the twins? The gall. That is so insensitive. It's over there on a Phoenix mount. Just riding grandpa in front of everybody. Damn. Just, ugh. Think of the children. Don't pray for him. Don't pray for grandpa. It's too powerful. Don't pray for grandpa. Try not to startle him. All right. <laughs> I have engaged all scions. Were any of them interested? Um, everyone's just sort of pondering the areas around. So this is clearly like an end game farming zone that they're like, ah, oh. oh, behold the forge over there. And, <laughs> and what, what yonder bonus quest lie? <laughs> okay. So I'm engaging Kokal. Kokal. Yep. It's a wacky scene. Could swap them out. No, been there, done that. What a voice. Down here, lost me eyebrows. Think, Coco, think. We'd be well on our way to paradise. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments if you'd only think. <laughs> this guy's voice yes. is great. That does sound rather lovely. Yeah! I mean, Master Fulch, you know, what a pleasant surprise. <gasps> We're not blasting off already, are we? Last enough. The schedule remains unchanged, for better or worse. Oh, so now I get there to sync up. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. This guy sounds like he's about to go off on witches. Just how much he hates this witches. Which is why the forum has elected to accept assistance in resolving the ether burner conundrum. Huh. Not seen you lot down here before. Like Where has this voice actor been hiding? Among their number, but engineering is not their expertise. Nevertheless, the forum concedes the slim possibility that they may have insights to offer. If not, you are at liberty to return them to the surface by whatever means you see fit. Hail. I assure you that won't be necessary. Now. About your troubles with the ether burner. Aye, aye, I'll walk you through it. I suppose okay. I could do with a change of pace. I like his glasses. As the I name ought to tell you, the ether burner burns ether, ambient or otherwise, and transforms it into motive force. Think of it like a giant bomb that never stops exploding. Yeah. Can Even we use it to blow up some bird girls? Where the ether's right sparse is strong enough to move our arc. <laughs> And it probably won't kill you like an actual bomb. <laughs> <sighs> but it ain't perfect. According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forum's liking, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. A measly 6%, you say? But if I could have squeezed even another 0.6 out of it, don't you think I'd have built it that way in the first place? Hast thou consulted with the Loperids? Yes, they too are conducting their own research, for lack of a ready answer. The Moon's propulsion systems are considerable, naturally, yet they are commensurately massive. It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a teeny tiny toy boat, as they say, and as I most certainly do not. <laughs> yes, exactly. He Damn it. Oh, I asked funny. for a fine adamantite, and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology. You're trying to drive me mad. Do you speak of Allegan refined adamantite, perchance? You know of it. Only in the most general terms, I'm afraid. Twas an alloy of Allegan make. But the secrets of its production were closely guarded. Kyle, As I, I think recall, you're getting your Allegan. Yeah. The record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Oi, that's the stuff. No material more conductive far as I know. Slotting some ends like blowing up a dam and watching the river of Ether come rushing through. Ain't a living soul that knows how to make it though. We were fortunate enough to salvage some for the ether burner, just a wee bit, mind, from a chunk of Dalamud that came hurtling into the northern empty during the calamity. 
We have more? Well, that extra 6% efficiency will be child's play. It's a crying shame that we've no other sources. Surely the many shards of Dalamud scattered throughout Eorzea would suffice. Why not get the refined adamantite from them? Oh, <laughs> we tried, believe you me. But only a few specialized pieces would have had any in them to begin with. Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. Those are the prize bits we really need. According to the Gleaners, getting to them means delving deep into the shards. And the defenses are still very operational and very eager to blow them up. Send me in, coach. Right, I, I want to run an elegant dungeon. Come on. In there, even for the cream. Not sure they'd make it out alive. Weren't we near that part of the Ragnarok when we went to destroy Bahamut? Are we getting uh, custom? Oh yeah. Options? Well, there's no way she would turn to you. Otherwise, right. 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 Yeah. This has got to be because we ran coils. It sounds like a job oh, for someone that's else. That's cool as shit. The white raisin's ghost uh. haunts me. <laughs> like the first one. <laughs> I want to go middle. Uh, that's just interesting. It is cool, yeah. Let's go I'm that. going that. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Three, two, one, go. Heavens, are you all right? You look pale as a... No, I look <sighs> nail. Best put that battle from your mind for now. Deep breaths. That's it. Hmm. There are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone, so handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather, if we could salvage adamantite from the shards simultaneously... Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. What's all this? Adventuring. Gathering firewood, so to speak. We alone can accomplish little, but joined by others, we may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's ward. Oh, we said an expansion name. <laughs> <laughs> the world this is, is Alphano. The Scions have need of you. Now he's gonna babble. Understood. I will contact the Lord Commander and dispatch our finest at once. My sisters are somewhat preoccupied with the final days, so I will lead the Twelveswood expedition myself. Are you aware of any other sources of refined adamantite? Logically, such an invaluable alloy would have been utilized solely where absolutely necessary, in components intended to conduct or collect surpassing amounts of ether. Any extant instrumentation or devices would have likely found their way into the hands of etherologists or enthusiasts. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? The Eastern Alliance will send word to one and all are there other ways we may offer aid? No shards of the lesser moon scar our soil, but our stake in this cause is no less for it. Hell yeah, Serena. Is there anything in Othered that might be of use to you? What did you say? <laughs> you got friends in far places, lad. Any road, if you're offering, I wouldn't say no to one of those far eastern sacred relics. <laughs> Hold enough ether to summon a whole damn primal. Combine a source like that with the ether burner, and three, two, one, kaboom! I gather you heard his explosive enthusiasm. Might you secure us a suitable relic? It shall be done. 
I know little of machines, but I promise we will do our utmost to gather the materials you need to finish your starship. I am glad for the work, in truth. Better to busy oneself than wait and fret over disasters foretold. Then why are we all still standing about yapping? There's plunder for the taking. <laughs> and I'm a born plunderer. Yes, sure. Freaking sick of course. Old Hell yeah. Before you know it. Start mixing the grog. I'm certain that can be arranged. Thank you all. And do be careful. Yeah, hang on, Dad. I got a very important call to take. Just oh, Mr. Like President. <laughs> Aye, just like that. Our refined adamantite is on its way. Now let us consider our next steps, shall we? There's yet much to be done. While you were living under a rock, we were out being awesome. <laughs> yeah, witness it. Yeah, your son's awesome. You it. Yeah, you had nothing to do Absorb with it. Absorb it. <laughs> now walk away. Watch your son fly. <laughs> uh, thanks for the super change. Power of friendship. No, no fetch questing needed. Right? Hell yeah. So I mean, I wouldn't have mind running an elegant dungeon. Like, I would be real. I, I would have been into that. Yeah, I would have run been, down. Yeah, don't threaten me with a good time. I would have channeled several things in that elegant dungeon gladly. Oh yeah. Yep. Talk to Astinian. Okay, what's Astinian have to say? Consider how much of a fuss he made at the time. I don't see why he takes every opportunity to bring it up. It was just firewood. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, with, with, with his collecting firewood, so to speak? Yeah, well, the... Well, we, it's an ongoing joke with Alphano. The heavens board, and he knows how to get firewood, and then the dividing up. Like, it's, it's oh, that thing. whole bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, geez, yeah. I hadn't thought yeah. about that. I mean, I think about the campfire scene often, but not the getting of the firewood. <laughs> I only remember it because I was impressed in Heaven's Word that we kept getting quests where the NPCs were saying, and I'll go do the other two things. <laughs> and I was like, well, this, this is nice. I am still impressed by that, by yeah. the way. Like, to this day. Thank you. That they break, no, that they break this up. Oh, Alzheimer's kind of interesting. I dare say there are still a uh, fair few elegant creations, contraptions remain to borrow friends that way. I hope only that grandfather watches over them. Orianje also has a rather poetic view of things. And I was about to say it was a very nice balancing act of all the characters, but what of Kryl and who should have our next quest? <laughs> Trial themselves. All right, Kokal is my new favorite character. By the way, hmm. uh, Kokal, just call him Dankal. Dank uh, is voiced by Gav from Final Fantasy 16. That's why his voice is so rocking. Oh, ain't you okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Gav's great. He's best at, uh, bestie. Yes. Yeah, best. yeah Gav slaps. Oh. <sighs> Can we carve out some time for Final Fantasy 16? We will. We will. <laughs> It'll happen. There's so many games I want to play. So many games. Sorry, it was Kyle, gotta say. You crying? It's time like these were reminded That's how Hancock? Oh, no. How oh, famous or infamous Alphana has become. Who'd have thought he could achieve so much with a single link peel conversation? As were expected, rather, a lot of visitors in the near future. I best return to the surface and inform the relevant parties. I also have this music. <laughs> so I have a contact of my own I would like to try. Oh, and who might that be? That is for me to know and for you to find out. And on that note, I leave matters here in your capable hands. Best of luck. What is she talking about? 
Way to go, chat. You ruined Gav. Yep, yep, you did yep. it. You ruined Gav. Meanwhile, in Ulda? Okay. Come on, voice Pippin Zine. I don't think it's voice. Oh. Our course of action is clear. We must harvest Pretty refined adamantite from the shards of Dalamud and procure arcane relics of Allegan Make. Summon the best and brightest of our immortal flames and form an expeditionary party at once. Call upon the salt and sworn and brass blades for support as you must. Papashan, send word to the guilds. We will require the expertise of master artisans if we are to have any hope of identifying and recovering these elusive materials. Fear, guys, we have need of your stone torches. They are to assist the immortal flames in scouring the ruins and to help secure the surrounding areas. I trust I can count on your support. As commander of the Stone Torches, my son Zimberg will personally see it done. Thank you, Zernberg. <laughs> Pippin, I would have you lead the raiding party. Assemble your finest, and with Tizona's blade, clear the way. Lord Lollerito, I pray you take charge of the search for Allegan relics. Surely you know of some being traded on open or clandestine markets, or sleeping in collector's vaults. Of course, I what, ask not the, that you the, do this the out of the kindness voice of your actor, like, well, disappear? I profit on the transactions. I wish you the joy of it. The final days descend upon our world. If circumstances are truly as dire as they say, Uldar's best efforts may be for naught. And yet, when we Eorzeans rose from the ashes to rebuild our broken realm, did we not learn one simple truth? That which seems all but impossible to overcome alone may yet be possible if we stand together. It was the Scions who united us then, and it is the what? Scions who call upon us now. Just imagining how much you hate this. <laughs> she just keeps talking, man. We will summon our courage and join the fight for our world's future. You know your duties. I, Nanamo Ulnamo, 17th in the, the line The most beloved old, leader in the game. You good luck and good speed. The only leader the writers care about. Is it? No, no, it's not the only. Oh, are we going to check in with all the world I leaders? I assume so. Okay. Because we're watching the family tree. All right, wake tree. me up when Merwib talks. The, the, what's it called? <laughs> the, the phone tree. We're watching the phone tree. The phone tree? The phone tree. God, their archers look so doofy. God, this kid's legs. <laughs> just That's put what on legs some look pants, like. Pants, pull it on some pants. We fielded a goodly number, but our ranks are heavy with healers, and an abundance of restorative magics will be of little help in destroying Dalamud's defenses. Still, it has ever been thus with Gridania. We must steal ourselves for a protracted engagement. In that case, might I suggest taking us along? Hell yeah. Commander Hext, what are you doing here? None of the shards in Girabania are big enough to hold an internment hulk. So we said to ourselves, why not lend our neighbors a hand? We thought you might be short on people with a talent for breaking things. We punch. While it pains me to admit it, you are right. 
<laughs> Our artificiency is so plain to see. It might have been a lifetime ago, but I was once one of the Scions assigned to the Shroud. I know this forest well. I know your people. And I know we will be stronger if we fight this fight together. Look at least being a leader. Then I will impose upon you with a clear conscience. Come, let us speak of how to integrate our forces. I won't let it all be for nothing. I promise you, Papalima. Music's popping off. Yeah. Oh, wow. We really are checking in with everybody. Everyone has already. Ah. That's just cheating. Vitra, for some reason, an Ishgard? Or... Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah, the dragons ran. Well, yeah, but... Yeah. We're getting everybody together. Plus, it shows respect for the Allegan Ruins that are teaming with all the robots. Oh, and hey. In summation, the Eastern Alliance, as well as the Honorable Lord Lollarito himself, reached out to me for assistance in procuring these treasures of the divine, and I, in turn, do beseech the Confederacy for aid. You guys still got to think about it, huh? <laughs> you guys still got to think if you want to help fight. Mm -hmm. Listen, here we go. Here, Is that? There's someone we can respect. Hell yeah. Hancock? What a surprise us, this is. And a fortuitous one at that. I have a favor to ask, you see. It's <laughs> just a snake one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait wait oh, what we're wait. skipping pirates? We're, we're just we're skipping no pirates skipping allowed. Skipping Limsa and the Merwib hate continues. Yep. Complete shade. Just, just forgot about Merwib. Yep, not important. We had a worst leader. We had to stare at a see-through tan thighs. But, but I, for one, would like to say <laughs> something else. I believe the mercantile district would be much accustomed to such a mission, and should be a part of this as well. I also believe, and I also also believe, we're skipping all more web conversations would be most beneficial to the planet in order, whose quests make perfect sense. <sighs> I'm gonna go bump the AC down. I'm roasting. Okay. Continue your uh, wonderful. I'm, I'm 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 investigating. I'm investigating the surrounding scions. Please excuse me. Nope. Okay, the scions are still saying the same thing. Right. That was a great. It was a great unite, and uh, I like that they haven't done it too many times because I've often said I look forward to every Dragon Age get all the factions together moment, but they didn't go too hard. They don't go too hard on it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Chat, don't say what you want to say. Let them enjoy at their own pace. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. He wants to affect the AC. It's okay. We're still, we still got quests to go. What? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people are getting deleted for some reason. Oh. It's probably because like the next scene is also even more scenes and they're going to oh. do pirate right around the corner or something. Oh, okay. Okay. It's almost like we're human. Well, you know, it was it was summarizing them all. Oh, right. Nanamo Hayes, well, I just, I just don't want to make Garrett listen to me say that she's better in Japanese, because then he'd get upset at me for saying oh, something. God, so. just... But she is a lot better in Japanese. Oh, the old is a great starting area. The really language does, is, is irrelevant when the complaint is frequency. Not. No job too small. Oh, oh, oh! You're just, you're just gonna, you're, you're just. No, no job is too big. No fee is too big. Oh. Ghostbusters. Oh, great. We're Ghostbusters. Are you gonna go see the new one? I heard the trailer's better, but I'm not really invested in okay. whatever they're up to. So I was just maybe? curious. I was just curious. Probably not. No, no, I certainly don't. I'm about to have my third kid. There's no way I'm like pulling strings to pull that off. I don't care. It'd take a lot for me to care. <laughs> well, yeah, that's too much work. Alphano is resisting the urge to pat himself on the back, much like Kyle in his opinions of Japanese voice acting. Though our friends are searching for refined amantite and sacred relics, we will only know if they meet your requirements once they have arrived. In the meantime, is there aught else we might do to be of service? Uh, <laughs> you do the voice. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, this, I'm coming up blank on it suddenly. I, I, I was going to say you do the voice because you got the haircut. But it was getting ready. He was doing the witcher thing, so yeah, he's got... But ah. it, was, it was a little more, like, it was a little deeper than you would you expect haven't it done, to be. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't engage my Lollafell. Much, so, much sultrier. I ain't done more than enough. <laughs> and if I had to say, though, I could use some who knows a thing or two about elegant technology. <laughs> you there. The lad with the red eyes and matching air. You seem to know more than your average scholar. <laughs> you sound like a pirate. Huh. If only Master Kuffle knew how right he was. While he and Graha establish a rapport, why don't we help with preparations for the Great Exodus? Indeed, this would mean going above and beyond the terms of our arrangement. But I propose this not to curry favor. As confident as I am that we will succeed, we must be ready for every eventuality. This would also be an opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the logistics of traversing the Great Expanse, and if nothing else, it beats twiddling our thumbs while we wait for the Adamantite. Well, ain't you a bunch of helpful buggers? If you've a mind to lend a hand, I know where you ought to go. Charlene Hamlet is lousy with researchers and scholarly types busying themselves preparing for the Exodus. Pa, that lot needs all the help they can get. Well then, off we go. Can we have a round of applause in the chat for Kyle, everybody? <laughs> My God. Just, just... You you stuck it and it stayed there. You know, it stayed somewhere. <laughs> and a governor in it. Uh, to the other side, I guess. Oh yeah, no, no, okay. We didn't. We haven't been there yet. That is why we have not attuned to such ethereal communication devices. Hmm. Job is too big. No B is too big. Hello, governor. You sound like an extra in Pirates of the Caribbean. Huh? Maybe? That might be an okay thing? Oi, Captain Bob Boats, how you doing? Oh, that's right, they brought him back, yeah. I got weird. I'm, I'm talking about the first one, but yeah. yeah. 
I'm not talking about the extra Pirates of the Caribbeans. Just saying you sound like an extra in mm, Pirates of the Caribbean. Doing my no UI thing again because it's pretty. Previous <sighs> undertaker. The what now? It's probably one of the operates being weird. Probably. Most are remarking that the settlement is large, and there's quite the maze of paperwork down here. Bureaucracy. Alize says. From what I can tell, a lot of people actually live down here. I don't know how much we can offer, but I dare say they benefit from some of a fresh inspiration. Scholar Montage mentioned. Let's start by asking around, ideally without getting in anyone's way. Let's meet by the Etherite once our work is done. Asking around commencing. Uh, 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 hello, steady, steady current. current. Helping with the arc. Even with all the power, Master Corporal's managed to squeeze out of the ether, but it's still not enough, apparently. Now I fear the final days have arrived. Horrible creatures running rampant all over. <sighs> Only we've begun the exodus sooner. People are dying and there'll be no end to it if we don't fulfill our duties. But we will. We've spent years preparing for this moment. Believe in the plan, and all will be well. Inspirational words. Yep. 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 I'm Silk and someone's up here. Grin? Yep. Silk and grin? Yeah. Got some weird names up here. Um, hello. Are you one of the new helpers? Working on the ether banner. Oh dear. I hear things have come to a standstill on that front. Even so, I choose that over my current duties. Checking and loading samples day in, day out. It's tiring, thankless work. Still, no one will be cross if I misplace a few legumes and what have you. The forum's got enough on their plate as it is. What with deciding who gets to board the Ark and when. A lot of powerful people have opinions about that. My heart goes out to the Master Fortuno and the others. Hardly get a moment's rest, I expect. Do they even have time to sleep? Oh, yeah. Coffee. That's what coffee's for. They invented it. Maybe. Am I at this building? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. There, there's a lot of characters. Oh, over here. Paul to San? Offering to, uh, 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 offering to help? It's very kind, but I should be able to organize the rest of the documents by myself. It's mostly listing things we need once we arrive on the moon, and whichever star we choose as our new home. My duties largely concern the maintenance of living conditions, so I'll be a lot busier after we depart it. I hear that our lunar collaborators have come down to assist in the effort. I'm looking forward to finally meeting them in person, after having to communicate them with them with such limited capacity thus far. To be perfectly honest, I'm not even the slightest idea what they look like. I do hope they're not enormous, looming giants. Why, I would much prefer something small and fluffy, like a <laughs> rabbit that ran by. Well, oh, aren't you in luck? I think... I think you'll be happy. Also, Some, we should we should probably attune. Someone's been Can we? Ahead. I oh, assume yep, yep. so? I couldn't click on it from that distance. Yeah, it's got a little stairway on the side. And into the... Oh, here we go. Orianje and all his friends. All his way friends. Appear <laughs> the up. Operates have infiltrated Charlene's most heavily guarded facility. Just say, growing way. Crikey! 
I wasn't expecting to see you here. <laughs> Jesus. Singing way plays music. If you click them. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it plays it over the music yeah. being played. Yeah, well, you know, they're, they're just singing it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Fun. Archon Loaf Lore continues. Oh my god. Living Way says. I'm not there yet. Hold on. I'm reading, reading about Archon Loaf, Kyle. Our friends in the forum brought us to see the tiny, teeny boat, which was most uh, quite impressive considering they didn't use any creation magics. What were we with it? This is kind of great. <laughs> I'm <laughs> really interested in the theaters itself. Though we find ourselves in a sort of funny underground miniaturized version of it. All bunnies celebrate. Living Way is the leader. There will be more lines. Find a voice that you can stick with. We were hoping the forum would give us a guided tour, but it appears that they're rather preoccupied. Honestly, all the time to prepare. They're still not ready. I suppose we'll have to show ourselves around, or at least we'll... Uh, that's what we're planning to do until we have a chance upon Orion J and your good self. Since you both dawdling about engaging in our chit chatter, perhaps you could show us a few points in interest. Won't that be fun? Oh, because the no job is too small, because they're small. Oh my word. Alright. <laughs> right, Orion J. Take it away. Wise guides. Wise guides. A tour of labyrinthos? Hmm. An unexpected yet prudent suggestion. Given the similarities betwixt this artificial environment and Best Ways Burrow, it would be in our best interest to have the Lapparits acquaint themselves with those conditions deemed optimal by their Charlene collaborators. I fear, however, that continued reliance upon my limited knowledge would risk narrowing rather than broadening their perspectives. Mayhap thou art better suited to leave this venture? What a marvelous idea! <laughs> Might we bring it to the great big what's it over the yonder? Ah, yes, the what's it. I shall leave its explanation to Tuna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, also, for singing away, Kyle, if you aren't going to at least try and do a Mrs. Doubtfire, you then what are, what are we even we doing here? If you have expectations. What are we even doing here, Kyle? If you have Kyle? expectations for singing away, don't let me what stand are we? I'm way. telling you my expectations, and I expect yeah. you to do it. Well, no, I, I, it sounds like you have opinions that should be... Uh, I'm ju I'm, I, just want to, I just wanted to hear your... Tailored to. I just wanted to hear your Mrs. Doubtfire. That's all I wanted to hear. Oh, my God. The even deeper pudding... Pudding research. But wait, they were named Pudding Way before learning about pudding? I don't remember if that was actually their name on the moon or not. Yeah, I believe they it was. Pudding. They were Pudding. They were Pudding Way, but if they didn't know about pudding until I mean, they, they came books, to Aetherus. They got the books from the planet, though. They had that, that one book that they were kind of basing everything out of, their, their DM's guide. Maybe it talked about pudding in there, you know? Okay. And carrot pudding's a thing, I think. Never had it. I assume it happens. Is it as disappointing as carrot cake? Carrot cake can be all right. No, it's a personal can't. preference. Like, not really. Now you like pumpkin pie, and I hate it. So you know, let, the, let that slide. <laughs> carrot cake's all right. <sighs> all right, singing way. Everyone's disappointed when you show up with carrot cake. Goodness me! <laughs> Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Hello! To bring something so large with creation magics is positively stupendous. Perhaps you should direct your attention to the most important features. Uh, apparently, am I facing the right direction? No, we need to destinate. Wait, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. We're going to jabber walk again. Oh, no, it's again. one of these. Oh, my God. Uh... Show the Lapparits the important features. Of the I don't know. I yeah, actually. Well, no. Wait, maybe get into what uh, Alphina said. Oh, uh, the, 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 the tanks. Yeah, the, yeah the we tanks. do know about the tanks. Yeah, we learned about clouds. 
Mmm. It seems that it's getting a little Yodish. But that golden pipe connects to the top of those tanks. And I can see through the window to another pipe at the bottom. It just sounds like Kyle going through puberty. Ah, this, is, this must be for purifying water drawn from blue. Okay, well, they pointed at the window, so let's try the window. Uh, oh, wait, there we go. I don't know. The wheels the, the probably... Me the nope. metal tube. Nope. Okay, the tube. The rhombus. Is that where water I hear is from inside the great big tube? Oh, I clicked on something different. Oh, it must be because those cogs of the giant wheel are atop. Oh, I see. That's how they draw up the water. That's probably some sort of spiral-shaped mechanism inside, too. What did you click? The big water tower thing to the right. Oh, oh, sure, mushroom-like thing. Yeah. It looks like the trees in the greatest ends belt. Hold on. It's a bit of a strange shape. It's thin at the bottom, but big around the top. Quite tall for something so unbalanced, too. Now it makes sense. That's where they store the water. We did it. We did it, everybody. <laughs> well, if I had some guess, water drawn from underground pursuit. Oh my god. That, that was not enough time to read that. Oh, Jesus. Well, if I were to hazard a guess, water drawn from underground, presumably with some other mechanism, is purified here and stored in that tower before being distributed elsewhere. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it. Our design really, really is an in simplicity. I dare say it would take only a moment to install in even the harshest of environments. For Slothritz, that is. You look physically in pain when I watch you do these voices from the side. It's mostly just concentration trying to read. Ah. I, I, I can live. living way if okay, you want to break it. from Lapirates. Right. Indeed, securing a reliable source of water is of the utmost importance for any fledgling settlement. Who was singing what you were oh, singing? Oh, I, I, well, I just previewed as well, excuse me. We have to read, however, that the people of Athera sometimes make their homes in arid deserts and such. How are they able to survive? I'm just going to go for that first one. Yeah, that, that makes enough sense. So, wherever you choose to live, you're never far from water. Oh dear, I worry we won't be able to procure the necessary amount. We can provide enough water to keep them from drying out completely, but it would appear that they rely on it far more than we'd anticipated. A few adjustments may be in order. Only once we've calculated the average number of consumables per individual. <laughs> Consumption. <laughs> right. Still, oh, still you. Excuse me. Uh, it may also be worth learning more about how exactly they obtained their water in the first place. Master Elfano spoke of the machinery responsible for that feat during our journey through Logistican Alpha, did he not? Mayhap the Laparitz will share his appreciation for the engineering marvel. Oh, yes, that sounds absolutely splendid. We must journey beyond the sanctuary of Charlie and Hamlet. I shall lead the way. Y y you mean... We'll have to brave the untamed wilderness? A valid concern. We could not help but notice the many dangerous-looking creatures with big, nasty teeth lurking beyond the safe confines of the settlement. Were we not escorted here by burly custodians, <laughs> I dread to think that what would have become of us. Regrettably, to many a hungry predator, with the aforementioned big, nasty teeth, Loperitz may appear to be another potential and rather appetizing source of sustenance. Might I impose upon thee to assist in securing safe passage to Logisticon Alpha? 
For my part, I shall act as escort to Living Way and Cooking Way. I entrust Singing Way and Growing Way to thy care. Escort quest. Now they'll be following us. A more valiant protector they could not wish for. Godspeed. There's two S's, so it's plural Godspeed. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If it's all the same to you, I would now not be eaten by some horrible beastie. Come along, growing way, to the water extraction. What's it? Yep, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen after Altus. Yep. Yep. Gotta. Yep. And you know, I've already been sidelined by the bunnies once before, so you think I would have saw this coming? Well, not in Labyrinthios, but I guess it makes enough sense. <laughs> Oh, are we, oh well that, that's nice we don't actually have to walk with them. Because I've done escort quests in this game. They do happen. Yep. At least it's not one of those sneak up on people quests. Yeah. Those are, in my opinion, the worst quests in the game. You, you, seeing, you seeing what they have to say? Yep. I and bet it's goofy. It takes a very particular set of game mechanics to make stealth enjoyable. Yes. And I put oh. a lot of uh, Splinter Cell in the past. That was fun. I like Splinter Cell. Original Assassin's Creed. That was mostly just like running around like a madman and diving into... It was very rare that that was actually a stealth game. Yeah. Like, oh, oh. That, that's it. That's all we got to do. We did it. Thank you so much. I really hope this water extraction what's it is worth these harrowing experiences. All part of the fun, some might say, but I'd rather not be burnt to a crisp if it's all the same to you. I'm glad I wore my most badass of armor well, yes, for the Loperit. To protect the Loperit. Story. I could be raiding an elegant dungeon right now. <laughs> Just thinking about the scene from Independence Day, but instead of dragging an alien corpse, you're dragging a bunch of bunnies around. Ah, there we go. Mission complete. Huzzah. <laughs> well, they, they are bunnies. They can't scream. My friends, I bid you welcome to Logisticon Alpha. Our destination doth lie at the lift's top. Pray follow me. To the lift's top. To the top lift? Hello. You have the coolest name. Yeah. Va Vataloisan? Vataloisan. I don't want to know how it's pronounced. Let me know if you're heading that way. Uh, I, he I, had I, I, I had that way. Wait, what? what? Well, that's what he said. Oh, okay. Yes. Are you, are you checking with all the bunnies? You, you may advance. I am checking with the bunnies, though. It's being recorded. I, I, for might, I might as well pull it up. It's exactly what I expected it to be. Yep. None of them are like, and that's how Heidelin killed Zodi. <laughs> <laughs> There's no the revelations here. The hop on pop maneuver. The hop on lop on pop. Lop on pop. Hop on lop on pop. Exactly. Lop on pop. There you go. We got there. Singing way says. Marvelous, simply marvelous. So this is where the magic or science rather takes place. The perfect environment to sustain life artificially created. The knowledge we gain here will be essential when we look when we start looking for new stars for your kind to inhabit. Apparently, most of them don't even have air for you to breathe. You are very lucky that Atheris just so happened to provide you with everything you need to thrive. Or did mankind turn out the way that they are because of the available resources, I wonder? Either way, 
It's something sort of miraculous, and I cannot wait to see more of it. Hey, sweet pants. I can't help but notice I still haven't seen Merwhip. <laughs> what was everyone freaking out for? I don't know. A bunch of comments got deleted. So just like, oh my god, I can't believe you're not doing the bunny quest. Like, oh my god, I forgot about the bunny quest. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Oh uh, no, I completely forgot about this part. We're all suffering uh, from agricultural stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the Lapparits, but this is a bit of a repeat from. Oh, the movie. Well, you know they're they're setting up clearly that we are going to have to use biomes and oh it's extremely clear yeah yeah it was clear on the moon yeah it was clear then why is this music going so hard for bunnies I'm with you Ugmatsu the same thing happened back in Garlia right like it just kind of set the music it it, it kicked in and it was just go yeah this has been happening since Alphano was cool in front of Fortuna so this is you know and we're just talking about like carrots and pudding yes don't you worry that water tower is gonna pop off was I cooking I don't uh, know okay this is all very wonderful I'm sure but I was rather hoping to learn more about your nourishment provision facilities or in other words where is the food I believe both the knowledge and consumables you seek may be found at Muriel Argonauts. As I imagine Singway and the others intend to study every conceivable facet of this apparatus, wouldst thou be so kind as to escort our visiting culinary? Oh boy, it just hit me. It would be hilarious if I had a good, um, uh, Gordon Ramsay Oh yeah, that but would be alas, good. alas, I yeah. do not. Yes, that sounds much more interesting. Hopefully I'll be able to see firsthand some of the delicacies Orianche was telling me about. It's such a shame we brought them to freaking labyrinthos of all places. Even his incredibly vivid, if a bit too verbose descriptions cannot compare to sampling them myself. Not to mention, Ethereus will soon be no more. So I must learn all I can while there is still time. Let us brook no further delay. Carl and chat. This carrot's fucking raw. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fucking pudding? Just getting in there. Oh my god. Oh wow, this place is okay. We've been here. Okay, oh, this, this is the previous. Well, you're, huge place. you're commenting on the place we've been. Yes, I was, but we were seeing it from backwards. You know, it's like doing the track backwards, Mario Kart, and it feels all wrong. Yep. This here is known as the Cliff Bar. Really. I'd like to ask the music to just chill for a minute. <laughs> now what's willing to spend extra, you may have the tigers and the Guess I could turn on my mount music to have a reprieve. Yeah, you could, yeah. And then Suzaku music which would start, which really wouldn't really it wouldn't bring the yeah, energy it wouldn't, it wouldn't down calm at all. Calm things down a bit. No, it would not calm things down. But we demand you know, onion people. No chill, only gas. Fair, exactly. Patrick. Fair. Oh, there's cooking one. All by themselves? <laughs> Kauru, you're going to eat your music and you're going to like it. I mean, I love this track. Just running around with Lafferitz. This is the place, yes? The heady aroma was enough to guide me here, and I've spotted several of the fruit and vegetables featured in our compendium. I'd dearly love to try some, but I read that those who help themselves to a farmer's crop without permission are often caught and put into pies. Perhaps you could ask whoever's in charge if they would be willing to part with a few samples. Ah. <laughs> Cooking Way is now accompanying you. It's you may talk to Cooking Way if you wish. Let's make Cooking Way run. Oh, just no. the same, no, same, just, yeah, nothing same amazing animation. happens. Bummer. Yep. Does not have a sprint animation. No. Rip. Yeah, Jebkey, how you doing, Jebkey? What a fine mess this is. That's quite the sack of flowers. Uh, it's you. The one who climbed down the mine shaft. I'd show you around if I could, but I'm rushed off my feet preparing for the exodus. And I'm not the only one. We've all got to find ways to do what we do down here. Up, down here, up there, first on the moon. <laughs> then on whichever star the form decides will become our new home. It's all so sudden, so unreal. Don't you want to go to the moon? 
Well, it's better than waiting for the final days to claim us. But no matter how carefully it's all planned, we'll never be able to take every variety of flora and fauna with us. Even the ones we can take may not survive in their new environment. So many species doomed to extinction. Sorry, that's not what you came to talk about, is it? Nothing quite so dire, I assure you. We merely wish to sample a little of your produce, if we may. By all means, help yourselves. Much appreciated, my good fellow. So, where to begin? Uh, I... Oh, right there. With the optional dialogue by the things. Yes! Look at the or scrapes! Is the, or is this not optional? Well, they're not oh. really scrapes anymore. Well, huh? they're still yeah, pretty. Yeah, they're still a little. They're still pretty polygonal. Yeah, they're not quite. Yeah. Alright, cooking away, what you gotta say? Oh, I know. These are grapes. Yes? Let's see if they are as delicious as they look. So sweet. So sour. The taste is much like a ripe philosopher's carrot, and yet the texture is entirely different. The contrast between the outer skin and the fruit within is most peculiar, though far from unpleasant. Psst, I think I'll try another. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try grapes. <laughs> I think I'll try another. Long ass in time ago with a rabbit call cooking way. That's what's going on here. That's what's going on. Throwing down. Well, that's certainly giving me food for thought, though in a far less visceral manner than any philosopher's carrot. But tell me, what is your opinion of grapes? <laughs> They're Man. really laying it on. Uh, Justly yeah, grapes. I'm going with that third one because I hate grapes. grapes. Yeah. I like grapes. I know you do. You I'm eat them. Yogurt. You eat them constantly. <laughs> Every time I see Kyle, he's eating grapes. What? That's not true at you all. You bring grapes to my home. I bring snap peas to your home. You have brought grapes here. I have brought grapes. More yes. than once. Yes. You. But I've eaten snap peas in your home far more often. <laughs> well, I don't notice them. The grapes you pull out look like friggin' marbles. That's what grapes look like. How odd. No accounting for taste, is there? Anyway, there's enough. Uh, that's enough about grapes for the time being. On to the next treat. <laughs> oh, you get the shorter version. I got a full rundown of the taste of grapes. Oh, do, do regale uh, me. Luckily, it's, uh, yeah, no, it, uh, it's well tramposed. Over here. Uh, oh, good to see you, Nagami. That's right there. That's right there. Come on. Come on. Tree. Orange by name, orange by nature. What came first, the fruit or the color? Who cares? Let's eat. I was about to say that, and I'm glad I didn't, because... Mm, yes, that's... Mm, equal parts sweet and sour, as of the grapes, yet nothing alike. Mm, I may have a... I may have to consult Orion J about expanding my vocabulary. I simply cannot find the words to describe it. Cooking way is going to become a sommelier, or Somali way. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Get it? Perhaps what I'm looking for is bitter. This is all very complicated, you know? So many flavors, so many choices, and each individual with their own ex personal preferences. Now I see why you all turned your noses up at the idea of eating nothing but carrots. Marvelous, though, they still are in my estimation. Let no one say I said otherwise. Ah, but speaking of carrots, I've yet to sample any of the vegetables. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll do it. <laughs> I am having massive flashbacks of being a big brother right now. This is insane. I was not adequately warned for what was going this, to transpire this yes, evening. Yes, this music continues to go. It's also very warm in here, so I actually feel like I'm having a fever dream. All right. <sighs> what are we eating now? That color, that texture, are they some sort of enormous round carrots? No, in any case, proper nomenclature is less of a concern than the taste. Blech, it's so hard and flavorless. I may as well be chewing on a piece of wood. That all but confirms it. 
These are nothing more than the misbegotten failures masquerading as goodly carrots. Damn. You want stop, to me? stop. Can't you see these are pumpkins? I know with any sense we're trying to eat them raw. You're supposed to cook them first. Tile. Moment. Sidebar. How mad do you think everyone would get if our MSQ video for this segment was just a really dramatic reading of this section and nothing else? I, as long as the thumbnail was just, like dead serious, just I'm comes all for in, it. Just cold open, and we're just dramatic retelling just do of your this entire full, section. Make one of your full music videos yep. to this music, <laughs> and then play it the entire time under a 45-minute video <laughs> as we break down the nuances. And in the middle part, we try an orange and give our opinions of it live in the video <laughs> before trying raw pumpkin live in the video. <laughs> Damn. Oh my God. That's how, that's, that's it. That's how I will get my revenge on this section. Yep. And we delay MSQ for it. It counts as a week. <laughs> <laughs> did you get past the no one with any sense of try eating them raw? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, I did this pumpkin is fucking yes. raw. Do you not find it an awful bother? Far from it. Cooking is a joy unto itself. And what's more, it broadens the range of ingredients that we may safely eat. But above all else... Cooking allows us to draw out the full potential of our produce. Pumpkin stew has been one of my favorite dishes for as long as I can remember. Then perhaps even these hard blocks of plant matter can become as delicious as the orange I sampled. I wonder though, if there is anything even more delicious. How about that yellow fruit over yonder? <laughs> Great, we're gonna teach this damn buddy about bananas. Teach you, well, uh Limes? Or oh, lemons. probably lemons. lemons. Yeah, out of a tree. That makes way more sense. Yeah. Ah. What a wonderful fragrance. With luck, it'll have a flavor to match. Oh, boy. Oh, no. As I have no idea how these are eaten, I'll just bite into it. Yep, yep you go for that Time cooking way. We canonically, as the Warrior of Light, are overcooking way shit, and that's why we're allowing this to happen. Trolling them. <laughs> My tongue is it. Is this poison? A lemon? You mean it's supposed to taste like this? How can something so similar to an orange be so revolting? Where's the lemonade obsessed NPC gonna yell at this one? Ugh. Ugh. It may be some time before my palate recovers from this ordeal. As such, I had best call to an end this round of sampling. Let's say our farewells and return to the others. Uh, that's what I'm going to say from now on. When I have something I don't like, I'm going to say it's going to be some time before my palate recovers from this ordeal. That's, that's, Give them some more heads. Next time I have grapes, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, good old Jebkey. Uh, Jebkey. Finished, Abby. I trust you found something to your luck. I'm rather enamored with the grapes and oranges. Let's sow the pumpkin... Though I learned the hard way they're not to be eaten raw. Then there was the lemon. The deceiver. It, I still feel so violated. <laughs> <laughs> First time, was it? I'd hate for you to leave with a bad taste in your mouth. In more ways than one. So I'll give you this lemon buff muffin I baked. If this doesn't change your opinion, nothing will. More lemon? Have I not suffered enough? Nevertheless, I would be rem it would be remiss of me to spurn this opportunity to Oof oh, oh, sick came up there. Learn more of your inscrutable ways. Very well, Lemon Muffin. Do your worst. Please go into a cutscene. Fully animated. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, really? This is <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Although I still detect a hint of lemon, it complements the sweetness of the dough to a cr 
create a perfect harmony. I never would have suggested its vile bitterness could be utilized so elegantly. My good chap, this is simply breathtaking. See? We rarely use lemons in its natural state, but it has a starring role in all sorts of recipes. And the same is true for many other ingredients. It comes down to making the most of the resources at our disposal. And sometimes, that could even be the difference between life and death. I know we won't be able to take every species with us. No doubt the forum agonized over what was worth preserving and what will be consigned to history. Hard choices, but make them we must if we're to survive. Such strength of will. Now I know what Heidelin sees in your kind. Mankind, the Laparits, we were both born from the accumulated knowledge of the ancients. They learned all there is to learn about the nature of sentient life and the fates of the stars themselves. That's not untrue. Once a civilization has fulfilled the basic requirements for survival, it will inevitably seek to eliminate all forms of negativity and achieve perfection. And therein lies its folly and its downfall. From perfection or for perfection is an unattainable ideal. Tis the paradox of the immaculate carrot. Wow. Yet civilizations since time immemorial have deemed the pursuit of perfection as progress. They pay no heeds to the cost incurred in their futile quest and all too often become the architects of their own demise, the dreams forever unfulfilled. What then is the alternative? The answer lies in knowing that our existence can never be perfect, to be content with what we have and to make the most of it. Let's take a left turn. When life gives you lemons, make lemon muffins. I'm gonna feed Zodiac <laughs> with the lemons. <laughs> <laughs> or pardon my Iosian, but what in the seven hells are you <laughs> on about? And who are you anyway? <laughs> Cooking way at your service. I'm here to help prepare for the trip to the moon. And once you get there, you'll be able to try my carrots. I've been growing all different kinds. But don't worry, there'll be room for your crops too. We'll work together to preserve as many of Ethereus' species as possible. If you're up to the challenge. Yes, of course. Oh. What? Oh, everything turned blue. I look forward to it. Well, this has all been highly productive. Probably. Let's go and see if Orianje and the others have run out of machinery to inspect, shall we? I'm just out here in the most badass, like, battle garb, and I am so overdressed. I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of fit in. Yeah. I feel like, however, today ended up, you were pretty well dressed, except for when we went to Garlemald. You were definitely yeah, freezing no, your ass off. Yeah, I was a little, uh, yeah. a little under. Well, well, that is a 31 minute recording. <laughs> Are you. But, <laughs> <laughs> of funny adventures. We're gonna yada yada this whole thing All right. <laughs> when we get into the video. Uh, you know? Wrong way. Very important documentation. Oh my goodness. I will never show any. Oh my god. Just go away. Just, I don't, I don't want to see your Spread stupid backwards. ass mount anymore. Just ride backwards. I'm so sick of that mount. Oh, all the garlics are mad at me. What were you going to say? I'm so sick of that oh, I, I know that part. Just the just part you were going to say before that. I don't happened. remember. Okay. Just, just a huge just, mind wipe. Just get a life, man. <laughs> just, just do anything it's else. It's just fall, oh, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the 
just, 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 just don't think the snipers have just been just, just insufferable in and walking man. Look at I just, it. I'm just, I'm at my wits end. Just don't I'm look just at so it. I'm so sick of it. All right, singing way. They're all here. Okay. Just, uh, just they're, take they're, me back to Stormblood. Nobody bothered me in Stormblood. Brain, what's it? All right. Okay, we did it. Take it away, cooking way. That was most enlightening, especially the part with the lemon muffin. Actually, I was wondering, do you know of any other places famed for their cuisine? Oh, I'm all about the oodles and noodles. <laughs> I'll do the, I've been cooking, so I'll do the guild. Uh, okay. Would that I had time to visit. The more I learn of the theorist, the more I wish I could uh, spare it from the final days. Also, Heidelin's orders are to flee, not to resist. If only there was some other way. Question mark? The music's still going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Sage Council. All oh, right. Sage Council. Sage Council, Kyle. All right. All right. It is not that the MS Curious said the music would end, but... Wait, is this the final quest? <laughs> this is the final quest. Oh, okay. <laughs> just... I just... I'm just buddy manic, man. Oh. It's just... All right. It's a lot of bunnies. Here we go. And this is what he said was good to end on? Yeah. People were excited. It was... It, we're build, it, we're all is, memeing on buddies. We're all building up to this point. People seem stoked about where we're ending tonight, and I'm just building. like, That's what we're I just feel here. like I'm coming out of here a carrot is. tunnel. Yep. Sage Council. Okay. Orianje appears to be tallying the lopper. It's a preparation for an imminent departure. Okay. All right. All right. I think we get to see the, the spaceship. Yes. We better get spaceship to see the spaceship. Time. Tuna Val. Wait. I trust oh. thy time at... You okay? It was just a little Schwarzenegger for the start there. To the well. <laughs> I trust thy time and meal uh, the agronomics dig <coughs> I can't do it. I can't keep that going. It was great. All Thank right. you. Are you trying. You're done? You're done? Yeah, you're good. All right. I trust thy time and meal agronomics did <clears throat> bear fruit. Boo, Orange, boo. Our own efforts, too, were rewarded. We now possess an embarrassment of educational riches. No doubt our greatest relentless suit of oh wait, relentless pursuit of knowledge could occupy them and us for a fortnight. Alas, time is of the essence. Let us return to Charlie and Hamlet forthwith. I shall gladly attend to each and every lopper with there, should further questions within my power to answer arise. And they're off. Except for growing way who is <laughs> just wants to see more food. Yeah, it's all growing my wants. To be fair, I, I, I am kind of hungry. I am always hungry at the end of a Thursday night stream. Well, I always, I always yeah. want to go get junk food. Mm, yeah. <sighs> yep, I knew that was happening. I knew that was gonna happen. Just, just pretend you're raiding Gruel's lair and just stare at the ground. That's not a good streaming experience. <laughs> until you pass by. I guess we could afford it, but now I'm in for it. Oh yeah, now now we've committed. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there what is open? Wait, fast food. Yeah, well, I mean, what, what, what? Well, we we could walk to a McDonald's or a Taco Bell from here. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. I wouldn't recommend it because the sidewalk ends. No, I, I, I possess an automobile, so <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Katie asleep on the couch when we leave. We're going to get fries. Listen to Bonnie talk about how hungry they were for 31 minutes. Actually, I could, I would, I would kill for an orange. I think I have uh, an orange. I think I have an orange. I, I usually have, have an orange. I have apples and snap peas. I do have an orange actually in my bag. Oh. Tiny one though. What are those called? Tangerines? Clementine, tangerine, a couple options. Cuties? Now we're doing it. Yep. Cuties are just branded Clementines. Yes. Okay, and I have a Clementine. Or maybe 
Tangerines. Maybe they're Brandon Tangerines. Anyway, Growing Away says, "Are you you're just capturing?" I'm down to read if you've come across anything interesting. But yeah, so no, far, no. the the, yeah. the Lopperits have been no. They're just they're being they're being they're being Lopperits and talking about how they heard some good music while they were out and out and about. And Growing Away says. Yes, Tuna. Well, that was indeed me verbalizing a sigh to express my emotional state. Do you want to know why? Because I saw the reconstructed environmental data for a theorist at Logistican Alpha. That's why. A forest so lovely and so, so leafy. Oh. Are all of your forests like that? Why are you laughing? Oh, just uh, Black Shout is quite leafy. It is. It's true. I mean, it is. It is. Uh, the one on the first was my favorite. So mm, that is that purple. One. That's fair. Let's do that. I like the first. Gasp! Gasp, I say! Why are you saying gasp? With a star so wonderful, it comes as no surprise that you're reluctant to leave it behind. I was a fool to think otherwise. To assume that the moon was something worth being proud of. Aww. How ridiculous we must seem to you, trying so hard yet achieving so little. Not at all. Thy works are no less worthy for their uniqueness. Someone says I thought I heard tiny voices. Oh. Ah, my turn. That's right, the Garrett Show, everybody. Yep. Enjoy. Thank Reed. How didst thou fare? Oh, I was able to glean a fair bit from the researchers while helping to move their cargo. Preparations have proceeded without interruption here. Despite news of the coming end, we have the forum's leadership to thank for that. That doesn't mean people aren't worried, though. Quite the opposite. Knowing disaster could strike at any moment, they hurry to complete their work equally aware that a single error could be the difference between life and death. And we can hardly tell them there's no cause for concern. Perhaps not, though aided by our goodly growing way, we may yet find other ways to lighten their burden. But me? But be of use to, to people? I'm honored that you would think me so capable, but I'm not sure that I'm up to the challenge. Nevertheless, I believe in thee. If you say so, I, I suppose it can't hurt to try. I passed someone mopping, uh, moping. <clears throat> moping, yes, no, they weren't doing the sweep emoji. In the Western Plaza, that looked to be in need of a helping paw. Perhaps you might start with him. Tis a good... Uh, Tis as good a place as any. Oh. He's off. They make go make it someone else's problem. <laughs> uh, oh no! Wait, no, I, never mind. I think we are. No, I think it says we need to join them. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, there it is. I can't talk to Moana. Okay, it ain't over yet, buddy. Nope. Excellent theming. Well done. Well done. Troubled researcher. Hair dye didn't come in yet. Oh, can I help you? It's, is it you who would help me? Is my anxiety truly so obvious? A burden shared is a burden eased. Pray, tell us of thy troubles. 
those little fellows do look like good listeners. I'm an engineer, you see. And what they say of the ship? That it is the sum of decades of Charlian ingenuity. ingenuity. <laughs> that it is built with peerless, elegant technology. It's all true. But I know, I know that none of that's a guarantee. We've never before launched a starfaring vessel, let alone flown it in the great expanse. All the tests we've run have been on the ground. Only operational personnel and cargo will be on board for the first voyage. But even so, if it fails us then, what can we do? And if it doesn't, it could fall apart on the next flight. Or the one after that. We've done everything we can to prevent that from happening, but it hardly matters. We thought the ether burner's design was flawless too, and look how that turned out. Thou art familiar with these most daunting technologies, and thus dost thou hold the power to allay these his fears. Oh, I, uh, I'm not sure about that, but well. Maybe you could tell me if there are any aspects of the ship's design that you're especially worried about. Our ability to walk about and perform our tasks for one, I've devised a means by which to employ gravity, capital G, a spectiotemporal spell to regulate the environment. But what if it's not strong enough? What if everyone floats away and begins crashing into things as soon as we've left the star? Ah! Gravitation! Maybe I can be of help after all. Up there, it is not so different from down here, you see. The same rules apply. And if you consider them as part of one great big cosmos rather than separate places. Oh, you're right, and so on. Oh, let me tell you about grapes. Have you tried grapes? <laughs> I suspect both parties shall find comfort in this conversation. Yet, if Thancred's tale be true, still others would benefit from insights born of experience. Might I prevail upon the Loperitz to attend them? I believe that was you. Oh, an excellent idea. If I may so, so, say so myself, there is not. We like more than to ease the hearts of the fine people of Atheris and learn more about them while we're at it. Full glad am I to hear it. Gather thy companions and bring them hither. Tuna, Val, thou hast a gift for finding souls in need of succor. Pray, seek out the distressed and the apprehensive, and inform them that help is at hand. I shall await them here, that I might introduce each to a suitable operate. Oh, I do so look forward to that. A place for every operate and every operate in their place. <laughs> I get it. That's cute. They're operates. But, but you know, like, they're so focused on what they do that they... Got an unconcerned gleaner over here, Cal. I basically... They're, they're poking my hand. Okay. What? How did you get... Did you jump the wall? Oh, yes. Yeah. You require Lopperin. Apologies. But I'm awaiting it to the free. What is it? What? Whatever it is, we'll wait. I mean, it's too busy to chat. Oh, well, he doesn't need a Lopperin. All right. Got a bag full of lapperets. Just to throw them at people. <laughs> the sack of bunnies? Yep. Surely you can't kill ten baby bunnies. Despondent engine. Here we go. Here we go. What? What? Where, did you, where the hell did you peel off? I, I found an engineer sitting over here. Just leave me to my misery. The form can appoint someone else. I apologize, I simply don't know what to do. How am I supposed to pilot the Ark if I'm 
Already falling, failing, falling under the pressure. Well, you got it right the first time. <laughs> you know a starship pilot that I might speak with? Truly? Well then, there's no time to waste. They can help me prepare for this monumental task. Guy's got a handsome vest. Yeah, there we go. So, you know. Oh, oh. One of eight. All right. Is anything bothering me? Well, I've been loading cargo for bells now. So my back feels like a void sense played it as a piano. <laughs> my feet and knees as drums and cymbals too. Specific. Oh, okay. oh, all he needs is, is a fine. Fight. Doesn't seem fine to me. <laughs> fine game. Here we go. Mathing way. Where the f huh? Up here. <laughs> Ponderous mathematician. Hmm? Consult our collaborators. I suppose that would be more effective than sitting here brooding. I'm attempting to calculate how much cargo we can consolidate into fewer trips, should the ether burner make our original estimates unfeasible. But there are simply too many variables. I feel as if my brow will turn inside out. But perhaps our lunar associates will have more insight into how much weight constitutes too much weight for our purposes. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, go talk to a body. They have lots to say. There we go. Yeah, no, we're basically, you know, hooking them up to their themed Pokemon. <laughs> you look like a Misty. Go talk to Star you. Exactly. How might help you? My, what a lovely idea. I too noticed it becoming rather tense, so I rushed out to pluck some fresh and banquet tea leaves. Now I need to track down a hundred or so cups. But don't you worry, I can manage. I hope your plan to cheer everyone up goes well. This woman is doing better than you are. <laughs> oh, God, I get that feel when I talk to strangers sometimes. Fair enough. Woo That's a little too real, Final Fantasy. It's a little too real. Uh, Kyle, let's coordinate direction because I'm driving straight. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, well, you lead then. Okay. That's kind of what I was suggesting. I don't think there's anything in that way. I used the word so. coordinate like I had to say in it. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you're finding people before me, and you're reading before you get there, and then people in chat are like, oh, my God, Garrett's dreams, I can't stand it. Oh, well, I'm, so. I don't mean to put you in that position. <laughs> that sounds awful. Just trying I hope to, no one actively said that recently. I'm just trying to make sure people can see every single piece of dialogue. Okay. Blasted assistance. Where have they gone off to at a time like this? Big pardon. But I have not the time for idle chit-chat. I need to reconfirm that ether levels are consistent throughout the vessel's machinery. This sounds like Star Trek. And it seems I shall have to do so single-handedly, I swear, when I find those assistants of mine. The Loperits are willing to help? Why didn't you say so? At least they won't moan about how they checked two dozen times already and haven't slept in weeks, lazy sods. Just don't be kind to them. I think there was one down here. Deal with ethics way. Yep. Did you find me? I don't know. Just making sure. Oh, jeez. Clicking on you now. My face? What's wrong with my... Ow. Perhaps I am a bit tense. I was tasked with ensuring that the proper fauna, and only the proper fauna, are brought with us to the moon. However, the suitability of a few species is still under debate, and I can hardly make the decision myself when I know so little about the environment up there. Well, it turns out we can walk around and breathe like normal. It's Including the operas in our discussion is a wonderful idea. I absolutely will. Thank you. Perhaps their biology itself might offer some clues as well. Nerding way. I assign you inscrutable way. Now, what's that word? Eradicable? Uh, er, I honestly have never seen that word in my life. Uh, it's, it's, it's made up. I, I Irrescribable. Refuse. You! Yes! You you idiot! Have you seen an envelope laying around? This episode refuses to give me the alchemic, alchemic I ordered without that bloody slip of pot. He 
he's earned the bunny. <laughs> uh, we'll send him to... Well, who is, like, losing their... We'll send him to Pudding Way. Yeah. Yeah. Unless your friends have a spill to make me remember where I dropped my damned envelope, I doubt they'll be more help than you. And you've wasted enough of my time already. Damn. Okay. It would be unfortunate to evolve the inflict envelope on this man. Very well. Uh, I think he kind of deserves a... Uh, we all... Anxiety way. We all deal with things differently. Capricious reader. The researcher. <laughs> the end of the world is nigh, yet the work goes no the faster. Schedules are such temporal things, temperamental things. Feasible one second, utterly bollocks the next. And yet, I've never felt so alive. This one's beyond health. Only sleep could save her now. Oh, it's Kyle. Relatable. <laughs> Quite relatable. Thank you. We are halfway done with this quest, Kyle. And we keep coming up short. Well, we're, you know, we need to... I mean, I guess we could just not read the ones that don't seem... Like, well, you yeah, don't know until you're in it. This person's singing about 50 bunches of something. See a bunch of weed on the ground. 56 bunches of beer up and down at the mound. 50 bunches of weed in the ground. Beep. I'm not neglecting my duties, I swear. I was in need of a little break, you see. But then I found myself unable to relax at all. So I went on a walk. And then I noticed these weeds and... As in conversation partners, oh, and fuzzy. Goodness me, that does sound like a much better way to relax. Someone found the edibles. 56 bunches of them. Is there anyone up here? The circle's huge. I don't see anyone up here. I think that weighs a trap. Val, what do your elven eyes see? Do a sick jump off the side. That's it? Oh, it's not Helldivers. You can't do your... Uh your head first landing. Nope. I don't think we've been... Have we been down here? Is this, is this where we started? Oh yeah, this is where we started. My dude, okay. I don't All know. Right, well, we, we missed we, somebody. Here's one right yep, over here. We must begin a more thorough tactical search. Level-headed. Concerns? Nay, there's no point in worrying at this stage. It'll only make the work go that much slower. For <laughs> sake. Well, good for her. Good for you. Uh, all right, let's check if buildings are accessible. I got an anxious engineer here. Okay, perfect. What am I thinking about? The medical facilities on the ship, of course. I designed them with the assistance of our sages and Kyrugians. But to imagine every illness or injury that one might face in that great expanse is beyond any of us. To say nothing of the effects of living out there indefinitely might have on the body. Disinfecting way. penicillin way. Mm. The crew from the moon? Why did I not think of that? Just desperately running around with two more bunnies and I can't just say, anybody need a bunny? Oh any, my god, the, the rooms are accessible. Does anybody here need a bunny? Bunnies, get your bunnies here! Listen, I got a lot of, uh, Anyone here? Cold moon bunnies, get your bunnies! Got like veterinarian way left. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel away. <laughs> I ain't got much left, but I don't know if anybody needs a bunny. That one room opened, and now I feel like I was. I know, I was, right? I was yeah, you're sold led a, astray. I sold a bill of goods, Kyle. Steady current. I'm checking the back. Yeah, let's just split up at this point and yell when you find oh, somebody. Yeah. Going up. Seemed like up didn't have enough people it in it. It didn't seem like it. We found the one guy Maybe on the there's landing. Like a, there's also hidden. these little. We, we talked to Steady Current already. I don't know, man. I mean, but, you know, they're all just scientists freaking out. You know, who knows what they do? Yeah. Oh, I found one. Okay. <laughs> Coming to you. Jesus. On me, on me. Also, it comes out here. I don't see anybody. It's just fiery dudes. On me, on me. Just I'm a ways away. I'm coming. Yeah. Is there another person to find after this? Yep. One final bunny. 
Palm research. Oh, well, that, maybe they. Oh my God, they're not gonna work out. Where he's, where he's. No, I believe I'm fine. Thank you. I've been confiding in my colleagues. For crying out loud, <laughs> this this quest is <laughs> this, this quest is a giant troll. What? No, I'm I'm good. It's the bunnies. No. Here we go. What's that? I found skeptical. Skeptical. Here we go. Have you heard anything of what's on the moon? I have no doubt that we can make it up there, but the searching for a new star part of the plan sounds awfully vague to me. I asked the forum, but they will only tell us that our collaborators have everything under control. Forgive me, but I don't feel particularly safe wandering through the sea of stars on God's know what made by God's know who. Wait. On God's know what made by. Okay. God's know who? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a sentence. You got it. Please, do you need a bunny? You, you mean to say I can speak with them directly? Amazing. Just sounds, all the, the last bunny just smells like sweat from being under my arm this whole time. I've got one bunny left. Hey buddy, need a bunny. Going, going to the, the right. Junk monger, you need a, a bunny. I should have had way more alcohol. Oh, wow. Well, anybody up? Anyone need a bunny? Oh, wait, wait, you, can I go? Anyone? Oh, no, these are Anyone need a bunny? Okay, nobody's you. here. Anybody need a bunny? Anybody need a bunny? Hey, who needs a bunny? Oh, shit! Oh, did you find it? He's what, hyperventilating. What's, what's name? Okay, hyperventilating. I've never been happier to find somebody in the in, who might be oh, having a panic oh, attack. Oh, thank God you're having a bad time. Oh, thank God. You look, sir, you look like you're having the shittiest day of your life, and I couldn't be happier. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. By the gods, my chest is tight. Am I dying? Is this what dying feels like? Oh, pardon me. I didn't see you there. There's no cons cause for concern, I, I, I assure you. No cause for concern, even though we may need to depart at any moment. And if that doll uh, hull I designed buckles under the strain, the entire vessel may explode on launch, claiming countless lives and dooming all mankind. But, yeah, that is highly unlikely. Yeah, yeah, highly unlikely. Highly. Our uh, visitors can help triple check for structural flaws, you say? Why, that would, that would be wonderful. I'm breathing more easily already. <sighs> Success. Oh my God, safety way. Help that man. Buddy connections me. <laughs> Safeway. <laughs> that safe Safeway? Yeah, that's a grocery store in the United States if you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my mind in this section of the game. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. <laughs> KLG Chaos. <gasps> celebrating. Thank you, KLG Chaos. Thank you so much. You did it. Oh, I want a golden ticket to meet whoever designed this so I can yell at them. Maybe you already did. You didn't even know it. <laughs> Maybe you applauded for them at stage at FanFest. <laughs> Didn't even. This is why everyone was like, they can't go to Fan Fest without finishing N Walker. They might clap at the people who made the bunny they quest. They might clap at the people who made this quest. They need to know the right person to boo. Not gonna be okay. <laughs> All right. Orion J says, Behold, Tunen Val. Through thine efforts, word hath spread through Labyrinthos. Verily, to a far greater number than we anticipated, living way doth gather more operates as we speak. I shall assign each in accordance with the skills that new bonds of friendship might be forged. Should greater matters require not thine attentions, watch over them, I pray thee. <laughs> Don't be what, what? Do you understand now why so many of the of us are completely mad? This quest is why. Ah, uh, tracks. That tracks are totally. That tracks. All right, we did it. Destination. Uh, are you destinating? Destinating. Awaiting bunnies. Deploying hell bunnies. <laughs> Oh, 
like little living Wikipedia pages. Phew! Oh, finally some rest! Why, I haven't spoken so much in, well, in forever. Same. <laughs> On your mark. Three, two, one, go. Lively, isn't it? <laughs> the town is a buzz. Everyone eager to meet with our friends from the moon. I'm just gonna go to Could shit, or is to this... consult with sleeping way. As our moon's pilot, his advice should be most pertinent. <laughs> I'm impressed. Truth be told, I struggle to tell one from another. No offense intended, of course. None taken. After you and your friends left Mare Lementorum, we spent no small amount of time with your Uriange. Oh, the conversations we had. He told us all about Atheris. Answered our every question, no matter how trifling or trivial. Look! Every page filled to the margins with knowledge. When I first arrived, I was struck by how little I knew. It was daunting. But then I realized that were it not for Uriange and his teachings, we'd still be stuck on the moon, gazing at your world and wondering what we've been missing. <laughs> what would they think if they could see Uriange now? I dare say they'd be more than a bit surprised. And impressed, no doubt. Master Louisois, Minfilia, Papa Limo, and not to forget. Oh. Hello there. Oh, yeah, here uh, we there go. There was a visiting expert who we might bother with a few questions. I take it you'd be the one. Yeah, yes, I am. Not how I saw this going down. Wilson and Blavida. Charlian's foremost researchers in the field of teleportation magic, and Moonbreeder's parents. It, it hath been some time. Tis, tis good to see you in uh, good health. Likewise, old friend. Blavida and I were most honored to answer the call. Never expected this reunion, though, did we, dear? I'll say, the nerve. Sending that letter, then running off to the gods know where. Aww. <laughs> Do you have any idea how worried we were? I... I'm sorry. It was remiss of me not to deliver the news in person. No, more than that. It was I who... Our daughter was disillusioned after Master Louisois left her behind. The day the Scions called upon her was the happiest I'd seen her in years. She made her every choice of her own free will. No one could have ever forced her to do otherwise. Don't blame yourself for her death. Celebrate her life. You know that's what she want. Been seen all the time. If there is one thing we resent you for, it was that we could not be there to mourn her with you. Reading the words you penned in that shaky hand, we must have cried as much for you as we did for her. I... 
I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. I knew not what to say. Knew not how to express my feelings. The poems and platitudes of wiser men, musings on sadness and loss, studied and memorized, and meaningless in the moment. Silly boy. We are all powerless before such grief. Even now, try as I might, the words escape me. But in our hearts, we know, we always know. I remember when you were young, how the lads teased you for choosing the company of books over others. Our moon didn't take kindly to that. <laughs> Be nice to Orionje, she'd shout, and give them a walloping. No matter how many times we scolded her. So we offered a suggestion. Rather than starting fights, why don't you be the bridge between Orionje and the others? She had to mull it over for a while. Arms crossed, brow furrowed in intense thought. But from that day on, she never let you be alone. She'd drag you outside to play, pepper you with endless questions, read the same books you read, all to try and understand you that much better. I'm sure it was annoying and exhausting at the time, but she only ever had the best of intentions. And look at you now, at the center of the crowd. The reason there even is a crowd, having brought these people together. You've no idea how proud we are. To see the boy, our daughter trusted and believed in more than anyone, grow into the man she always knew he could be. I can see her in you too. Feel her. She walks with you wheresoever you go. So thank you, Orianger, for being who you are. I... I think... I can feel her too. The truth of her life. Not sorrow, but hope. And love. <laughs> this moon breeder, she was important to him, wasn't she? You could ask the man himself. Oh, no, no. But watching this exchange reminds me how much I've yet to learn about your world. And its people. You can live here your entire life and hardly learn a thing. And that's why it's too soon for this to end. Would someone <laughs> stop the music? <laughs> This. <laughs> I just BGM zeroed it. This, it. Like, that is such intense whiplash. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> that. <laughs>
three hour, four hours oh. of questing. When it's not over yet, we should is turn the it in. Equivalent, that, that's the, the questing equivalent of that scene of Rick and Morty just screaming, oh scream goodness. crying in the, in the UFO oh. together. That's what that is. Uh, let's see this shit, man. <sighs> Oh. oh man, that was a good scene. I want a big hug like that. that is... <laughs> I have been very sad on behalf of others uh, in recent years. Mm. That scene hits, man. Yeah, had a lot of loss in the family, but not direct family members of mine, but family members of those who are now in my family. Um, oh, it's been tough. No, I had a, uh, I had a, a shadow of sorts growing up. Uh, he suffered from seizures. And when he would have seizures, I'd, you know, pull the cookies out of his mouth or whatever was in his mouth. Cause you know, oh, he shit. was, and no, he, he died at uh, 18. And so I have a very similar situation to that. His parents were very, very kind. You know, because I went through the kind of like, uh, showed up and he, he'd dye his hair the same color as mine. He'd cut his hair the same way, just like copy everything I did. And, and his parents sent me a letter very similar to that. Shit. When he passed about how much it meant to him. So That's rough. Yeah, man. Mine's like in reverse and close with the young person who's left behind from the parents that are gone yeah oh. tough they turned right back <laughs> damn <laughs> yes, <laughs> <such a freaking laughs> <music. laughs> uh. uh. <laughs> what a fever dream <laughs> there was so many uh. loperate lines to read <laughs> it's just <sighs> At least when I was sad at Shadowbringers, it was like the 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 the, the, the energy of the room was consistent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here it's just like uh, wacky wailing inflatable arm two man, and then a, just a nuclear bomb of of emotion. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Oh, I got someone to hug after this. Oh, 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 oh. oh. All right, well, let's, let's I complete. Guess let's, uh, oh, wait, hold on. I, I, do, I do want to see what the uh, what the parents have to say. Yeah. I've lost, I've lost my monitor. I don't know why I can't monitor myself. Anyway. Oh. Louita says he must be one of the scions. Thank you for caring for my daughter. The time she spent with you was all too short, but I know she was proud to have you as comrades. Orion J2, I'm sure, and I certainly feel better for knowing he has good friends to look after him. Say that he comes home from time to time, will you? And Wilson says, the classical Rogadin language isn't so different from Eorzean. Did you ever wonder why we named our daughter Moon's Bride? When I first held her, the moon was shining silver and full. The whole world seemed to glow. I knew it had chosen her, that she would be a beacon of that selfsame light. Of course, we'd later hear our fair share of jokes about how we ought to have gone for sun instead, with how bright and stubborn she was. But fiery as my moon Brita was, she was always kind, kind and gentle. And the moon motifs on uh, Orion J hit a little different thinking about yeah. that. <sighs> what motifs as he stands there with a giant moon on his back? <laughs> <laughs> Great uh, music. Uh, th thank you, everyone. I, we see the soups coming. The supers coming in. Uh, which more? It's very generous. Uh, I promise we'll give you all your due when we uh, when we have our when we catch up on uh, our super forum. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, Thank you, and thank you to whoever's yelling, crank the music, cowards. <laughs> I, ne I, need, I need someone to shake me out of this. Uh, is, it still, is it still going? 
I'm just gonna check. Oh yep. yeah, no, it's still, still going. going. But there might be a cutscene. So, Ranjay says, "Oh, Tuna and Val, be assured that I am fine. I am full glad to see them too after so very long. Gladder still that it was in your company. As difficult it is." was to accept their kindness. It would have been far harder than I faced them alone. Yep. Nope, no cutscene. Nope, just loop. Nope, just no cutscene, just loop. Just just loop that music. One more time. One more time. Yeah. Remember when we were like, this 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 will be the, the the calmer Thursday stream. We'll be done early. Well, I mean, it was it was big. Just a lot. It was of a lot. reading in that one. No, yeah, yeah, and and, uh, and a big chunk oh. of gameplay there for it too. Yes, that was that was a lot. Oh, I do like what they did with that. I mean, particularly Oriange. Oh God, yeah. There's no arguing with that. Uh, that that cutscene there was uh, so much of what I've been wanting since Realm Reborn. Yeah. <sighs> I assume like it just hits the fan like right around the corner because of. Maybe. I mean, but we still haven't inspected the ship. I guess they're going to show up with the parts. <sighs> and then we go from there, right? Richard brings up a good point. It's mm -hmm. like, I remember an interview with Jesse. Mm -hmm. Where he was like, so there's any, uh, doing my best Jesse impression. I think there's any plot points you feel are dangling. I mean, that's such a, it's such a big one in an MMO. Well, do you remember one of my answers? What was it? Where the fuck are Moonbreed's parents? Oh, yeah. They, they did mention they that. They mentioned them yeah. at the very beginning of Heaven's Ward. Yeah. And didn't Orianje, like, go off to see them or something? I think it, that's... Uh, or I thought it was implied. Oh, man. That was right before uh, Thavnir, so I, I don't remember that exact bit. It was right before we did the whole, like, transporting via Ethernet with the... Um, lady, the teleporter. Who, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before everyone and got she's sick. like, "Oh yeah, this is totally experimental." And, and the, now that you're about to be ported, just so you know, uh, everything, everything's gonna go horrible. Yeah, no, they're making yeah. they're making use of all their many many characters. They have a lot of scions now, and they're yes. utilizing them well. Yeah, yeah. We should go to camera camera three. Oh, middle camera. Yeah, might as well. Might as well go. Middle might as well camera. Middle, camera. Go middle camera. Middle camera. Middle camera for middle side cam. off. Middle cam. Middle cam. Uh, let's see. That should be. Nope. Oh, God. I did it again. He's enhanced. Nope. Nope. That's just enhanced Kyle. Man. Wait, where's the wide shot? That should be wide oh, shot. You, you had to go to your settings. Why aren't you wide shot? There you go. There it is. Oh, oh God. I'm working my, my, my shorts. Have written off. <laughs> <laughs> Got a uh, eye full of Garrett mm. thigh. Sorry, mm. everybody. Mm. Oh, oh, good. more leg. Oh, I mean, this isn't this isn't OnlyFans, okay? This Legging way. Fans. <laughs> Ride them shorts, shorts up, everybody. If you'll, we were keeping notes. I did start tonight in pants, and that'll give you an idea of how freaking hot it got in here. Mm -hmm. Well, we did. You know, we were running two computers. <sighs> Not only fans, it's, on, it's only bros. Yeah. Garrett, Garrett confirmed Thylander. Yeah, yeah. God, Titan, you monster! What are we doing? Ugh, hottest YouTube shorts content. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they meant. That's yep. what they mean. That's what they mean by it. Uh, Where now, did this evening begin? Uh, um, in Garlemald? Oh, yeah, with the duty and all that. Yeah. Yeah, that, wow, that feels like a miles bill. away. It feels like so many vegetables ago. Yeah, many a vegetable. Like a hundred fruits ago. Ugh. Amazing hair. Oh, thank you. Mine got a little... I mean, it, guess, it was behaving a little better earlier, but... I, I guess you gotta get the bunnies to realize that they're 
plan kind of sucks, so the forum and the bunnies together embrace the using the ship to go after Medion kind of thing? Well, it kind of sounds like we're going to cake and eat, too. Like, we're going to use the ship they're building to take everybody to the moon, and then once they're there, we're taking the extra ship and going. Yeah, and then Xeno showed up very, very briefly. Yeah. In, in the many hours Just ago. to remind us. Just to remind us he existed. Because if he hadn't shown up, I would have been like, where, where okay, is where, where's, where the where, hell where's is Zenos? What's going on What's with Zenos? What's going on? Are we even going to use Xenos? Main main, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> that's very kind. Um, yeah, no, I... Yeah. I... If it wasn't for the Moon Brita scene, I'd be like, I feel like I knew everything it told me tonight. It was good. To, it was great to see Ulysses again. It was that was a big highlight for me. Oh yeah, yeah. It was great to see Ulysses. Strength um, of character. The Lopperit stuff. Uh, I felt like I I, I got it. <laughs> I, I got it like mm. about thirty minutes in, mm. and mm -hmm. it, it just kept going. So I don't have much to say about that. Sometimes that's the comedy of it, though, right? Well, yes, yeah, yes, yes. It was it was it was certainly amusing. I'll give it that. I would have honestly my my if I had one note for that it's like voice acted more because they're very funny when it's voice acted. Yeah, they did do most of the Fortuno scenes though, which I appreciated. Um, yeah, I mean it was all heavy shit. Like it was heavy character stuff. It was yeah. it was Fortuno uh, getting to see Alphano, like, like being forced to respect Alphano or being put in situations where he cannot belittle all that Alphano has accomplished. And the person that he's become. Well, and showing his dad how isolated his thought is when Alphano can immediately, in one moment, call up basically the whole world. Oh, yeah. Dunk on him. Which. <laughs> All right, I have one more note. Uh, I would much rather have been Aaron Boy around the world. <laughs> Well, I mean, there was a again. moment where you both, where both of us were like, like what, I want to go, wait, go we, send me to Doma. Well, because what's the, uh, I miss Doma so much. What's the White Sands dungeon? I love that one where the you burn. go. burn. Yeah, the burn when you briefly go through yeah, the Alligan. Yeah, there's a brief moment. Like, where I was everyone like, we, we called, I'm like, I miss you so much. And the Lapparits are like, but grapes. I'm like, oh, but I'd rather <laughs> go see Hien. But they, they wanted to, you know, it's the, like the Dragon Age moments I always talk about. It's the big moment, yeah. the world coming together finally. Yeah. 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 It was like, no, 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 no. Give me fetch quests. Give me fetch quests, please. Please. Let's go farm 50 pieces of Allegan machinery in order to proceed. It's like awakening Illidan all over again. There. It's muted. <laughs> oh, yeah. So people, people were changing outfits by us or something. I, I guess. I guess. It should have been fine because BGM was off, but if people were emoting near us, then uh, such is such is life. But uh, as yeah. you as we mentioned, there's the super forum coming up. We'll let you all know when that's going to be. Yes. And so thing. we MSQ is tonight, mm -hmm. um, and we're doing MSQ next Thursday as well. And then I have travel. Yep. So you'll be subjected to my whimsy. Yes. So uh, next Thursday is also MSQ. If you're if you're uh, just here for the MSQ, oh yeah, let me. That's when it I'll is. I'll post the link to that. Kyle is getting you all a link. I need to build a a better table. This thing is way too wobbly. I thought for a hot second we might have a better idea of what we were going to make the thumbnail for next week, but yeah, who freaking knows? <laughs> um, actually, yeah, that's a good point. I have absolutely no clue. Probably, uh, I don't know, we could, like, um, get some full body photos and make it look like we're surfing on the Dorito logo. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, do some spaceship like, stuff. Like, get back here, here. Yeah. Legs totally in frame. Just yeah. Like, just taking a big bite of lemons. Um, hugging a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but that was tonight. That was tonight's. Individual oh. bunny. Yeah. Pass out. No. Yeah. Um... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's my best that's my best guess. That is that is my best guess. Spice. No Dorito tonight. Yeah, we didn't get we didn't get there. We didn't get there, everybody. No, nor Highland call. Just all fruits thumbnail? Yeah. 
Can't hold all these we, bunnies. We just traumatize everybody by making a photo of us standing covered in viscera on top of a, a just a pile of dead lopperets. Wow. Yeah, that'd be. A, I think that'd be a little hyper aggressive. No, it's not that I'm mad at them. I actually still <laughs> quite like the lopperets. Yeah. Uh, I just think you know, there's a chance some of them may get hurt. I mean, in you what's would, to come? You definitely engage the comments. You would certainly cause the comments to feel engaged. Oh, if we on did. the YouTube, if you the use dead that lopper, as a yeah, bunch of dead lopper. Oh, and I'll hold a uh, fortune of dis- yes, dismembered head. Yes, there you head. go. Yes, really, yeah. really farm the unhinged yeah. energy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All At the one thirty in the morning. Yeah, it's all the all the Fortuno fans out there. Don't worry, I see you. I see mm. your comments, mm. and I will reply in kind. All right. Yeah. Perfect. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> no Doritos. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh well. With that in mind, it is uh, is quite late us here so i think we will be bringing this stream to a close uh we will be back monday for the podcast yep tuesday for a patron's choice stream yep new msq video about the vinaz walk cutscene on wednesday next week and thursday next week msq resumes so indeed we've got uh four straight days of grinding gear content for you next week and it all builds up to another MSQ night. So we'll see you then. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for indulging our mania this evening. <laughs> Y'all were awesome. Thanks for joining us for that. Uh, now I must go sleeping way. Mm. And he, Garrett's going to have to hit the button. So I'm going to stare at you. Staring way. Bye now. Wait, here, here, Kyle. Mm. Kyle, hit me. Uh. Hit me. Hit me. There it is.